I am excited because it's it's time for Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. It's not every day that you get to play an entirely new Metal Gear game. That's sort of the situation I'm in. Screenplay book sounds cool. What the heck? Story compendium was compiled using in-game story content that was still in development at the time. Some content may differ from what actually appears in the game. Any significant differences with added notes explain the change. Additionally, please note that the compendium contains all the story content within the game and therefore includes spoilers. It is recommended you finish the game before reading. Interesting. I'm going to explore that later. Uh, yeah, I know it's like, I know, I know. Jeez. I'm not going to, I was reading it on purpose. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know that it's cut off. I know that. I know. I know that. It won't be soon. I know. I know. I know it all. I've got it all. Oh, shit. <sighs> well, in the middle of... In the middle of my, uh... My celebration, somehow the game conked itself out of full screen mode and positively shuffled everything else around. So, one moment. Uh-huh. Sounds cool back there, doesn't it? Metal Gear. All right, let's pray. Fuck! <sighs> you know it's my fault because I updated my drivers before, uh, before streaming, and I should have known that that would cause a 30-year-old game to cease functioning. Um, I gotta reboot. I bet a reboot's gonna fix this. I thought I already did. I thought I already did, but maybe just one more, you know, one more for luck. Sorry about this, folks. I'll be right back. Why are you doing this? Fuck you, man. What do I do? There it is. There it is. If I... I guess I can... No, it doesn't work that way. You can't like... Oh! Mm, I see... Ooh! It's gone. <laughs> hey, sure you King. It's good to see you. It's been a while. Hope life's good. Let's just try it again. Let's just roll the dice on it one more time. Maybe it just needs one little start to get it... You know, flex it out, get the blood pumping. Hmm. Hmm. There's probably some kind of command line fuckery you can do. The problem is it's a launcher that launches another launcher. So it's kind of hidden its ex actual executables. Secreted them away. Which might complicate matters. I don't... I don't have any other choice here. Oh! I knew it. The second I saw it happen, I was like, you know what? It just has to fail once terribly and then it'll work. Pishwing. This intro is so sick. I'm going to let it run again. I watched it last night, but I want to see it again. Yeah, Nomad, that's the plan. Well, it's it's all Metal Gears and all Kojima-directed games. So, a weird, a weird winding path. Mostly I just want to play Police Knots and Snatcher. And also Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah, Digital. I had to root through some old photos of Kojima, but I found the perfect one. It's not a very high, it's not a very high quality photo, but it works pretty well as an emote.
Yeah, TBF, everybody always associates Boktai with Kojima, but I'm pretty sure he was just producer on that. I don't think he directed Boktai. Which, I guess if you want to do all the games that Kojima produced, you could do that. I don't know what else had, uh, Kojima's produced. I get Zone of the Enders, right? He didn't direct Zone, he just produced that. I mean, Zone of the Enders is cool. And Boktai is actually pretty cool. I think there's ways for emulators to simulate the sun sensor. But I, pl I played it for like an hour. No, more like 30 minutes or so. And it was like not what I expected, but had some really, really good pixel art. This stuff is like all over the intro to Snatcher too. Wireframes and diagrams, readouts, flickering labels. Kojima's love for 90s anime cyberpunk aesthetic was pretty plain and, and awesome. Like he's good at it. Uh, the glowing text. That, that logo sting. It is the late 1990s. The world is embarking on an age of peace and stability. God, it really was the last best time, wasn't it? The internet came and ruined everything. Relationships between the Cold War superpowers have thawed. Regional conflicts are being resolved. The threat of nuclear war is now a thing of the past. All thanks to Snake. Was this an, a SNES game? No. This was out on the MSX, which is more of like a home PC, kinda? Like a more packaged PC. There are some who do not desire peace. Uh, and it came out in 1990, which is before the Super Nintendo came out. An atmosphere of tension begins to build in the Middle East. The military hunter comes to power in Zanzibar land, a small nation bordering on the USSR, China, and the Middle East. Man. I'm gonna smoke a pack of gators. Zanzibar land attacks nuclear weapon disposal sites around the world, seizing those weapons that are still intact, and becomes the world's only nuclear power. It then begins to invade its neighbors at will. Rooster in space and Ludie McShooty, thanks for subbing and reminding me that I didn't turn my alerts back on. After renouncing nukes forever, the world is once again threatened by the specter of nuclear war. Meanwhile, the world's oil supply, which was to last another 30 years, suddenly and unexpectedly dries up. Without a safe alternative source of energy, the world faces a severe energy crisis. Here's, here's the problem. I have to tab out to uh, to turn my alerts back on. I'm gonna wait until this demo loop ends. It is in these dire circumstances that Dr. Keo Marv, a Czech biologist, develops Oilix, a microbe that can synthesize high-grade petroleum. With this discovery, global tensions are once again on the rise. On his way to attend an American scientific conference, Dr. Marv is kidnapped by agents of Zanzibar land. Not Dr. Marv. He's gonna invent oil. With Oilix. With its nuclear weapons and the secret of Oilix, Zanzibar land plans to achieve global military domination. Well played, Zanzibar land. But we have a solid snake. A tiny microbe only a few microns wide is about to change the world forever. 
Oil 2. Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. Dang. So sick. All right, let's ride the lightning. Tabbed. Tabbed out. Oof. Wowza. It really doesn't like doing that. What a throwback. Games that are violently exclusive full screen. I guess it is emulating a PS3 and those have no concept of like running as running as a parallel application. All right, sorry about that. Here, I'm going to run a couple of of uh run a couple of resubs here. Just for the heck of it. Cuz I missed a few. Now, let's click back in and see what happens. Nope. No luck. Hi. Well, we got in once, we can get in again. That's fine. Then we're set. Only need one more. Just got to hit one more time. <laughs> Come on, baby. This is why I did the start, but I wanted the loop to finish because I knew that we weren't going to see the rest of it if I tapped out early. Hey, lucky sevens. All right. But yeah, this game is already just oozing style. The art, the music. Man. That splash screen with an animated logo? Custom animations at the beginning? So good. So good. This is Snake. I've reached the infiltration point. Snake, right on time as always. Let's get started. Commencing Operation Intrude, F014. Let's go over this one more time. Your mission is to infiltrate Zanzibar land and rescue the kidnapped Czech biologist, Dr. Keo Marv. Snake, we provided you with a new anti-personnel sensor. Try switching it on. Roger. Okay, it's on. The white dots on your radar are enemy soldiers. The red dot is your current position. The radar is equipped with several other types of sensors as well. They should warn you of any unseen dangers. What's the radar's effective range? Take a look at your radar display. It shows a nine screen area centered on your position. However, it may not work in small enclosed areas. Ah, oh, uh, good enough. Also, if the enemy spots you, you won't be able to use the radar. The enemy will use a jammer to scramble it. Got it. Where can I find Dr. Marv? Well, Dr. Marv has a transmitter implanted in one of his molar teeth. When you get close to him, he'll show up as a red dot on your radar. So I just have to keep an eye out for the red dot. Snake, use frequency 140.85 for all future communications with me. Good luck, over and out. Nice. Mission start. Ugh. Time to go around and punch some motherfuckers in the back of the head. Ugh. Actually, let's call up Campbell again. This is Snake, come in. Are there gonna be more random conversations in the Kodak? Okay. Feel free to ask him anything. He'll help you think of a solution. His frequency is 140.38 over and out. All right. I don't think, I think I tried this last night and Miller didn't answer yet. Yeah. Virtual mission. No, virtuous mission. <laughs> Dork. All right. Might as well write it down. I don't know if they're going to tell me that again. Ugh. That's so cool that you can see them on other screens. Some big tech, baby. Ooh. 
This music is so good. I wonder if they're... If, I guess it's possible to walk in into walk into an alert in the first screen. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. Oh, but dudes... Yeah, dudes cross screens. Holy cow. That's such a technical... Such a technical leap, it feels like. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's like tracking the movements of all of these enemies across multiple screens. So cool. Use crawling to sneak through gaps in the fence, over and out. But what does Miller have to say about this? Nothing. I don't know if those dudes can see me through the fence. In Metal Gear, it was just like a straight line, and if you crossed it, they would see you. I have no idea if there's like any fall off to vision range or anything like that. But okay, yeah, wow. They will they will see your ass. Okay, so yeah, you could you they will allow you to just do a screen transition and get seen immediately. I doesn't look like they can see through fences. Oh! That looks important. Damn, this music is so rad. Okay. I don't know how, like... God, where do you go to ditch the alert? <laughs> Damn, man! All the Metal Gear 1 tricks don't work. They're just gonna come in and see me immediately. Ah! Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, motivated guards, huh? I always, I always thought it was like funny in Metal Gear Solid of the many like meta, meta jokes. How they talk up how smart the soldiers are. Ah, fuck me! Same thing. Ah, same thing. They talk up how smart the soldiers are, but they can only see like 10 feet in front of them. And they're kind of adorably stupid. Uh, back to the truck. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that this time. Genetically modified super soldiers. Okay, I need to wait here. Uh, snake. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Most smart people use glasses. Maybe they made them too smart. They can't see. Pans are swagged. Thanks for the sub. This Metal Gear, it's solid? You know it is. All right, what am I looking at? I need an idea, man. I need Miller. Nothing. 
Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander or the game designer in charge of guarding that area. You might see possibilities you couldn't see before. Over and out. That's awesome. Already with the cheeky meta shit. Snake, grip your controller firmly. I guess I don't go that way. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. There's a rhythm to this game. And I guess showing you patrol routes enables more of a cat and mouse kind of thing where you have you like you have to backtrack to a safe nook and wait for them to come to you I can't pick it up yet because I'm not allowed. Uh, I should have, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Eh. Oh yeah. Hello, Autumn's Game Nights. On my lunch break, had to send my first CMA. Cover my ass email. Oh, nice! Was somebody trying to call you out on something that you weren't involved with? You can't sneak in through the front door. Use the vents over and out. I guess what is, Miller calls you in the vents, right? In solid. So maybe that's what I have to look forward to. I want to talk to Miller, though. I want to like, I want to get all the codec conversations I can. Still nothing. All right. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. Just telling me about Miller again. Is that a vent? Oh, what? what was that noise? Oh, that's cute. Handgun. Semi-automatic pistol used as the standard sidearm in the U.S. military. Can be fitted with a suppressor, can also be reloaded. Look at that, that bullet readout on the right, though. How cyber is that? My handgun was enormous. That's okay, Snake has big hands. Damn it. He got the dominant big hand jeans. Aw, oh, sick! We're infiltrating now, baby. Look at how cold this is. Oh! Yeah, maybe I can call Miller now. Ugh. I want to use the analog stick for the radio because it feels better. But, uh... I keep hitting up, which makes me call. Yeah, nothing. Ah, well. Yeah. Not a loading screen? Huh. 
I was pretty impressed with how quickly uh, Metal Gear 1 transitioned screens. I wonder if this is running in some sort of hacked up high resolution mode that requires a little more preparation. It's like heartbeat sound effect. Oh, okay. Replaying these for preparation of MGS Delta? Not really. No, I just always wanted to. Always wanted to? And now I now I am. Pretty much it. Nothing else that's kind of higher on the on the desire list right now. But yeah, no news on when that's coming out, I don't think. Eh. It'd be cool. If it's good. But Metal Gear Solid 3 is still there. So, uh, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to playing through 3 again. God, that soundtrack is so good. Ooh, someone new. I'm Holly, Holly White. I infiltrated Zanzibar land a month ago, posing as a journalist. So I know pretty much how things work around here. I'll help you any way I can. My frequency is 140.815. Call me. Later. What does Holly got to say? The Zanzibar building and the tower building is the same source of water. Maybe that means they're connected through the drainage ditch. See ya. Think Delta's gonna be good? I mean, I think it's, it's possible. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know that I, is, I think it's being made internally at Konami, so I have no clue. Oh yes, you can crawl into the tanks. I'm withholding judgment until I see gameplay. Until then, it's an idea. And a ni it's a nice idea. Shit. Do they know I'm in there? Yeah, I guess they know I'm in there. Uh... All right, here we go. Yes, okay. You just have to change screens. Break line of sight. Line of sight. That's pretty clever. He's not here. What a good sound effect. I like elevator has arrived sound. Like eavesdrop. Attention. Oh, wait. Hold on. What? What? Ah. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. Is there like... Hmm. No, it just looks like a bunch of panels. Alright, okay. Can they see up? Let's not risk it. I'm curious what this big room to the right is. I don't think I can get in there yet, though. It doesn't look connected. 
I guess items aren't marked on- Ah, uh, the minimap. Just peoples. Okay, I'm learning how to ditch the up, up, up. I'm learning how to ditch the guards more. Okay, they cannot see up. Okay. Ah. Okay, let's try. Let's try the camera tactic of standing under the camera. I don't feel like it's gonna work because there's boxes here, specifically to block the view. It seems like you have... Okay, so once you enter a screen, you have like a set amount of time, it seems like, to find a hiding spot. Otherwise, the dude's gonna spawn just staring directly at you. Shit. <laughs> These little peeping hands. Yeah, Zoom Beanie, I saw that. We actually recorded Inside Games about that this morning. Yeah, use it was paywalling. Not a good idea. They also were like weirdly high profile about Yuzu and Ah I didn't think he was gonna come out on the screen. Uh I might die here. Yep. Yeah. They didn't play it very cool, that's for sure. I wonder where it spawns me. I have the pistol still. Okay. That seems like it's the kiss of death in all these situations, is that if you charge people, if you start trying to make money, that's when you give Nintendo, a, like, an open in invitation to come in and fuck your shit up. So it's like, I don't know, it's like it kind of sorts itself out in a weird way. The people who are just volunteering their time and, and efforts seem like they're largely unbothered. Ideally, Nintendo d judges it's not worth their time. And they'd be right. But yeah, when somebody starts trying to make money off of it, that's when it's... I don't know. What did you expect? Huh. Sounds a little, little hidey spaces for Snake. I gotta stop thinking it's safe to change screens whenever I want. I'm not not hawking on the radar as hard as I need to. Hold on, I might be able to make it. There we go. Okay. So it's it seems like the key is is there a hiding space with it a certain distance of a screen transition? because then you just dive in there and you're good. <sighs> oh. Yuzu made a sacrifice for emulation as a whole, I guess. No, I I think that that's that's a that's a generous uh, uh a, that's a generous interpretation of of how it went. I don't think Yuzu was like falling on the sword to save emulation. I think they took a deal. <laughs> Because if they, if they actually tried to fight it in court, they'd have to pay years of lawyer's fees out of their own pocket. And I'm pretty sure the lawyers were like, you are cooked. You're done. They've, they've got you. So, I don't know. I don't think that they nest. I think, I think they put emulation in danger by charging money. Like, I, no one seems to think about it. Like, I don't know. 
I don't know. They didn't they didn't do the right thing. They didn't even come close to doing the right thing. I'm okay with them actually making money off creating an emulator because the time they spent creating the emulator. You can feel however you want. The law, the law says otherwise. Also, they could spend their time, uh, they could spend their time making a commercial product that doesn't depend on the copywritten material of, of another company. If they lost in court, Nintendo could go after the others. There's, they'd have no reason to. Unless Nintendo thinks they're losing money. Um, and that's, that's like harder to prove unless there's, there's heat behind it. Yeah, it, it seems like if it's just a donation box, that's when you don't, you don't get like the fire turned on you. Seems like. Yeah. So let's see. I guess I have to take the elevator? Because I don't see any other things. Oh! Yeah, Yuzu had a had a Patreon where certain certain Patreon levels would get you access to features early, and they would adver advertise those features connected to Nintendo's games. So it was like, uh, if you subscribe to the Patreon, I think... I don't know if there was ever a, a window where it's like you needed a new version to play Breath of the Wild early, but I think there might have been. So essentially, uh, they yeah, they earned a lot of bad will in the community for that. Oh, that's awesome. That's how you use buttons, huh? Pay 20 bucks for the sweet version that runs Tears of the Kingdom better? Yeah, they were like, they were using ostensibly stolen versions of Nintendo's copyrighted software to promote their own software. And uh, like some of the more, oh, that's awesome. Some of the more recent emulation sites that they've gone after have had the same sort of thing where there's, there's like a paid access aspect. It's, there's, uh, yeah, I agree, Omidart. I I think it's it's totally fine to put a tip jar out, but you're not you're not owed nor can you even expect compensation when all of your work is predicated on the popularity and investment of another property or another company. So, I don't know. Yeah, Nintendo used that as an argument for an increase in piracy. Yeah, because they were offering a superior version of the product before it was available on the market. Yeah, they they got greedy and they they said too much. There's so many fan projects and emulation projects and reverse engineering projects that just are allowed to continue in, in silence because it doesn't like it doesn't materially benefit any company to invest in prosecuting that stuff. Up! Oh, I didn't think it was gonna turn this way. Shit. Like, what do they gain? Aside from bad press. But it's a different story when it comes to, uh... People trying to make money off of your, your shit. Okay. Elevators are still somewhat safe. Ah! Uh, it's... It's... Noisy up here. Okay. Notice doors aren't marked. Which is kind of interesting. Okay. Doors look kind of the same. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Yuzu devs have a bad rep. So I'm not surprised this happened. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't... Uh dive into any of that drama on Inside Games, although I kind of wanted to. I just didn't have the time to, like, 
properly research it all. Make sure that I... Oh, oh. When it comes to internet drama, I want to be very, very careful about, like, making sure that... I'm not just, not just telling tales. Yeah, it's a tiny... Well, it's a tiny thing, but it's actually kind of, like... It makes a better story. Who knows if it's directly attributable, but I did s Oh, shit, yeah. Card one. Here we go. But I did see some screenshots of, like, some very agitated people saying that they, like, spitefully reported Yuzu to, uh, to the FTC and all this. It's a shame Citro was caught up in all this. Well, yeah, I guess. It is a, it is a shame. That's, that's a good word for it. kidding me. Ration B2 unit. Press the A button to recover life. Contains beans and meatballs, beans and franks, and beef and potatoes. Yum. That's kind of petty. You can't expect people to give you their life work like that, even though Yuzu is being pretty shitty. I'm not expecting anything. You're, you're, you're thinking about it too much like a consumer. I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm not expecting anyone to do anything. I'm just, those are the lines. Oh, oh. You're not talking about me? Why, why did you do, why did you at mention me? I'm talking about the people that, oh, 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 oh. I'm talking about the people that reported them. Yes, sorry, yes, that is being, that, that is being quite petty. We agree on that. My apologies. Oh. But I mean, even on their post, they were like, eh, it's being petty, I don't care. All right, there's only one door up here. Maybe card one will work on the first floor. Now here's uh here's what I'm thinking. Since I I don't know if there's been a firmware push since the last time I dumped games, but what I need to do, pro oh no, dude, that was awesome. What I need to do is like dump every Switch ROM that I kind of want to play and just make sure that I've got it got it good and authorized in like a good Ryujinx installation. But yeah, also Citra still exists. That's the other thing is like, the internet still provides. Moments like this somehow make everyone jump to the conclusion that emulation is dead. And all you have to do is like Google anything and it's fine. Just, it's not hard. I don't know, it's weird. Like, it's not hard. It's easier than it's ever been. Ever. To, like, get whatever you want on the internet. As long as it's not actively on sale right now. And if it is, then just fucking buy it. I don't know. Yeah, emulation's not going anywhere. So, yeah, archive.org, it's already there. Citra was taken down from GitHub. Yeah, that was probably part of the settlement, but it's on archive.org already. There was a link to it. Hey, Ronnie. Or is uh, someone linked to it up there? All right, I gotta try out some doors. So the, that's interesting. The patrol that comes looking for you disappears immediately when the alert is cleared. Thanks. Yeah, I like this shirt too. Anyway, I I don't know. It's good. It's good news. That's the that's the thing that I keep coming back to. The honestly, the situation that's sort of 
shook out. It's kind of a gentleman's agreement. Is that private companies don't tend to pursue like a grassroots volunteer projects. It's when they, they go on sale that it suddenly is like not, co not cool anymore. Damn it. Okay, it looks like you also can't evade on the screen you get seen on. You have to like... Once you get seen on a screen, you have to go to another screen or the alert will never clear. Oh, fuck. Ah! Do I have to punch the door with the, with the card equipped? No. Maybe this opens? Fuck! I need my door opening satisfaction. Yeah. Disney is something else. Nintendo is more tolerant than Disney, although they they get up there sometimes. But yeah. Don't worry. It's still quite easy to emulate whatever you want. Um, uh, hmm, okay. Maybe I go up to the third floor? This was the briefing room, right? Yeah. Dev charging a fee for emulation makes it a lot easier to prove concrete damages. I can see why that's a triggering event for litigation. Yeah. Yeah, it's also just like... I don't know how much this is a thing. But companies also need to establish a precedent of legally defending their copyright. Otherwise, I think it becomes harder to pursue later if you don't establish a precedent of defending it and then also seeking, like, similar damages. You kind of, like, establish a price for your IP. The value of your copyright. Nintendo shut down multiple fan games. They suck. It can be a fan game without being called Pokemon or whatever. Pal World's there. They haven't they haven't chucked Pal World into the garbage somehow. Uh, all right. This card doesn't open anything yet, so I guess I'll go to the third floor. Yeah, Loof, I don't know. I think everybody's kind of confused by that. Hey, Red Dot! It's the DARPA chief. Is that a mouse? So that I can play solitaire? What the fuck? Hey! The gamer mouse developed by DARPA. Nano machines in the mouse. This feels like there's a laser laser trap in here. Nanomachines in the mouse's surface integrate with your gamer senses. Ludo machines. What? Okay, there were lasers there.
Ooh. It's got to be like that. Doubles the length and slows the depletion of the O2 gauge in poison gas areas. Also works against gas grenades. Great. I... I know. This is going to be kind of confusing since they deliberately do not mark the doors. Ah, ah, it's going to... It's gonna be like that. All right, let's dive down the dust chute. Wee, wee, wee! <laughs> Where am I going? All right. Ooh. <gasps> Dead rat, but it's useless. Just throw it away. Oh. Nice. Is it useless, though? Aw. I wonder if you have to stay in the compactor for, like, items that get flushed. Is it always dead rat? Empty bottle, but it's useless. You at the gym today. I didn't. Sort of. Bug checklist. <laughs> but it's useless. Just throw it away. All right, that's a good one. All right, Kojiba. All right, buddy. Yeah. We love it. We love it. I gotta go back in, though. That's the one, two, three. There can't be more. There's more. Fishbone. It's useless. Man. How many... How many items? Dead rat. Okay. I wonder if it... I wonder if it's random or if it, like, cycles. Seems random. Okay. Mines? A mine! Alright. So I got a gas mask. Oh, I'm at B2. Huh. Walls are all crackly. Oh, sweet. I need those infrared goggles. Yeah. Display heat source patterns visually. Let you see the location of infrared sensors. Fantastic. I'm going to take this guy out and then start punching walls. See what the feedback is for breakable walls if there is any. Up. Oh! Well, shit. Fucking snake, slowly sinking down. <laughs> Kojima got me. Yeah, Sonic 3D Blast looked pretty cool. What's that noise? What's that noise? All right. Oh wait, is that a door? That's a door. That's a door, baby. Is that a door? It's a door. Ooh. I wonder if... I wonder if this is gonna do the thing where, like, your life bar gets longer and your rank goes up. Maybe when you beat bosses? Maybe? Paunch. Hey, handsome. Yeah, I got big time pranked. No joke. I was right to two? Yeah, this elevator skips floors. It was broken. Yeah, 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 because it was like, wouldn't go to floor the first floor. I wonder if it'll go to like four? Because the other elevator was closed on three. 
But this is where the doctor is. Definitely not a decoy of any kind. That's how we're going to play it. Man, it's kind of a miracle I ever made it through these screens. Huh. We're not going to... Wait a minute. Can I crawl under the lasers? No! No, I can't. That door doesn't open. All the lasers are off? Alright, well. Tricky. I guess it saw the tip of my head. I have no idea what the perspective rules are here. I guess you have to be crouched behind these boxes? They kind of look like you need to be crouched. bad. I uh, should have done that. I have my door open. But wait, he doesn't see me. Huh. Maybe you don't have to crouch. I think I was just poked out a little bit. Uh, the moves! open anyway. Okay, well, I have a gas mask now. Um. Oh. Thank you, Maverick. I wanted to look like a refreshing drink today. Oh, Mars, I'm not done with, uh, Rebirth. I'm just playing that off stream. Not a very, uh, not a very watchable thing on Twitch, but I kind of get it. Take my time with it. See if Holly has anything to say about the gas. There's a map in the command room that shows the layout of the entire compound. You should check it out. See ya. Oh. Is that what that was? Maybe if I take out those two dudes, I can interact with the, uh... 
interact with it somehow? Turbo Z, thanks for the sub. Never did talk to Miller. Fight when you have to fight, kill when you have to kill. Those are the rules on the battlefield in a shooting game. Over and out. He's right. Yeah, it's nice there's more music, that's for sure. Oh, finally! Master Miller! When making decisions on the battlefield, there's no single right answer. Just trust your own judgment. Over and out. Thanks, Miller. Thanks. <laughs> this isn't suspicious at all! I've never seen this before! Kojima! What are you doing to me? What are you doing, Kojima? Heh heh heh! Foolish Foxhound! Dr. Marv isn't here! Figures that Foxhound would send such a cheap transmitter. You guys really are behind the times. Oh! Who's this guy? I am Black Ninja, a former member of NASA's Extraterrestrial Environment Special Forces Unit. What? He's a space marine? So wait. Circa Metal Gear 2. The NASA has an extraterrestrial environment sp special forces unit. Space commandos. Look at his cool shoulder pads too. This dude's ready for action. Now let's see just how strong the world's most advanced black ops unit really is. Show me what you've got, Foxhound! Oh, he's moving! He's zipping all over the place, alright. Holly, I need help. I need intel. Boy. The Zanzibar building has two underground floors and four above-ground floors. The first floor houses the central command, the hangar, and the factory. The second floor is the deck, the third floor is used for R&D, and the fourth floor is living quarters for the soldiers. The armory and powder house are on B1, and there's a drainage ditch on B2. See ya! Yep, see ya, Holly. Thanks. Master, give me battlefield advice, please. Whatever happens, don't give up. Do whatever it takes to survive. Over and out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Tell me how to shoot him! What you got to say, Campbell? This is so sick. This is, this is the Metal Gear experience. If you need to know anything about mercenaries or enemy weapons, ask our mercenary expert, George Kassler. He knows everything. He used to work for us as a military advisor. You can trust him. His frequency is 140.93. We'll pick up the tab for the info. Just don't ask him about whale cuisine. Over and out. All right, tell me, tell me about the ninja. Oh, look at this guy! Black Ninja. Nobody ever heard of him until two years ago. His past is a total mystery. Some kind of high-tech ninja from NASA's extraterrestrial environment team. He's quick like a throwing star, specializing in lightning-fast attacks. Keep in mind, he's not a seasoned pro like us. He's one of them right stuff types, an astronaut. But that actually makes him tough to take down. With a pro, you know pretty much what he's gonna do. But with an amateur, who the hell knows? For now, just wait and see what he can do. That's what you're good at. I'm counting on you, cowboy. Over and out. Good shit. Good shit. I'll talk to Holly one more time. There's a bathroom on the fourth floor. That's where the soldiers' living quarters are. There's also a sauna, a mess sauna, a mess hall, a locker room, and a barracks. See ya! Whew. All right, I gotta hang back. What you got? Ninja stars! Ooh! Ooh! Extraterrestrial ninja stars. Can I shoot over these boxes? I can't. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna get me. I don't have rations, I don't think. Nope. They're tight with the rations. What? Uh. 
ninja start of the throat. Blech. Snake's out. I wonder where it's gonna start me over. It'd be... It'd be... Okay. Yeah. I thought it'd be a little too much to ask for that it's like at the start of that boss fight. Um... I don't know how to get more rations because they don't respawn. I guess soldiers might drop them? Alternatively, I could just be good. That's cool, you can change screens while you're crawling. Does this mean I have to get the... Uh... Is he going to tell me? Maybe I can call them now. No? I think it doesn't unlock until the fight. Is the Lawrence will draw a card and mail it to you thing gone? No, shouldn't be. Ooh, Miller says you should wait 30 minutes after eating before playing games. The blood flow shifts to your stomach and your brain doesn't function as quickly. That's when your attention level is at its lowest. So you should wait 30 minutes after eating before you start playing. Over and out. Thanks, Kojima. See, Captain has just redeemed a card. Let's draw one. Perhaps a uh, big Twitch is limiting, artificially limiting your account. I'm glad that uh, Master Miller had that top tip for us. That's why, maybe that's why I get energy levels of the stream go down a little bit. I'm busy, uh, busy digesting. All right, here we go. Hacha. Got a nice car. Oh, look at that design. Frank Thomas's disciplined eye. That's the notebook that he's swatting a ball in front of, I guess? Man. Frank Thomas possesses one of the best batting eyes in baseball. He has a great feel for the strike zone and won't swing at bad pitches. He takes what the pitcher gives him and will draw the walk, averaging 124 free passes the past three seasons. Combi combine his discipline at the plate with a bat speed and power, and one can see why Thomas was the AL MVP in 1993. Yeah. Look at that graphic design, though. A little drop shadow. Cheeky drop shadow. It's from the, the fun pack. We're having a lot of fun here. Congrats, Captain. Let me take that down in my notes. He's the new Genix guy? Cool. Okay, good. I got Miller in the Rolodex now. The other one was 9-1. I don't... I wonder if he's going to respond before I'm fighting the ninja. No. no. Oh, it's gas. That's right. I thought the camera got me. I'm going to... I'm going to go... It feels like it's the same system where the elevators are the checkpoints. What kind of pistol does Solid Snake have in this game? Uh, looks like a Beretta? Uh, does it say? It just says handgun. This is cool though, the first boss fight. They do kind of lock stuff off. Kind of funnels you 
here and only here pretty quickly. It's kind of it's kind of neat that you can go to a lot of the floors. It is a kindness of them though to to pin in the exploration pretty pretty hard this early on. Gotham, thanks for the sub. I'm glad you're back too. Welcome back to gaming. Yeah, there's no way for them to get in here. All right. Wait, somebody's. Let me shoot him. Ah, uh, won't let me. Yeah. That gunshot sound effect is great, though. Oh, nine three. Castler have anything else to say? No, okay. I think it's probably not until solid that you start getting different voice lines if you call back multiple times. Damn, he got me again. There's like a little hitch when you change direction. Which makes it so you can't really be like super responsive with it. Water fountains down there? No? Like an eyewash station? Oh, I think it's just pipes. Just generic video game pipes. Alright, alright, alright. I was hoping I could get him. Okay, I just gotta call Castler. What? Miller, it didn't say Miller being revealed? Oh my god. I mean, I guess that can happen anytime. Whatever. This game's weird, man. Oh man. There was something in there about game over. Hold on. Maybe I'll say it again. Loneliness is something that seeps into the cracks in your heart. Boredom is what causes those cracks to appear. Over and out. Alright, Miller just has a lot of good advice. So, okay, if he's too far down the screen, I can't shoot him and move at the in time. Ugh, okay. Such a simple boss fight. Oh, I don't even need to use this.
Damn it! <laughs> what a battle. Ugh! Fuck. Oh, thank God. Okay. Boo. -hoo -hoo. Snake. Who are you? How do you know my name? It's- it's me, Schneider. <gasps> Kyle Schneider! Remember me? Yes! I do! The Resistance Leader Schneider, who answered the phone like three times, but each time told me exactly what I needed to know. Wow. <sighs> wow, the reveals are already dropping. Schneider? You were in the Resistance at Outer Heaven. But, I thought they killed you! You still got a lot to learn, Snake. I was almost killed, but not by them. By you and your country. What are you saying, Schneider? So slow. <laughs> Snake, after you destroyed Metal Gear, NATO launched a massive bombing campaign against Outer Heaven. It exploded though, whatever, keep bombing it. All of us resistance fighters and the children of Outer Heaven, they didn't care about any of us. There was no escape from the flames. They died like animals in a cage. I can't believe this. Think about it. The children of Outer Heaven were originally war orphans and refugees from all over the world. They were a liability, and NATO didn't want to deal with them. No. You're no different. They'll forget about you too. But he wasn't like them. Who? He came and saved us from annihilation. He forgave us for what we'd done. He gave us a new land to call home, a new family. He did? You mean? Snake, you'll understand soon what a wonderful man he is. This is so good, oh my God. Snake, I owe you a debt. There's no hate between us. I'll tell you where Dr. Marv is. It's what he would want me to do. Find the man who's guarding the cell where Dr. Marv is being held. Follow that man, and he should lead you straight to the cell. You can tell him by his green beret. He should be on the first floor, got that? A green beret. Follow the man in the green beret! <laughs> <laughs> so sick! Life bar increase? What is this music? Metal Gear has started now, I guess. Okay. Calm down. Gas. Girls. Alright, well, we got a new card. Oh, that's the gas mask. Oops. That's why I didn't see anything. Alright. This, this track's kind of taken off. I wonder if card two opens this one on the right here. Let's find out. Ah! I don't trust it, man. I can't. That's it! Fuck! It, fuck! It, la it waits so long. Huh. Oh, my 
going here? Okay. Tactical. All right. What we got here? Ooh. Mind detector. That'll be important. played any Hitman games. Uh, I've played all the Hitmans up to the reboot uh, that IOI did. The one, Hitman 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I don't know why I stopped there, because they get really, really good. Um, I'm still kind of... I'm saving that. I guess it's called World of Assassination now, but yeah. I'm looking forward to playing through those games. Let me see what's on the fourth floor. Yeah, the freelancer mode seemed so cool. Such a such a neat addition. Oh, you didn't like three? Really? Man, everybody seemed to agree that three was like pinnacle. But yeah, I really want to play through those. They've always had a really cool sensibility about them. I love the I love the way that those games function. Like you're everyone around is so stupid that stupid and self-absorbed that they don't notice how increasingly silly like Hitman's disguises are. Agent 47, excuse me. Oh, it just doesn't add almost anything. Okay, it's just like more levels. And a lot of the targets and locations kind of sucked. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I, uh... I guess uh, one day I might have such well-formed opinions about, uh, Hitman. All right, we gotta find the green beret. Actually, let me, can I call? Do I have to be in the boss fight to call? Damn, I do. Aw. Well, we still got the, we still got the dialogue, I guess. I think Miller will answer the damn phone now. There we go. Loneliness is something that seeps into the cracks in your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, at least he's there now. Kids here say the Zanzibar building and the tower building are connected underground. All right. Darn it, I keep accidentally skipping text. Come in. Maybe I should just let it auto advance. To make your footsteps quieter, plant your heel first and slowly lower your foot toward the joint of your big toe. That ought to get rid of footstep noise. Or maybe not. Over and out. I can see that Kojima's been reading tactical manuals. Alright. Uh, yeah, I've got card two, so I guess i got to start trying that around. Ugh. I'm learning the angles. Somebody said there was a map in the... I feel like this is the briefing room. Do I gotta take these dudes out? Or I guess it's on the it's on the wall there. Mm -hmm. 
Derek Pickle. Thanks for the sub. Thank you for the 13 months of subs. Looking for our green beret. Can dudes on high ground see Snake if he's on low ground? I don't know. Got him. Ah. Alec V, thank you very much for renewing your YouTube membership. What year did this game come out? 1990. As I believe what's on the, the splash screen at the beginning. Oh, we got a green. All right. What does Campbell have to say about this? If you get into trouble, give McDonald Miller a call. He used to be our survival master, good man to know. He's an idea man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Maverick, I saw that earlier. It was cute. Your boy wasn't even alive yet. People were making games back then. It's not fear itself that makes the difference between a hero and a coward. It's whether you've got the mental fortitude to overcome that fear and get the job done. Over and out. Thanks, Mil Thanks, Miller. You're the coolest. What the f fuck? This is cool. Oh, outdoor jungle scenario. You should. Oh yeah, you should wait thirty minutes after eating before playing games. Gonna break down the biology for me. Something is creating a jamming signal. Your radar won't work. Over and out. Nice. Thank you. Holly. You can't use your compass in the lost woods. See ya. Awesome. I'm cheesed that I don't have, uh... I'm cheesed that I don't have that guy in my, uh... Fuck. Wait. He's running. I should just chase. Oh, wait. But if he gets too far away, I won't be able to see where he goes. Shit. Well, alright. I didn't know how that would work. I thought I could, like, get next to him and they would just turn. Alright. Looks like Dot has reset position. Alright. This is cool, though. Having to tail an NPC. Cool new, cool new feature. Yeah, Zumbini, Metal Gear Solid 5 is so good. Man, deep jungle warfare. Oh, okay. There's a cheeky turnaround. It's like designed to get everyone the first time. I think you can do so much fun communication with the player through the use of fail states versus just trying to eliminate them entirely.
I guess there's a way to give player feedback that's not just a you failed all over the screen. People don't like seeing that, but... Was so close to the side of the screen. I just want everyone to know that I could blame my controller D-pad for that, but I'm not. I'm taking the high road. Yet again, underappreciated by the audience, but that's just the way it goes. <sighs> Yeah, womp womp. When you do this in Metal Gear Solid 4, at least you have an iPod to listen to. Yeah. NATO did this. Yeah, I'm taking the high road and blaming chat instead. I voted in the California primary today. I have a little sticker. I should I should post it on Instagram so that everybody likes my posts or something. I don't know. Democracy. Some beers and retro games after painting mom's house. Hey, that sounds nice. Last time I painted a house, I wasn't drinking age yet, but it definitely seems like the kind of thing that a beer would hit after getting out of the sun. Hopefully you got a water on the side too. Yeah. Fuck off huge ice cold water and a nice beer. I'm getting the energy because I'm currently crawling through the jungle right now. I'm in Zanzibar land. It's humid. I've been exerting myself all day. Yeah. What? Bitch! There was a there was a chirp. Okay, so you alright. Alright. You have to exit the screen in the right amount of time or you lose him. It's almost ninety in Mexico? Shit, man. I'm sorry to hear that, Ivan. It's a very temperate, like, 60 degrees here in SoCal. Mexico's pretty close, but I guess it's not that close. Alright, yep. Good time for a gamer stretch. I agree with that. Ugh.
I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get it! I'm gonna get it. I think I've- this has taken me more attempts than the boss fight at this point. Ooh. Uh, yes, Maverick. This is a Herman Miller chair. Um, I did receive it for free. I have to disclose that, but also it's an amazing chair. This plus a little foot cushion to kind of fix- or to kind of lock my chair posture in has helped a ton when it comes to, uh... Oh, you got one like it. Okay, good. I was... <laughs> I always feel a little guilty because it is such an expensive chair. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, lifespan on my chairs used to be like three, four years maybe? And that's about how long I've had this one and it... It... I, I know memory can fade, but it does feel like the first day that I got it. Yeah. I've always had the padding in other chairs wear through and then like the support struts or other metal bits start cutting through and it just gets uncomfortable, but this is this has kept my gamer heft aloft for many, many, many hours now. Yeah, Stage Geek, it's 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 up there. It is definitely a luxury good. But it's, uh, I don't know. I've been working from home for like four years now. It's one of the... I feel like health is an appropriate thing to invest in. Oh, thank you, Depressed Wampa. Yeah, I like this shirt a lot. I got this at a, a cute little store in downtown LA, actually, in uh, Little Tokyo. They do paint stamps. Shockingly, it's held up pretty well in the wash. Noble chair arm metal supports completely failed by bending for me. Madness. Long considered a Herman Miller. Yeah, I can't I can't vouch for its lifespan beyond four years or so, but yeah, it's it's going strong. I think ideally, um, a chair like this would equal to, like, three or four other gamer chairs. But there hasn't been enough time yet for it to last that long. But even still, like, the lack of discomfort is nice. And it's actually enabled me to stream longer, which was always my goal. I remember back in the 2019 Witcher 3 days, I would get to, like, hour six and just not really want to sit here anymore. Because my, like, my back and my butt, everything would get... Oh, I almost, almost dropped it. Ah! Oh, everything would get so, uh, so angry. Oh, I'm getting trolled again. He's starting to hustle. This is really funny. Also that it makes you wait so long. Nearly 10 years since Metal Gear Solid 5. God, that hurts. God, that hurts a lot. That hurts so much. Oh. Too late, Buster. All right. Oh, I'm like pounding on the wall? That's awesome. And then there's this break up here? Oh, it's the tap code. Oh no. <sighs> All right. Um, I'll have to look it up, I guess. It's a tap code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Before that, they were used during the Korean War. Instructions on deciphering the code should be written in the software manual over and out. Arr, DRM! Fuck you! Miller? It's not fear itself that makes the difference between a- yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, I know, I know that they have it on the launch menu. I am not gonna try to exit the game, but I can just look it up. Oh, that's that, that's an interesting little catch. Okay, let's see here. Metal Gear 2 tap code. Images. And there it is. All right. Let's see here. So the same charts. The row and then the column. So you go down and then right. Okay. Why is save, save search on? Why is that necessary? All right. Well, that's a lot. Hold on. I think it's going to be a number. Which is probably a frequency I have to call to progress. Two five oh, I think. God damn, hold on. It's kind of hard to follow this that fast. One four. One four zero. Oh. One two three. Hold on. Was that? F it's, it's either going to be five, six, or seven thumps. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. One four oh. Eight two. Okay. It's a snake. Come in. Dwee! Dr. Madnar. Ah! I see you figured out my code. Wait, what is. What is Madnar? He looks like Einstein, so I wanna. I wanna be like faux German, whatever. Where's Dr. Marv? It's been a while, eh, Solid Snake? Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar? How did you? Marv and I knew each other from Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other's language, but we were scientific comrades after a fashion. I was kidnapped along with Marv while we were in America. Where's Dr. Marv? He was moved here to the tower a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it, I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building? Snake, can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something. And that means... Yes, Metal Gear. Snake, it's here in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago is only a prototype. The new improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. They're also working on a light version for mass production. Then it was Metal Gear that attacked the nuke disposal sites. Precisely. Metal Gear is a nuclear equipped walking tank. Its true power is only unleashed when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Zanzibar Land now has the only nukes in the world. And now they have their sights set in Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it. Big boss. The very same. With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plots to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall to his hands. 
Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Marv's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside of our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. You could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madnar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made of Shobham armor plate. You can't just blast your way through it. Leave me here and go and rescue Marv. Snake. All right, I'll come back for you later. Snake. My daughter Ellen isn't a fan of yours. She's not married yet and I, I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, Johan Jacobson, who lives around here. You can reach him on frequency 140.40. He'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Oh. Thank you, Snake. Ah, uh, okay, well he's got a daughter. Oh, Jacobson. Jacobson? Why does Foxhound use animals for code names anyway? Who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People. That's who. I just don't get it. Over and out. Oh, that's right. I did rescue her last night. Yeah, she she was in the dress. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I can call Dr. Madnar whenever I want? Does Campbell have anything to say about this? If you get into trouble, give McDonald Miller a call. All right. Holly? Nothing. Ah, uh, I wanted to see that one. Damn it. Oh, well, I didn't do anything though. I don't have like a key. Um, it's it's in he's in the other tower. That's the only information I've got. I guess I have key two. Or maybe, it looks like there's a path to the north. Oh, that's this right here. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Well, the buildings are connected via the underground ducts, and I guess I have a radar out here now, so... I'm allowed to not, or I don't necessarily get stuck. Yeah, let me go, let me go this way. Getting some mad glare off my monitor right now. We're hitting that uh, that like time of the year when the sun just comes directly through and hits my monitor. Looks like there's a guard over there. Snake, watch out! You're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. Who's that? Your number one fan? So I'll come call it back. Nothing. No answer. What does Jacobson have to say? Nothing. Okay, it reveals him on the minimap. That's pretty cool. Google. Did I not? Oh, okay. That's me collecting the mine. Okay, you can do that. Okay, you can crawl over mines. Cool. That's singing sand. Imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. It squeaks when you walk on it. The sound will give your position away, so be careful. See ya. Singing sand. Thanks, Holly. That's awesome. You can drink your own saliva, but never spit it out. The enemy can tell how tired you are by looking at saliva on the ground or on plants. They can even estimate how long ago you were there. So don't spit in public. It's a dangerous habit. Over and out. Yeah, you're giving intel away. I'm so annoyed that I can't call that dude back. 
I guess the next boss fight, I can give him a ring. Yeah, nothing. Huh? That was weird. You know what's weird? Um, rations are in incredibly short, short supply in this game. Unless there's some trick to getting them that I just don't know about. I mean, there's one. Ration B3. Sliced ham, chicken, and turkey. Spaghetti, cheese, and coffee. Hello from a bathroom floor in Bangkok. <laughs> Hello from a gamer chair in Southern California. It is amazing uh, how Twitch can bring people together, isn't it? I'm going to tell the story at TwitchCon this year. reckon that giant flashing rectangle is up there, huh? Kind of thing I might need a grenade launcher for. Oh, no, it's a hind. Is it going to swat a couple of bothersome flies? Surely I can I can call this guy now. Yeah, there we go. Castler, Hind D. Just hearing that name makes my knees go all wobbly. <laughs> Weight capacity 12,000 kilograms. Top speed 250 kilometers per hour. Top altitude 4,500 meters. It's armed with missiles and a Vulcan cannon and protected by titanium armor. A real beast of a chopper. You don't stand a snowball's chance in hell if it starts strafing you from above. They used to say that if you saw a hindy coming at you, you might as well say your prayers. But Stinger missiles even the odds a little bit. Jipu, thank you for the sub. Haven't found the DARPA chief yet, but we did find, uh... Oh, look at the, like, interference. The, the static running over the photo, that's so cool. Uh, we did find the scientist from the first game. He had to make more Metal Gears. I know. Who saw that one coming? With stingers, you can knock that buzzard out of the sky, over and out. Alright. We gotta get out of here. What does my number one fan have to say? Nothing. Ooh! That's awesome. This is so cool. Okay. Okay, I just gotta wait. I gotta go come back when I have stingers. It's a shame this version doesn't have the old character photos. Oh, did they change that for this version of the game? That reminds me, I gotta look up some screenshots of OG MSX Metal Gear. Huh, they just kinda look around? Oh, Big Boss with Sean Connery? Okay. It was just too on the nose. Madnar was literally Einstein. Yeah? He kind of looks like Einstein now. Ow! Zies! Snake was Mel Gibson? Really? So they, they changed it retroactively to make him look more like... PlayStation 1 snake. That's kind of interesting. Oops! I punched that child. What, did, what does that mean?
What does that mean? Uh-oh. What does Campbell have to say about me punching a child? Fight when you have to fight. Well, I think he's okay with it. Devoff, thank you very much for the sub. Let me, let me go back into the base and come back out and see if that sweet, beautiful child is still there. That innocent, beautiful baby. I wonder if, I wonder if on a game design sense... Oh, I already, I used, I used my ration already? Oh man, I didn't think I had eaten it yet. Oh. But yeah, I wonder if I wonder if they really didn't like the nature in Metal Gear One of oh oop, didn't mean to equip that of uh like yeah okay good of like ration feeding and stuff of just grinding up rations. They told us this is a bottomless swamp and it's too dangerous to get close. But I saw a big truck driving through here. You believe me, right? Ah, so there's like a path. You know what, kid? I do believe you. Wait, do I, actually? Maybe I don't. Maybe you're a liar. Oh, rations respawn if you leave the whole area. You just can't swap screens. Damn, okay. So, they just made it way harder to, uh, to grind up. I don't know about this. Should be straight down? Yeah? I guess I keep thinking that I need to go off the right side of the screen, but... Ugh. God damn it. I'm getting kojima again. Damn you. God damn you, Kojima. He's laughing. He's laughing at us right now. That bastard is laughing. Okay. Trucks come in and out of here all the time. Thanks, kid. Well, I didn't go up. Ugh. Ugh. That sucks. That sucks. Ugh. Gotta play Skies of Arcadia, huh? I played that a little bit back in the day. I don't know, everyone really loved it, but it seemed kinda generic to me. Oh, okay, the other path is on the right side. All right. Thank you. That would have... 
I would have just assumed that it was like a fork off of the path that I came from. I don't know. Skies of Arcadia feels like one of those like it's the it's the 2000s and you just really 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 need a decent JRPG. Oh. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe Maybe there's something good about it. Oh, thank God. Alright. This guy's is all nostalgia and was a love it or hate it kind of game? Hmm. I mean, I don't mind a, a, a romp in the nostalgia every now and then. Running man! A visitor! What a pleasant surprise! And just in time, too! I wonder if that's a movie reference. I was about to go for a little run. I am a running man, the world's fastest mercenary. No man could keep up with me. See for yourself. Wee! <laughs> wow, look at him go. Look at him go. I'm just, they won't let me move. I just have to watch him do a lap of these rooms. Uh, what, uh, what do you think? Uh, this is pretty fast, huh? But I am just getting warmed up. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. This is so sick. Hear that sound? That's nerve gas! Defeat me before the gas gets to you and you might survive. The clock is ticking. Let the race begin! Oh shit, I am gonna die. I have no health. Still can't move? Oh, there, shit. Maybe I need to put down mines? That was pretty tactical, wasn't it? I bet he didn't see that coming, did he? Uh, you know what? Good time for a snack. Good to, yeah. It's a good time for a, it's time to girt. I'm gonna girt it up. Yeah, Kojima hates gamers. What's that all about? Kojima got me again. Kojima got me. Uh, nope, not Metal Gear Solid 2. We're playing, we're playing the greats. MG2. Snack time. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you real soon. Sorry about that. Sometimes YouTube takes a little while. It takes a while, though, for the gears to grind. But I'm back. Actually, I need to check and make sure I didn't mess anything up. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. <laughs> hope any. I hope things aren't messed up. Uh, that seems fine. This seems like the way things are supposed to be. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ah, <sighs> yeah, Loof. That that booby mode went places really fast. The acceleration was was breathtaking. Solid snack. Start gem. Uh, here's a fun little note. You know, so the game wasn't running because I... So I died, right? Got killed. The running man got me. I spawned at the exit to the first building, which means I have to walk through the swamp again. 
I think. I don't, we'll see. Solid snack. Yep, yep, this is where I was all right. And I have no health. So I desperately need to backtrack to a place that has a ration. Wasn't it? No? There was a different, I guess a different north exit. Out of the, out of the, or is it just north of the woods, I think? I think it's north of the woods. Wait, what? Where was, where was the minefield? Because there's a truck that has a ration there. I guess there's a ration out in front. Also, can you, can you stack multiple of the same kind of ration? Because it was like A, B, and C. So if you get a ration, oh, there's the, there it is. I'm sure you can like use it and come back, but can you get multiple of the same kind? I don't think so. Is Chad horny right now? Jeez. Well, thanks for, thanks for the warning. Luckily, Metal Gear is a notoriously non-horny game. Okay. Well, here's what I can do. Give myself a leg up. Walk all the way back. Uh, oh, God damn it. Ah, uh, I forgot. Well, now I get to do it twice. God, that hurts a lot. Um, anyway, walk all the way back. <clears throat> and then pick up the ration again. Now, now I'm questioning, uh, yeah. But I gotta do it three times to see what happens if I already have that ration and I try to pick up another one. Are these the games that are getting remade? No. Th the game that's getting remade is Metal Gear Solid 3. That's... That's a, a little ways after this one. Did I already... Ah, uh, God, I already ate it too. Now that I have this, I'm going to I'm going to make the run again. Okay. I think I can trust the grid in the mini map. At least this way I can test what happens if I pick up the ration when I already have one. Maybe it won't even spawn if I'm holding it. We'll see. I don't know, I'm a lot of the times when it comes to older games, and this is something I have to catch myself with, I get in the mindset that like, I should be able to roll through it, or whatever resources they allocate to me as I play through the game should be all I need. I can compensate for anything else with skill. Just being good. But, uh, that is often <laughs> not, I mean, skill notwithstanding, I think that's often not, not the most expedient way to progress in games like this. Actually, oh boy, that was silly of me. Well, using the time to like grind up items and things. Okay, wow, that is how it works.
Okay, well. This is as good as it gets, I guess. I just looked and you didn't realize ah, how many of them there are. Okay, so I can't entirely trust the grid. God damn it. Alright, hold on. I gotta run again. Hello, uh, love black girls. I've had a really good day. Thank you for the, uh, the well wishes. Hope you've had a good one, too. I'm not gonna get- I'm not gonna blow up any mines this time. I'm simply not going to. Instead of stepping on mines, I'm not going to instead. Take that, game designer. Kojima, think you got one over on me, buddy? Let me show you something. Those Konami sound effects are already kicking in. All right. I have a ration. Now, I wonder. I'm going to go back to the door and then and then save because I think that'll create a checkpoint at the door where I have a ration. And then I'll try to I'll try to make do with only one for now and see how bad it is. At least I'll have the one. And then, um... And then start to do some more, uh... More scouting, more prog. Get in there and get on the radio. Not immediately blow myself up. Thanks, Avi. It's good to be back. Alright, time to trudge through that effing swamp again. This kind of reminds me of the beginning of, of Snake's Revenge. All these... This tile set in the forest here. Didn't the first, like, screens of Snake's Revenge have, like, spotlights and stuff that move back and forth? I don't know. It'll be weird to play that game again. I seriously don't... I seriously haven't touched it since I was a child. Very, very rare... It's kind of a rare game to be like that. Okay, child. Wait a minute. Is this the right one? No, it has to be the bottom one. Yeah, I played a little bit of Snatcher Golf thing. Enough to enough to see that, yeah, it's a total ripoff of Blade Runner and Terminator, basically. Kojima at his, at his peak 90s when he's just assembling 80s movies into a, a video game. Okay. Time for more fun in the swamp. Yeah, I'm excited to play Snatcher. I'm really excited to play Police Knots. Two games that I think are, are very much up my alley, but I've never fully played through. I've only, I've only, I got Snatcher working on an emulator, and I played it for like two or three hours, and I was like, this game fucking rules. Snatcher is only on Sega CD, right? That hasn't been like ported to anything else. Snatcher. It's on PSX? Really? Snatcher? Oh, okay. That's probably the better version then, yeah? That's so weird. Yeah, I remember getting the Sega CD version running. Which is weird, because Sega CD emulation is not easy. I have not had a whole lot of luck with it. I only I only just fiddled with it, but it, you know, it wasn't just like... It wasn't very plug-and-play. Alright, I did it. 
I made it to Running Man. Who? 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 This way you'll never see me coming. Oh, there's a PC Engine version. No shit. I gotta do a little research then. PC Engine might be... It's a PC Engine game. It kind of feels like it. And also that might have the better soundtrack. Alright, here he comes. Here comes our guy. He's fast, and you're gonna know about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, there he goes! You have to wait for him to run around every time, though. And most of it you can't even see. It's just a fucking blip moving around. You have to wait so long. I do like that he's out of breath, though. And he's not even running that fast. Can't catch me, snake! I'm too fast for you! He starts just speed walking away. Kessler, loop me in. Running man. He was a sprinter at the Barcelona Olympics. Ran the 100 meter dash in 9.69 seconds. Nice. Then he got busted for doping and joined up with a terrorist outfit in Europe. There's no way you're gonna keep up with him. It's like a snake trying to catch a cheetah. You're gonna have to set a trap and catch him. Plant a trap in his path and you might have a chance. Of course, that's if you can do it before the gas gets there. The trick here is to use his speed against him, over and out. His lightning fast speed. Number one fan got anything to say? Nope. Holly? Nope. Camel. If you need to know anything about mercenaries or enemy weapons, ask George Kassler. Yeah. He knows everything. Miller! Drop some wisdom on me, brother. Oh, it's loneliness again. That's a good one, actually. I don't I don't mind that one. Oh, Dr. Madnar's answering. Snake, have you found Marv yet? I don't know how long he can hold out. You don't have to hurry. Over and out. Thank you. Jacobson, tell me about some animals. Nothing? All right. If I put mines in this hallway, is gonna get him for sure, right? What? It disappeared. Uh. All right. All right. We got him. We got him now. We got him now. I'm gonna chase him. Ooh, got his ass! I mean, I get, I get it, the, uh, the idea of, like, uh, I bossed. I blew myself up again. A boss designed around the fact that it, the game can track enemies on other screens. That was really dumb, by the way. That was the stupidest thing ever. I blew myself up, like, eight times. I deserve this. Anyway, I just had to acknowledge that. But yeah, I get it. It's like, it's a boss design that can only happen with the tech that they added in this game. So that's cool. But also it means that you never see the boss you're fighting. But I do have the, uh, I, yeah, I didn't have my gas mask on for like half of that. I walked over my own mines 18 times. I wonder if you put multiple mines in the hallway properly, unlike what I did. Um, if you can get multiple hits in on them. Oh, there we go. I guess this this is kind of similar to Metal Gear 3. Metal Gear Solid 3, excuse me. Snake eating a little bit. Okay. 
<sighs> oh my god, where is it? Oh, there, okay. Kojima's a genius. That's all you need to know. That's all there is to know. I'm gonna put on my gas mask before I forget. <laughs> Here I go! Yes, yeah, Smiley, that kid wandering around does look like Ash. This was well before Pokemon, though. <sighs> the game needs to know that I know to call Castler. Okay, I got- okay, I got it. He runs over the mines when he's invincible, and that's why he doesn't detonate the other one. So, maybe if I do this... There we go. You have to, and you gotta really like. Huh. There we go. Sheesh. Is there just gonna be a card? Oh, he's all bummed up. Look at them all, all blasted out. That's what happens. Who? Who? You didn't need this kung fu in your life, but you got it, didn't you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> you. You used my speed against me. Uh. What's your name? Snake. Solid snake. Snake? Uh, the cheetah lost to a snake? How could this happen? Guess you weren't fast enough. Nice. Oh, sick. Incredibly rad. He did, in fact, explode into card three. I had a quick check on what versions I think look and sound best for Snatcher. As far as my quick search could tell, only the PC Engine version has a fan translation, leaving that and the Sega CD versions as the only options if you want to understand any of the text. And honestly, the PC version looks like ass compared to Sega CD. Really? Okay. I guess Sega CD it is? That's shocking. His guts are all over me. Good. That'll be a warning to the others. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Ah, shit! The mines were still there. Whatever. I'm a million levels. I guess they're not- they're not changing their minds about how they do cards, though. We're still juggling a ton of cards. Oh! Snake's gonna free the children. Hello, children. I know what it is- or I know what that is. It's a stinger missile! Wait. They took some to the factory on the west side of the Zanzibar building's first floor the other day. Said they were gonna put them on some tanks. 
West side of first floor, okay. I hate people who use guns. That's cool. They give a hint about where to go next. And now I get to walk back through the swamp. But this should be the last time. And maybe I can go through that door right there. I'm sure that's that's the case. Have you played Chaser before? Thinking of getting it. You know, I've never played it. <laughs> I just remember doing edits on that gameplay. I feel like I didn't need to after that. But yeah, it's pretty great. I love those kinds of games. Really janky, weird, like, middle Europe boomer shooter types. Reminds me, I, got, I gotta play more uh, Atomic Heart. That game has a lot of Atomic Heart. Fucking fuck! Alright. Ah! Just let me out of this hell. What? I didn't know this path went down here like this. Good riddance. Sheesh. I wonder if that... I'm gonna guess that ration hasn't respawned, but I'm right here, so I may as well check. Well, the mines respawned. I think that's a good sign. That's good to have. Okay, so I guess if you if you want to like have more than one ration, you have to basically walk the map and not use them along the way to be able to take like two or three of them into a boss fight. That's interesting. That's a good way of like clamping down on the amount of healing the player can lug around. I mean, you kind of needed it in Metal Gear with the way that it worked. It was just kind of like in the tumult of the game. This seems a lot more like defined and clamped down. We know what we want the player to do. We're telling them where we want them to go. We're giving them the items we want them to have. And Metal Gear was pretty, like, pretty good about item corralling, but God, it wasn't very uh, tight when it came to, uh, uh, okay. So the camera can't see me. The rail, I guess, blocks sight? We live in a society over there. Oh, talking about Bruce's temporary ban? Yeah, it really, really sucks. It's so stupid. I guess somebody reported it, and I guess... What is it, like it's for his twerking goose emote? I guess some somebody at Twitch who just stumbled across the case must have assumed that he was trying to circumvent a ban or something. All right, stinger acquired. How many sting stingies do I get? Can attack enemies off screen if they are on radar, huh? I don't know if that's enough. Is six stingers enough? Hey, hail to the York! Thanks, thanks for the sub. Oh, that's just the missile. Oh, I can't just throw it. Hold on. 
You're right, that is a Stinger Missile. Interesting. Snake is strong. Are you accusing Snake of not being able to huck a missile into the air and take down a helicopter? I got a new key. Who knows what it's going to open? Bro. My little feet. Get up, snake. Red card. They listened. There is a god in heaven. Ah, oh, it's like the combined materia and rebirth. What a, it's like the first wind to fall after an excruciatingly warm summer. Damn. Miss, thanks Kojima. Thank you. Damn. Uh, I have to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sorry, I saw a weird pattern that's the like. I thought it was something on my shirt. Anyway, Kojima's done it again. The mad genius. Yeah, chicken and turkey, spaghetti, cheese, and coffee. Yeah, because it has different ingredients on the other rations. Which means I should dip out to the front of the base and pick that one up, because that one's pretty easy to get. Eh, no, it's not. You have to walk through the entire labyrinth of the may or the like fence out front, I think, to get it. I think. I don't remember how close it is. Well, I, I can go check. Ooh, another dust shoot. I wonder if that's the same one. Connects to the same thing. I guess I did have to go to the other building and that's through the basement, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like that's the closest objective. It feels like the helicopter is now that I've got the missiles. And I still got a card I haven't taken around everywhere. There's other floors too. Gear might be on them. See, man, they can see all the way across the room. Okay. Ah! I own this place now. Can I just... Uh, yeah, I think I can murder. But this is, uh, it's very counterproductive taking damage like this. That puts a lot more weight on being successfully stealthy. Um, when rations are hard to get. Fuck! I didn't, uh, I didn't think, okay. If they're that close to the top of the screen, they can get you. All right, all right hold on. Let's see. It was over here? No? Oh my 
God, snake. Ugh. that? Oh! Shit. Guess I have to wait. <sighs> yeah, DJ Kento, the soundtrack is phenomenal. The sound chip in the MSX is apparently really good. I haven't, I haven't played hardly anything on an MSX. There's a whole class of amazing sound done on chipsets in the late 80s and early 90s. Ah! On home PCs like Amiga and MSX and PC98 that I just don't know. Like I- Ah, oh, fucking Christ! I have very little exposure to. God, just don't let me take more damage. Fuck you, dude! I took more damage! It's actually shockingly hard to position Snake... ...precisely... ...in any way. Ranking is going to be so bad. <sighs> so I guess the way it can work is... Jesus, he's going to see me, right? No? Okay. Um... When you are, like, God, I, yeah, you really just need a place where there's a scene transition close to a ration. So that you can do the run, grab it, refill your health. And then, the, like, the further away you get, that's the last ration you want to use. Because that, uh, that means more backtracking to get it again. So wait, what's this one? Beef, pork, ham, and eggs, tuna fish, chocolate, and crackers. That's a hell of a mix. Very saucy mix. I wonder if there's ever an easy time to just run in the front door. I gotta watch this guy to the right too. Okay, like, I guess I don't ever expect them to, like, land and turn instantly. I'm getting Kojima all over the place. Oh, wait, hold on. Here comes the ultimate maneuver. The real gamer shit. I'm gonna go back out the north exit and pick up that ration too. This isn't where that is. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm in the jungle now. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna collect this. I have to use one. I'd have to do the run twice. Then I'll have two rations. Two rations and a checkpoint at the door. 
I wonder where else checkpoints happen. I think elevators. It seemed like there was an elevator before. Seen the Mitchell Hammond Metal Gear animated project? No. Oh, what's the idea? I did when I was doing some light perusing of the Metal Gear works out there. I did see a like a couple of animated comic kind of things. So I guess there's a there's some of that work out there. All right, one more time, one more time, and then I have an immaculate checkpoint. A base of operations, if you will. My supply lines fully established. I'm excited to explore uh, the rest of the first building now that I have the red card. That's gonna make things a lot easier. Or easier, maybe, maybe not so much easier, but just like less tedious. The menu screens load fast enough, so that's something. God. Game would be intolerable if, like, it had Legacy of Cain level menu loads. What? It let me pick it up. I guess I can carry two rations now. Two of each kind? Damn it! What do I do? Do I go back to the f Do I go back to the first ration? Do I collect even more supplies? All right, now we're facing a crisis. I like Snake's little pitter-patter no noise he makes when he's walking on the sand. Little squeaky squeaks. No, I want to. I want to explore the building. This is enough. Three, <laughs> three rations is enough. That's more than I thought I'd have. I thought I'd only have two. So maybe, maybe we've hit a level of cons uh, subsistency now. Yeah, Nick Cage is correct. If I were to catch a, a silly band, it would be over my desktop, for sure. How you liking the chocobos in Rebirth? They're cool. Ow! I like that there's a, a mini game around each one, pretty much. Like each region unlocking chocobos. But that's kind of the mantra of the game in general, is just like a mini game that just extends off into the rest of the game. But yeah, they're they're nice. It's a good means of it's a good means of uh, exploration. So there's not another door in here, I don't think. Yeah. It's just the one on the right. I got the launcher from the room on the left. So I just, now it's elevator time. Which is not over here, but that yeah, is over here. Dude. So you can get got, huh? You can get got a little bit. If like they blip over into the square above you as you're blipping into the square and it's like directly across, you can't really see that far away. Huh. 
<sighs> Kojima predicted the internet in this game. And Metal Gear 2 for the MSX? He predicted the internet would be a... A single cell bioge... A bioge? That could eat oil or whatever? He predicted the bioge. Uh! Here we go. Bang. Okay, so you can't... Oh, okay. If you're above the basement, then the dust chute is the only way to get to the basement. Interesting. I think that's... Well, wait, maybe this elevator? Okay, yeah, there were doors here that I, I definitely couldn't open. Is that a silencer? Suppressor, hell yeah! <laughs> but the wink. Nice. Now we're snaking. Snake's crawl speed is actually pretty fast. Can't see what direction he's looking. A ration. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Binox, good stuff. Uh! We'll eventually just all be dead. <laughs> it won't be a problem anymore. Ugh. Okay. You can just use it. I thought I thought I was getting a cloaked tip. Keep exploring. Brother, you don't want to check this out. Really? Fuck. Hey. been down here. I don't think there was another door. Can't go in there. I've been up here, and I don't remember if there was another door splintered off of this. Ah, oh, just plain loot. Thank you very much for the sub. I can't remember. There's a door over there. And I can't remember if I ever opened it or not. 
I have to go check. Gosh darn it. I guess I did. It's down here. Oh yeah, this, yeah, I don't think I need to come down here. Pretty sure I've been both of these places. Yeah, this is the gas mask place. Yeah, this was the ninja place. Okay. That doesn't open. Wait. Damn it. That doesn't open. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's the other path down there. That might open. Uh, dude can out walk a bullet. Awesome. Okay. This is new. Watch, watch me not be able to open this. You bastards! Why? Kojima. Kojima. Alright, I got got. I feel like I'm maybe backtracking a little too soon. I don't know how, how on this game's ass I have to be about that, you know? Okay, that doesn't open. <sighs> Something in B1 might open. Or, I might, yeah. There were a couple doors down there, I think. <sighs> and then floor 2 actually had a really accessible uh, ration. Okay. So it might be worth to uh, pick another one up on the way. I think floor two also had a, had a dust chute somewhere. Am I misremembering that? I know one does. Oh, hey, Jesse. Oh, no, your bird escaped. Oh, no. I don't know how you even... Man, if a bird escapes, it's just gone, right? Also, maybe take the left elevator down to the basement here. He's back in his condo? Okay, great. Everything worked out. like that. Plastic explosive? Okay. Alright, alright. This is where the PSG one is. Ooh. Submachine gun. Can be fitted with a suppressor. Can also be reloaded.
Oh. RC missiles. Cool, 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 cool. That slick bastard got me. <laughs> Every time Snake falls into a pit, Kojima gets to spend five more minutes with Guillermo del Toro. It's great. It's a good trade-off. Oh, no! You can't stop and fire. That's three pitfalls in a row, folks. That's three in a row. Will I do four? I don't even I don't even need to stand there. I have a gun. It can do it can do this. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know if I have to start tapping all the walls either. I feel like this game is not going to be as as evil as Metal Gear about that sort of thing. All the drawers are controlled by computer. They each need a specific IC card to open. See ya! Alright. Hello, veiny penis. Hello again, veiny penis. <laughs> Thank you, D. Landrum. I, I'm real, baby. Some people can't handle how real I am. Not today, Kojima. Damn it. That's not something I can open. Well, I guess he got the last laugh this time. Okay, I picked up some items. I will have to... It's definitely easy to sort of bookmark coming back to the basement when I get a new card, as opposed to, like, Metal Gear, where... Getting a new card meant it just could be anywhere. The number of doors, locked doors, are, is pretty slight so far, actually, which is nice. Yeah, I already went into that other room up there, so... Okay. I don't think this will let me go down one more floor, but I can try. I think I might have to get into a dust chute for that. Oh, well, okay. Don't mind if I do. There's kids down here? It sounds like Final Fantasy music. I bet they have some hot tips for me. Okay. Damn it. No go. Can you use plastic explosives on the doors? I'm gonna guess not. This game is pretty specific about its card systems. Or it has been, anyway. Okay, since the ration is here, I'm gonna make a pit stop and refill my life. What was that noise? <laughs> you bastard.
Yeah, I need to go fight the helicopter. Or wait, have I gone up to the fourth floor? Yeah, like Final Fantasy VI, yeah. Uh, I stopped to refill my life. I barely got any life gain. Yeah, okay. Yeah, helicopter time. Hello, Tony P. Couldn't play a game like this as a kid. Quest 64, Papers Boy, Nobunaga's Ambition, Adventures of East, Super Star Wars. Those are all complicated games, General. Gosh, Nobunaga's Ambition. Yeah, I remember renting some, like, strategy games like that on the SNES. And just being like, whoa. I, I mean, I, I kind of eventually figured some of them out. Like renting SimCity was pretty cool when I was when I was younger. Yeah, Super Star Wars was mean. That game's brutal. All right, let's go beat up a helicopter, huh? <sighs> Didn't they re-release those on PC? I think they got re-released. Didn't they? I don't know. That'd be a fun game to to dick around with. Saw it coming a second too late. Damn it. All the clicks and pops in the percussion are really, really cool. I play Zone of the Enders, specifically Second Runner. No, I played Zone of the Enders because it had a Metal Gear Solid demo with it. Like, like probably a lot of people. Like probably a lot of people, but no, I play. I played Second Runner a little bit actually. Yeah, because I remember it being like way more fast-paced, more of the like Gundam ass popcorn. Uh, multi-laser rocket stuff going on. I just remember getting to the the good stuff way faster than Zone of the Enders 1. But I didn't stick around long enough to, like, finish it. Or know anything about the story or setting or anything like that. That's my recollection of Zone of the Enders 2. Let's see. Alright, it's over here. Yeah, I guess this is how I can get to the second building. I forgot about that. Oh. Not today. Yeah, Zone of the Ender's good. I guess there's not a lot of games like it. Am I a Star Wars Battlefront fan? I like it alright. I'm not quite as over the moon about Battlefront as a lot of people are in my age bracket. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. This is how I can see what direction they're facing. Uh, that's a really awkward... Super awkward way of changing in and out of that, though. Ugh. What? All right. Whoa, that did a shitload of damage. Okay. I can't equip it while I'm hiding under here. Okay, so I guess this the hind just like rotates around. Okay, and then I can crawl out.
What does that mean? Oh, is that, is that a miss? Crap. I'm gonna run out of missiles. I guess I might have to do some respawn runs on the, the stinger. Okay. It didn't even do the, like, hurt twingle, you know? Because it does, like, a it's a, I'm almost dead sound effect. That's not going to work regardless. Alright, well. I should have, uh, I should have called some people. Gotten some intel. I guess it's not too late. Hold on. Let me do that. Okay. Should let me let me put my toe back on the battlefield so I can chat chat up on the radio. Castler, what you got to say? This is Solid Snake. Come in. Hind D. Oh wait, yeah, no. Here, we already got it. All right. All right. I gotta go farm up some missiles. Die, Pliskin? What makes it what makes you think I'm gonna die? Man, this music is such a vibe, I love it. Okay. Uh it was on the yeah, it was on the left side of the floor one. Yep. That's where she is. I guess you have to run around the... Hmm. Every time I hear that part, it sounds like the your call could not be completed is dialed tone. But I think... Oh, God. You, okay, so you have to walk all the way out and grab more. Man. Six missiles. I'm wondering if it's probably... It's probably six to kill the helicopter, but I missed a few times. Does that doesn't give me more. I wonder if the ammo box gives you more for the thing you have equipped. so confused where did he go <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> disappeared into thin air well I'll be darned the sheriff throwing his hat on the ground dag nab it all right let's see how many I guess I should swing by the elevator to grab another... Nah, nah, I don't need to. I don't need to, it's fine. Theoretically, I shouldn't get hurt. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, I can't. Okay, I get six rockets. I wonder if it, there's no way its health persists if you leave and come back. The other thing is I'm not 100% on how to hit it. I just kind of aim at its dot and then hit the button. And I thought I was equal levels of close to it when I fired a couple of times and some of them hit and some of them didn't. And I didn't see a whole lot of consistency as to what did and why. So I don't know that I can precisely allocate all my missiles. But we'll, we'll get back up there and give it another go. Man, the animations are all really good. I heard a thud. The sound of a body hitting the floor. Solid snake's been here. Douche, douche, douche. Three precise blows to the spine. Severing surgically severing the exact vertebra he needs to incapacitate his foe. Ow! I think, I think that exact thing happened last time. Whatever, man. <laughs> Music is so sick. You can probably get two hits a cycle, but I don't want to risk it because I don't want to waste rockets. Do you have to lead? Yeah, maybe you have to lead the target. And it's like firing and exploding. Got it. Nice. Oh, all the rubble! Nice. Snake one, hind D zero. Uh, 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 uh. Play a little kung fu, show them what it's all about. expect that to work. Okay, there's a vent there. You're good with a cardboard box, right? Why not try posing as a part of the cargo? I'm changing the frequency for our future communications. The new frequency can be found in a photo in the software manual... Bye. Darn it. Uh I got it. One four zero point six is God damn you, DRM. Stealing our video games. Bleep. 
you need to know anything about mercenaries or enemy weapons, ask our mercenaries expert. I wonder if you can limp along in the game until like the very end where you have to call Campbell for something and if you don't have the new frequency you just can't finish or something. Never spit out your saliva. Thanks, Miller. Oh. Jacobson? No. Yep. Gotta buy Nintendo Power. Okay. Alright, so... Cardboard box. An ordinary cardboard box. According to the label, it's bound for Zanzibar land. Its use is unknown. That's cool. I wonder if you, like, do the vent where that puts you. Take me home again to Zanzibar land. Snake, I'm in trouble. They discovered my identity and now I'm a prisoner. Help me. Just when I finally managed to contact Dr. Marv. Where are you? Give me your location. I don't know. I was blindfolded. I think it's somewhere in the tower building. Oh, yeah. Snake, I hear noises off to the left. I hear an elevator. And to the right, I hear a noise like a pump. There's water flowing in front of and behind me. Water in front and behind, a pump to the right, and an elevator to the left. I think I've got a pretty good picture now. Snake, I don't think they know about my radio yet, but come quick, I'll be waiting. Elevator pump, water, water. Sure thing. Oh, there's a ration in there. Huh. Okay. So, the rations aren't, like, only in one spot. There's multiple different kinds of rations, but they're individually in different spots. It's an interesting way to... clamp down on the, the ration spam a little bit. But also reward map knowledge, I guess? Well, I got lucky that it was the one that I needed. Oh, these are just Heidi spots. They don't actually connect through. One had a ration in it, though. <laughs> Everyone's so confused. Okay, so there's like a really long... What the heck is with this floor? This is super weird. I guess I should backtrack and hit these elevators as I come across them. Do you have any other podcasts aside from the Inside Games cast? Uh, no, just that one right now. Well, I guess there's also the Patrons cast. A pretty high dollar exclusive podcast we do for patrons of Inside Games. But that's pretty up there. That was more like we just wanted to do something special for people that are giving us a lot of support than a, like more of a fully formed podcast. Yeah, butt cast when. That's what you do, right? The second anything gets views, you gotta you gotta you gotta step on the gas for a podcast. Oh my god, what is this? Floor 10. Oh. 
child floor. Hello, child. There used to be a veranda south of here, but the passage is buried now. What is going on up here? Oh, I forgot. I keep I keep not going to the the cool scene. We know what to do here. Oh, are you and Bruce going to do a drunk stream for Shadow of the Earth Tree? That's a really good idea, and I don't know why I didn't think about it. I'm, I'm, let me pitch it to him. Okay, sorry, one second. I just asked Bruce if he wanted to do a drunk thing. Uh, excuse me for one moment. Um, I'm going to... I have to tell Steph the ingredient, the recipes that I have ingredients for so that I can start on dinner because she's on her way home. So I'll be right back. And then that means that there's going to be a little cooking break coming up. But I still have time to do a little bit of Metal Gear in the meantime. And then there'll be more after. So be right back. See you in just a moment. Do I hit it again to blow it up? No! Uh-oh. Child! No, child! Can be detonated off-screen if within radar range. Alright, child, we're gonna walk this way slowly. How do you detonate? There we go. Interesting, okay. Let's punch. Makes sense. That sucks! Alright. Well, I guess I know this is up here now, so that's cool. Ugh. Used to be a veranda out there in Badge Bear now. Used to be a veranda out there in Badge Bear now. Okay. Alright, kid. I guess I just need to, yeah, need to wait until I get the key. Okay. I feel like this building is going to be a lot more shitty about this kind of thing. That's, that's the established pattern. All right. Can't do anything in this elevator. That's all right. opened. Nope. Okay, well I guess I just gotta take this big old corkscrew path around and get to the other elevators. Wait, Ghostbusters has a fuckable popcorn bucket at Cinemark? Another one? God, they move fast, huh? Once anything has a little viral lift. People want- people want to fuck the popcorn buckets? Fine! Give them the most fuckable popcorn buckets they've ever seen. 
right, more kids wandering around in the sewer. That's normal. Yeah, okay, well. Are you friends with the blonde lady, mister? Oh. Is she around? I'm afraid of these mines, because I don't understand them. This also seems very suspect. No? Okay. The one-eyed man told us to tell him if we saw a man wearing green clothes. The blonde lady says he isn't here. I see. Yeah, Woot, that's the idea. Never know what can happen, but... Yeah, I'm all a drab, it's fine. I haven't called around in a while. What's Holly got? Oh yeah, Holly's still trapped. Snake! I hear noises. Yeah, left elevator, right pump, water in front and behind. All right. It's convenient that they kept her in the... the building that I... Just now, oh no, I'm getting swept away. There's a current. Wait, maybe I can do this. Oh, okay. Is it sweet? Oh no. I think it's sweeping me back to the other, other building. That's awesome. Oh, Kojima. What have you done? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I recognize this. Oh! Oh! Alright. Uh. 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 Just getting slopped all over the place. Oh! the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> God, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I pinged him on Discord. He, he seemed just annoyed by it, but doesn't seem too bad. Child? Child? Yeah, I can't get up there. He seems as annoyed as as uh, somebody would be in that situation, I guess. The one-eyed man said we shouldn't go against the current. He said you can see lots of new things if you just go along with the flow. Do you know what he meant? Revolver Ocelot. <clears throat> Okay, well. Hmm. Oh shit. All right. No. <sighs> it's just barely off off kilter. Okay, well that worked out, I guess. Bruce, uh, so Bruce had a, a twerking goose emote. This is my understanding of the situation, just for those who are curious. Bruce had a twerking goose emote, and, uh, I guess that got 
that got removed. Somebody reported it and it got like moderated. Twitch removed it. So he re-uploaded a censored version where it was a twerking cartoon goose with a giant black box in front of it. I thought it was funny as hell. Somebody used it earlier today. Uh, but somebody reported that and my assumption, my full assumption at this point is that somebody at Twitch saw the report. It seemed like on the on the most superficial level, like somebody was just being stupid and trying to circumvent a ban. So they they dropped the hammer without really considering, oh, I should have gone up there. Yeah, I need to I need to make the loop again. Anyway, dropped the hammer without really considering considering anything. Because yeah, it just seems like somebody has a, a hate boner for Bruce and they're exploiting the Twitch reporting system to feel like a big man. Yeah, it seems that yeah, the community consensus is there's some fucking nerd out there who's going to be jerking off extra hard tonight. Oh, yeah, I guess there's that too. Bruce, is, Bruce has a zero tolerance policy on, on dipshits. Which, uh, wouldn't you know it, uh, can lead to dipshits getting their feelings hurt. So I went up there, that got me the ration, yeah. So the only other path is that tiny one that I missed twice. Old Mirror's Edge makes you sad? Why does it make you feel old? Mirror's Edge is an awesome- both Mirror's Edges are awesome games. Maybe one day people will wake up and realize Catalyst was too good. Maybe not too good, it was good. It was good. It was good. But people just weren't there for it? Nobody cared? Ow! Uh, there we go. Here we go. Here's the good stuff. Looks like I could talk to this other weird child up here. Might give me some uh, important advice. The water in the ditch is freezing. You'll catch a cold if you stay too long. Okay. Shocked they never tried a Mirror's Edge VR experience? Did EA ever... Did EA ever do anything in VR, really? Ah. Uh, door doesn't open. Okay, well... I heard this ditch is connected to the next building by a jet stream. Okay. Sure is. I don't know if there's a way to get back up on the other side, though. Like, back up to where I was with the elevator. Because I'm pretty sure I'm done here. Yeah, I don't know why there's kids hanging out in the sewers. Is this supposed to be, like, a commentary? I don't know if this is Kojima being edgy. Like, this is how bad it is in South Africa. Uh, that in this military compound, there's like orphan kids hanging out in the sewers. C Strat, thanks for the sub. Another month for the Games Master. Thank you. The Games Master feasts upon your month and is is sated for one month more. Okay, I guess this that wraps up exploring down here from this weird elevator then. Provided I can get back, which I'm not convinced I can do- Oh no! Is that how to do it? You have to zip across the dark water? Oh wait, that's not the- That's not the platform, is it this? Oh, it's over there, okay. That I can get to. Ugh. God. Okay. I, I, it's good to explore down here, I guess. 
And then, yeah, I got some ammo. Okay, that's a pump. Ele but it, she said elevator to the left and pump to the right, but there's the kid is the one wandering around in the other one. Well, whatever, it's still a secret. You gotta blow it up. Oh! Thanks for reminding me that I had those equipped. It kinda, <laughs> at a glance, it kind of looks like the key card. Thanks, Snake. You saved me. Uh, what's wrong? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. Oh, always a charmer. What? You thought I'd be ugly? I should have met up with you sooner. He's laying on the rill. I guess this is the yeah first descript first depiction of Snake being a creep. <laughs> uh. Snake about Doctor Marv. I'm pretty sure he's okay. Pretty sure? I thought you said you'd made contact. Well, I haven't actually met him. He's under armed guard somewhere. But he sent a message by carrier pigeon. It might be some kind of clue. A pigeon. Where is it now? I found it, but it flew away just as I was about to catch it. I saw it heading up the elevator in the tower building. Toward the roof? The bad guys are looking for it too. We have to find it before they do. It's our only clue to Dr. Marv's whereabouts. A pigeon hunt. What are you gonna do? I'll only get in your way. I want to gather a little more info. I'm starting to like this place less and less. And then this happens. If this keeps up, I'm really gonna let him have it. I see you've still got spirit. Just don't do anything crazy. The enemy might be listening in, so let's change our frequency to 140.76. Okay, Snake? Oh, and I made a copy of my IC card. It's card four. Here, take it. See you later, Snake. Take care of yourself. Oh, she's gonna walk away? Nice. Holly. What? That's the kind of thing you'd say to your boyfriend when you kiss him goodbye. Then what, Snake? What should I say? Stay alive. <laughs> and we'll meet again. Sometime. Wow, what a real warrior poet. Deal. Jeez. Jeez, Snake. You just talk to me like I'm your boyfriend. That makes us boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, here's the problem. Now there's all these, like, doors down here that maybe card four will open. She said seven six, right? The new frequency? Yeah. This isn't a good time to talk. Call me later, okay? Okay. Okay. There was, I think, one door? Yeah, there was one door at the end of a really long... Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the, uh... Yeah, the, yeah. I remember where it is. All right, I'll go check it real quick. I can't believe that was actual dialogue. What do you mean? What do you mean? Metal Gear is great. It's great. It's got great writing. It's good. It's not stupid. It's not campy and dumb. It made me cry. It actually did, I think. I got a little teary at the end. That song's really good. The best is yet to come, man. That's a Hall of Famer. Ow! 
Uh, Milky Mimsy. That's a that's a very milky raid. Thank you for the raid there. Hold on, I gotta I gotta deploy the, all the technical wizardry at my command and use my phone to issue a shout out. Actually, Kali, you're a mod. Could you do a little shout out, please? Ugh. Hell yeah! Oh, okay. I wonder if this door opens now. Hey, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, there's another door over here. Oh, right. Okay. Dead rat. Yes, playing Metal Gear 2. Welcome, Milkies. Oh, my partner just got home. My life mate? I don't know. Partner does... It's heterosexual, so partner seems like... Uh, you know? Uh, there's a uh, there's an eh uh about it. But it's not girlfriend. Like, it's more serious than that. So, I don't know. There needs to be a an in-between word. It doesn't cramp anyone's style. Uh... Do you want me to... Oh, you're on the phone. Savage Mask. Better half. That's a good one. That's perfect. Thanks for the sub. Thank you. Alright. Uh, I've... She said Doctor was in the second tower. I have card four, though, so I could try to... Yeah, let me go to B1. And sweep sweep the bottom floor with card four and see what I can get. Because the, uh, the odds of there being gear there that I need are pretty high. The sweet to my sour. Yeah. Well, speaking of, has anybody anybody gotten up on that McDonald's sauce? Oh no. Literally sweet and sour sauce with chili. Yep, sure is. Grenades, all right. Yeah, it's it's like, it's weirdly sweet. Which kind of, it's almost like, well, I guess it's, maybe this is my palate being too old for the delicacies of, of sauces, but yeah. I almost wish they'd just save, double down on more of the savory chili flavor, but. Anyway, luckily there's a, there's a pop-up anime McDonald's in LA. Steph was able to book it. I get to live out my anime McDonald's fantasy soon. Most McDonald's special sauces are just a combo of two of their sauces. Oh! Nice. Body Armor, the Silent Partner Special, a bulletproof vest that halves damage received from enemies, only works against bullets. Sick. Alright. I picked up some goodies. I think, yeah, both of the... Yeah... Yeah, okay. Both of the doors up there. I've, I've opened. Okay. I guess it's back to B2 then. Into the other building. Yeah, you're right. Gosh. All the McDonald's stuff won't work anymore because now it's trademarked. Damn it. Well, hopefully McDonald's will be cool about it. They have the capacity to be cool, right?
<laughs> hey, Parrot King. Huh. I don't know, I always got the sense that copyright law was a lot bendier in Japan, given how, like, how obvious all the knockoff stuff they use in anime and stuff can be. And also just the, the liberal slathering of copyrighted music you can hear in Japanese TV. So even if McDonald's grabs it, it I don't know, that doesn't seem to stop too many people. Man, you gotta really, you gotta really cut wide to grab that child. I'm wondering if I should do that. He probably has important things to say. Yeah, let me take the loop one more time. Yeah, Pal World is is pretty pretty deep in there, huh? Pretty pretty bullseye. Okay, here's the plan. From the screen before, I gotta jump in the freezy water and, and cut way to the right, so that I can swoop back to the left and catch the ladder, catch those steps and talk to that child. <sighs> oh! Lesbian420, thanks for the sub and the compliment to my shirt. Yes, I like this shirt a lot. I've been, I've been picking up some new some new looks lately. All right, let me scoot on over here. Yeah, the music in this is so good. I really didn't know that the MSX was capable of such uh, groovy tunes. Today is the 23rd anniversary of the Bouncer. The Bouncer. When did the PlayStation 2 launch? I remember the Bouncer was a launch title. All right, here we go. Whoa! Yeah. Got it. Wow. I didn't expect that to work. That was way faster than I thought. Did you know there's a, a old sewer under the ditch? There's an old, there's a old sewer. March 2000. Wow. March. March. Man. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm temporarily locating it because that's pretty much when my family shit started falling, completely falling apart. I had a job in a car at that point, luckily, so I was able to like buy a PS2. Uh, March 4th, 2000. Wow. Damn. 24 years, almost a quarter century ago. Am I on the right side? I am. Okay. So how long have I been streaming? Uh, about five hours. Had a little break in the middle to uh, publish a YouTube video. It was a launch title. Okay, I thought so. Okay, so this is this is that second. This is that second one. I don't think I ever tried to take this up. And I can I might be able to backtrack now to that first elevator now that I have card four. Oh, since the beginning? Oh, man. I remember streaming to Justin TV a couple of times in 2011. Uh, I started streaming more regularly to Twitch in 2013, 2014. Yeah, I guess I have been streaming for a while. I didn't really think about it, but... I guess the time is stacked up. Hello, child. The one-eyed man is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown-ups. Unsavory overtones there. What's with the... What's with the one white laser up there? Ah! Well, I guess I'm gonna find out soon.
It's like a tripwire, maybe? Understand what that is. Is it like a, a barrier? Just designed to slow you down and make noise? <laughs> yeah, a rope and bell? Interesting. I guess there's a thing you can jump off here. What is this music? What a what an what a what a vibe that music is. Very impressive atmosphere. Uh huh. Well, all right. What kind of games do I mainly stream? That is a really good question. I don't know that there's necessarily a genre or even a type. I'm all over the place. Um, I like playing through series of things, if that makes sense. Collections of games around a theme. So, yeah, gamer ass games, I guess is another way to put it. I guess if I had a type, it would be like very intricate, kind of more complicated, layered, textured kind of things. Uh, there's some games I like that aren't necessarily good for a streaming format. I don't know. I, I, I used to like RPGs more than pretty much anything, but I don't play them as much. I don't know why that is. JRPG was probably like my number one genre for a while. Yeah, Starfield. Yep. Uh, I love me some Starfield. Uh, the stream is exclusively on a rotation between Last of Us, Starfield, and Skyrim. You stream horror games. Uh, in October, I do. I, sh I should do it more than that, because I do like horror games quite a bit. Uh, I've been thinking about playing the Clock Tower games, because I've never played a Clock Tower. <laughs> yeah, Crime Boss. This, I might, I don't want to say this for sure, but I probably was the number one Crime Boss Rock Hay City channel for a minute. In terms of... Whew. What is this? A booby trap? Red Blaster. Yes. That's right. A trap clever enough to catch a fox. Or should I say, a foxhound. Oh, look at him up there. <laughs> Crawling around, weirdo. I'm Red Blaster and you're not going anywhere. My grenades will see to it that your death is slow and painful. Look at him scooting around. He's scooching. I have grenades too. Let's see what Kassler has to say. Red Blaster. He's an elite assassin who likes to blow things up. He'll set booby traps all around to pin his target down, then use those grenades he always carries to finish the job. Snake, give him a taste of his own medicine. He's bound to be hiding behind a wall or something. But you could flush him out with a grenade of your own, over and out. Yeah, I thought. It seemed like it was throw grenades at him. I can do that. Get fucked! Oh man. Red Blaster sucks ass! I'm 
There's a special place in the video game pantheon for Metal Gear bosses that are just complete pushovers. Oh! Sorry, bro. Master of Grenade. So... So I guess the idea is I'm, I'm like walking and this just stops me for a minute. And then I could get hit by a grenade. Oh! Now that's dangerous. Oh, the stairs! The Metal Gear Solid stairs! Oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to go to the roof. Ah, uh, what's your favorite Metal Gear? Probably three. The door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers. But it's jury rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. See ya! Let's see what Miller has to say about this. He's telling me not to spit again. Campbell? What you got to say? Lay it on me, bud. Watch out for floors that make noise when you walk. Not even those noise-absorbing boots you're wearing can eliminate footstep noise completely. Crawl to move across those types of floors, over and out. Roger Dodger. Oh, what's this? What's this dot moving around? It's a, oh, it's the pigeon. Hey there. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh. No. No. <laughs> do I have to punch it? I don't have to shoot it, do I? I'll do it, but I don't. I don't wanna. Maybe I have to crawl up to it. Oh wait, you know what? There's an expert with animals on my team. Jacobson, tell me about pigeons. That's a wood pigeon. Specially trained to act as a carrier pigeon. Did you know that there are over 260 species of pigeon in the world? They're 40 centimeters long and are found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Dr. Marv probably brought that one with him. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they'll sense you and fly away. Yet for all that, they're notorious gluttons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you have some beans or potatoes, you can use them as bait. I just got a large order of fries myself. Oh, right. Tough to find a burger stand out on a battlefield, eh? Over and out. So I gotta find some beans? What if, what if I get him cornered though? Bitch! Mmm. Well, they talked about living quarters on the fourth floor. But that's in the other building. That's where food, I guess, might be? Yep. The Adventures of Snake and His Lost Beans. <sighs> this is riveting. I can't believe this this specific sequence was not recreated in an ensuing Metal Gear. God is ass! Nope. Nope, I need the beans. Alright. Oh, the good news is I get to walk all the way back down the stairs. Black Mage, thanks for the sub. What? Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Ryan Dareberry, thank you for, thank you for the 26 months of subs. I really need to figure out how to get an emotes to render, but Black Mage, that's an amazing message, hold on. About a month ago I passed out, puking and shitting blood on my bedroom floor. Hospital scoped me after three transfusions and discovered I had an ulcer that ate a hole so big it started eating behind my stomach. 
So they cut out a third of my stomach and reconstructed it with the rest. I'm healing well and got the staples out today. February sucked. I am so sorry. That sounds terrible, but I'm glad you're recovering. Um, damn, I'm glad... I'm glad it was found before, you know, it got worse. It sounds like that's something that... You'll just have to get used to eating smaller meals or something? Who knows what the, the long-term... Hopefully the long-term fallout isn't too bad from that, but... My god. My god, am I glad you're okay. Oh, I'm sorry you had to go through that. That's terrible. Oh, well, you made it. Nothing could put a black mage down. So wait, did, did you have like... Surely you had symptoms before that. Man, what an ordeal. Take care of your guts, everybody. Drink water and all that. That's... that's how... that's... Terrifying, Black Mage. But again, I'm very glad that you... You made it through and you're on the mend. Outrageous. No signs. Human bodies, man! What's up with that? They find a way to make it through all kinds of... hideous stuff. So wait, if that goes to B1, then that means... Wait, did I... I didn't really get anything from beating the bomb, man. Unless I, like, completely missed something. I guess I got a life up. That's nice. Ugh, sneaky lumpy. I'm sorry to hear that. Gastrointestinal stuff is never fun. I had my share of that. I, I would just get, like, constant stomach pain. Uh, and I assumed it was because of, you know, drinking or some... I never thought I overused ibuprofen, but I had, I had days where I would take a fair amount of it. So I was like, ah, uh, I burned out my stomach lining and now it's just going to be pain for the rest of my life. But it was more like, no, it was more that like just the tap water around here was so bad that, uh, it was causing me, causing me trouble. So yeah, bodies are weird. And it took me forever to figure it out. All right. I've been here with with the fourth card. Waiting for the elevator to open while the uh while the evasions going off is pretty good. I don't know if it was hardness necessarily. Yeah, that was probably a big part of it. We definitely have pretty pretty crusty tap water. Unfiltered out of the faucet, it leaves like a, a white film on everything it dries on. But I have a two-filter system now, and that helped a lot. <sighs> so yeah, I'm wondering at this point if I need to backtrack to the first building. Wait. I'll, I'll try to... Maybe that door will open, and then also maybe in this, this, ele this first elevator. There's another door that can pop open. I'm not quite sure. I guess I'm tr still trying to find the doctor. That's my, uh, that's my objective. Oh, there's a door right here. Ah, okay. Nothing gets past these... these upstanding soldiers. Ugh. Shit. Hmm. 
They said it took years to get that way. No goddamn symptoms. Man, no rumble guts after you eat a... Eat an intense meal. That's... Like, I just don't know how the human body can get to that... Having no symptoms along the way. It's just... Oh! Anyway, sorry to hear that. Brr. What's hospital food like? Are you just like on that jello shit? of mine got diagnosed with stage 4 lymphatic cancer. He's alive and beat it, thank God. Had no signs of cancer as well. Damn, man. Yeah, for me, the, uh... I've been getting in the habit of doing checkups every year or so, and my doctor just, just orders blood work as just a general test of how things are going in my guts, and that's been good. Hopefully it's... If anything is getting weird, uh... Then, uh, that would find it as early as you could expect. Nothing. Nothing. But I'm very glad your friend beat it. That's uh that's great to hear. Always good to hear. Love hearing the uh the tables getting turned on cancer of any kind. What a weird floor this is. Okay, so still nothing there. So yeah, I guess I have to go back to the first building. To get beans. Unless this goes up again? Does it? Doesn't. Okay. Aw. Made our gaming group very happy the day he announced it to us. That's great. Okay. Do I go out the front door or do I flush myself down the sewer? carry three now. Hell yeah. Ooh. Hey, stoners in the chat. Clean your glass. Friend of mine had a brutal bronch bronchial infection from not cleaning his glass enough. Clean your bongs. Damn. Yes, please do that. What's the preferred way? I guess you could just like soak it in alcohol for a while. If you have like ethyl alcohol, maybe just like make a solution of that in water. And just submerge it for a while? That'd probably kill everything. Isopropyl? Yeah. Because that'll probably dissolve any, like, buildup too, right? Good advice. Good tips getting traded here. And coarse salt. Huh. Shake with big salt to get gunk off. Huh. What is the... Does the salt, like, break down the surface tension of the water? What does the salt do? I'm intrigued. Huh. That's rough? Okay. It's just an abrasive? Even dissolved? I, I guess maybe it doesn't dissolve in alcohol? Gotcha! Neat! Okay. Well, gosh darn! I'm wondering if that would work for electronics. Or, like, keycaps? You know? If I want to take all the caps off my keyboard and give them a mega deep scrub. Complete dis disinfectation. Hmm. 
Not great for plastic. Good point. Yeah, I'd probably scuff it all up. Oh, I'd probably scuff it all up, huh? Oh, acetone? You're right, Tugs. I need to package all my keycaps up and have them individually buffed by an experienced jeweler in Copenhagen. Yeah, I guess I just have a new key card. I don't remember there being any doors on the first floor that I hadn't opened, except for maybe that one. Oh, right. Damn, man. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, yeah, dust shoot. Eh. Hmm. Really? You really not gonna open? There's the double door down here. That's kind of it. Yeah. Uh, I guess I gotta start combing the floors again. Uh. Actually, I mm, think I might need to hang up the stream here for tonight. Steph's home. It's time to be domestic. Prepare a nice dinner. There's the basement. Didn't I already take- No, I took the fourth card to the basement, didn't I? I did. Caged money, thanks for the sub. Ah, I'm trying to remember where all the- all the doors I haven't opened are. Well... <sighs> I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, that's right. It, no, wait, it was the fourth floor. They told me that. Hold on. I want to find the beans. I want to find those beans. Because if I find the beans, then I'll remember what I need to do next. But if I don't find the beans, I'll forget that I need to find the beans. Include squids, hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting my education. So hopefully this opens with four. It's got to, right? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, all right, I know what I'm doing here. Operation Bean Securing will commence tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll probably start way earlier tomorrow because uh, I don't have Inside Games. Uh, we don't do Inside Games on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, I'll get going in the wee, wee hours of the gamer morning after I catch a workout. Um, and then Metal Gear 2. This game is awesome. I'm really enjoying this. The music's great. The The pixel art is really good. Snake's uh, interesting to control. It's a little chunkier, but I think I like that. Yeah, sorry, Corey. Timing is not the best, but... Uh, there's always got to be somebody that joins before we wrap things up. So you, you're you falling on that grenade today. Pun reference partially intended. Ludes also. Or lewd squids, excuse me. Uh, alas, it's tragic, but don't worry. Uh, I guess the VOD will be there as soon as I wrap it up. And then also, yeah, I'll be back streaming Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake tomorrow. So you can catch me then. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. This is Snake. So excited. So excited to play more Metal Gear 2. I'm in the wrong... Well, I'll change scenes in a minute. Metal Gear 2 is awesome. Holy cow, it's so cool. Man, remember Running Man? 
Every time I think about Running Man, I smile. Running Man makes me happy. Let's see if it... Oh, it seems fine. Okay. Hello, snake. My name's Running Man. I'm gonna run. <laughs> oh yeah, the party lights are back. I turned my I turned my gamer stick back on. So yeah, bus bone storm. What was the grenade? It was like red blaster. The grenade man. Okay, last we left Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. I had to go. I had to find some beans. I remember. It's, it's, uh, it feels like a universe has come and gone since I played this game, but... Man, those sound effects. So good to be back. Alright, it's time to navigate Zanzibar land once again. Someone's coming. Thanks to the legendary technology in Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Ah! Didn't see that one coming though. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got this. Have you heard about RT layoffs? You know, I think I think I think somebody mentioned something about that. Yes. Yes. Actually recorded a, an Inside Games about it just now. We're the only gaming news show brave enough to report on our previous employers shutting down. Sweeper. That should have been the intro line. It wasn't. It should have been. Whatever. Thank you for the sub. Uh, did... I hope an alert went off. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I mean, uh, previous topic, uh, cons all things considered with the previous topic, I'm doing quite well. Quite well. Where are my beans? Oh my god. One of you guys have, has got to give me my beans. The grown-ups always stand at attention when they hear the national anthem. It's one of their weird rules. Can I bomb through this wall? I can talk to other children. What will happen with Funhouse? It'll probably stop. Probably. Funhouse is having a stream today at, I think, 4 p.m. Pacific? I could be wrong about that. But they're having a stream where I'm sure they'll discuss their plans and future details. I uh, haven't worked there in four years, so I don't know. Certainly, they weren't you know, nobody was lining up to include me on things. I mean, on conversations that I rightly have no place in, so whatever. Uh, I just don't know anything, is the takeaway. So there's a camera up there, just kind of pointed down the hallway. I guess I can... Walk around there. Oh, the, it moves. Ah, okay. Damn right, Man Mountain. Wait, Man Mountain? Is this... Is this Man Mountain, Man Mountain? There's only... I don't remember you having the Man Mountain streams hand. Anyway. Yeah, we're doing the classics. Oh, okay, they can't see me behind the planter. Deep, true historical gaming. Hmm. Yeah, it's not about the brand, it's about the people. I agree. I agree 100%. There's only one bathroom here. It's on the southeast side of this floor. But I'm too scared to go there at night. That's weird. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Hope life's good.
Okay. Hello, other child. I've made it. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. Oh, is it 12 p.m.? All right. My apologies. Definitely don't want to be wrong about that. I don't have a flashlight. That doesn't work. Yeah, uh, JMH Tolly, I, I kind of agree. Um, I actually watched the Fallout trailer and it didn't look bad. Didn't look like bad TV. Kind of interested, actually. So, who knows? Oh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I don't know about that. Any potential fallout. I don't know. Keep an eye on on YouTube chat, but things seem pretty quiet, you know? Everyone seems to have kind of settled on their own thing. Damn, man. There's nothing up here that I can get to, I think. That sucks. So the planter's here. It shouldn't block? It does. Okay. Yeah, Walton Goggins is amazing. He's really good in Righteous Gemstones. hes I mean, he's been great in everything I've seen him in. I thought, like, he was good. I was looking forward to seeing more of his character in uh, I'm a Virgo. But that show just seemed to kind of end way too soon. Would you like a remake of this game? You know, it's weird. People keep asking that. Or people have brought it up. But that's kind of what Metal Gear Solid is. Um, and Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2 even has a lot of commentary about making the same game over and over again. Um, so, sort of, but also they're remaking Metal Gear Solid 3 right now. So, uh, I don't know. Well-worn territory. None of these... Man, none of these doors I can open? For real? Shit. So I'm kind of sunk. I thought there'd be beans up here. I gotta keep looking. Okay, so now I fully don't know where to go. My objective is I need to capture the messenger pigeon on the roof of the other building. Uh, but I can't do that without like breadcrumbs or food or something. So I guess I just gotta keep exploring until I find wherever that is. Wait, maybe somebody on the... Helpful radio can help me. This is Solid Snake. What do you got to say? Your mission is to avoid contact with the enemy, not to eliminate them. Forget everything you've ever seen in action movies, over and out. Except this is the most action movie game, anyway. There's a map in the command room that shows the layout of the entire compound. Yep, I did check it out. Miller? Always a helpful word for Master Miller. That's what I love about Master Miller. You can find beans. Ah! Oh! No. You can find beans, grains, and and the like inside rations. Take a look at your B2 unit. Kojima. Ah, oh, you got me. I got Kojima again. It's got beans and meatballs and tomato sauce. Beans and Frank's and tomato sauce. And beef and potato stew. That ought to be enough to attract a pigeon over and out. But Miller's not the... Miller's not the animal, dude. Okay, B2 ration. Jacobson should be the animal guy. Nothing. I won't even pick up the fucking phone. Oi. Alright, well... I guess I get to go back. Maybe... I guess I can take the sewer... over there. Beans and meatballs. Beans and Franks. 
for the discerning bird who loves beans. My bird's a bit of a bean lover. Ugh. Maybe I will just walk over. I can't remember explicitly how to get back to the sewer. I don't remember where the dust chutes are. Oi. Jacobson is just a zoologist. And since pigeons aren't zoo animals, he wouldn't know anything. Okay. You got me there. Kojima clearly does his homework. This game rules. I mean, I'm glad it randomly occurred to me to, to go down the Rolodex. It's nice that that's be- oh shit! I didn't know you could shoot up. It's nice that that's becoming more of a, like, a solution, or at least a, a hint. I don't know if I've tried card four in here. Reliable source of hints. That was definitely something that Metal Gear 1 could have benefited more from. Like, there were times where you needed to call someone random at random times in order to progress. Uh, I'm- the shift to, like, having- having programmed hints with particular recipients is far, far better. Get out- get your ass out of here, Green Beret. Yeah, this is the MSX, Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. After this, I'm gonna play Snake's Revenge, because that's the next Metal Gear game. Even though it's not a Kojima game. I wonder if... I'm really fascinated... Like, I'm always fascinated by that circumstance, when, like, a completely different developer has to take and run with a franchise that only has one reference point. Like, what aspects do they look at and say, okay, these are the things that make a Metal Gear game. These are the things that we can do uh, to, like, add something to this version of it. Here's how we can... You know, because people obviously have different ideas. Kojima's is... Like, not only is the game design and the tech both punched way up, but the... the certainly the cinematic flourishes are starting to take root, which is really nice. The... the absurd dialogue is fantastic. And the ridiculous, like... Named Bond villain esque bad guys that introduce themselves. And it's just, it's just fantastic. I don't expect that from uh, Snake's Revenge, to be honest. If anything, it's like NES cartridge limitations would probably curb the amount of text allowed. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna focus more on the Zelda aspects. Just like more labyrinthine uh, base layouts, more items to use. I didn't think he'd see me. I don't think alerts persist. Oh, they do. Okay. Oh, he saw my feet. Shit. Do you think you could release a game nowadays that would look like this? Sure. Yeah. Happens every day on Steam. There's a there's untold games that have about this production cal quality. Where is this game playable? Uh, well, Steam. <laughs> you can buy this on Steam. It's part of the uh, the Metal Gear collection. It's a pretty janky port, though. I'll admit. It launches the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, which was the last version of Metal Gear that was ported by Konami. It's like the PS3 version. Anyway, who cares? It also runs an exclusive full screen and it crashes if you try to tab out of it. So, not the greatest. <sighs> Which, I think it was the elevator all the way on the inside of the corkscrew. Uh, no, so, yeah, this is the, this is the Metal Gear 2 that Kojima expressly directed. The other Metal Gear 2, Snake's Revenge, the game on NES, he had nothing to do with. So that's the Black Sheep Metal Gear. Uh, but then he did Solid, which was the next Metal Gear game. Um, there's a few offshoots he didn't direct. I don't think he did Acid or Ghost Babble. Uh, I think he did Portable Ops, though. It's a very weird base, Red Panda, yeah. 
base design from the school of like Resident Evil architecture. It's kind of interesting how like one of the one of the more interesting and subtle design notes of this game is is Snake's like animation speed. He doesn't move like a normal video game character. If you want to go from right to left, he has to like turn around. There's very rudimentary animation because it's like halting on frames where he has to move through stances. So it's like when you start crawling, there's a big gap there. Hey, Ferret King! Thank you very much for the 43 months. Love you too. Thank you very much. Been reflecting on... Been very grateful for a lot of things lately. Wait, 30's not the top. I thought it was 40? <laughs> the most hair... Oh! The most harrowing trap Snake has ever run into. There's a little, a little wall that goes... Okay, no. That I don't understand. I think it's like a... Like a rubber band? A velvet rope? Who knows? Alright, board. Get some of these beans! I think it's coming over here already. Do I just have to have them equipped? This is B2, yeah. Beans and beans and beans. There's no button to put it down. Oh, Portable Ops wasn't Kojima. Peace Walker was. Okay. What? Bird! Come here! Wait, he's like, he's outside the map. I can't get him there. Yeah, Pius Lambda. Isn't this awesome? Just this scenario of having to chase a stupid fucking pigeon? I'm a tactical ops bro! And there's this dumbass bird. Ugh. Hey, Peek. No! <laughs> Damn it! I thought I got it. I can kind of see it. You can, like, cut off its its retreat. I get, like, right here. You gonna land? No. I think you have to be, like, behind it, too, or it won't... It won't land? Oh! Help! Whiz! Olo! Kiyo Marv. I accidentally skipped the first text screen. Only the H is in lowercase. Huh. Some kind of message from Dr. Marv. What could it mean? Okay, can I see it again though? Do I have to capture the pigeon again to see it again? Fuck. Maybe they'll tell me what it is if I call them. I think I have to cut. Okay. Wis Olo. Or Ohio? Maybe W I S is short for Wisconsin. And Ohio is Ohio. <laughs> K 
cool. All right, write that down, everyone. Names of U.S. states. But I thought Dr. Marv had never been to the U.S. McDonald Miller might know something about it. Over and out. He is an idea guy. Wiss. Ohio. Only the H is lowercase. I've got it. It's a digital number. They make them digital now? You see what I'm getting at, don't you, Snake? Over and out. What? I don't think I get what you're getting at. Yeah, do you, is it the thing where you just convert the, the letters into numbers? Try turning it upside down. They're not letters, they're numbers. It's a clue to Dr. Marv's frequency. Okay. That's, that's what you thought digital meant? Yeah, 140, what is it, 51. What the fuck is an M? Well, 140 is the beginning of the frequency. What I need are the last two numbers, which would be... S-I-W? Maybe the M... Maybe it's just 5-1. Uh, I don't know what the M would be. Look at it. Only the H was in lowercase. It's not a very clear code. Almost as if someone is telling you to read it upside down. Yeah. 0140.51M. Over and out. Mm -hmm. This is Snake. Come in. Oh boy. Is that. I have no idea what language that is. Tadi ye marv? Komam dela? Hechem ye nal mir? Dela me apu sa surveil du col. Men me dul flam, ze me. Zakarinete, nyanjit piotel. Try piotel! What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Madnar. What's going on with this guy, Madnar? Marv can only speak Czech and Slovakian. He's also the very type, and especially so in his current predicament. What about you, Madnar? I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it! Gustava can speak to him. Whoops. She'll be able to understand him and Marv trusts her as well. Is this the Gustav is still alive? Not too very. Gustav is no ordinary woman. She is a seasoned professional. So that's why they were talking about the bathroom. We're gonna do a Meryl thing. When Viva captured, she alone managed to steal an enemy uniform and escape. Skip? <laughs> they don't say that. No doubt she's hiding somewhere in Zanzibar land waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? No, it was taken away right after we were captured. The only thing I know is that she's wearing an enemy uniform. <sighs> there must be some kind of clue. What kind of clue can horny ass snake use? Here's your clue, she's a woman. Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise. There are no vermin soldiers in this fortress. No wonder he's horny. That's all you need to know. Gustava is a vermin. Why not set up an ambush? Some place that only a vermin would go, like the ladies' restaurant. Over and out. Well, okay, so the clue about there only being one restroom is kind of useful. 
Let's see what Holly has to say about ambushing women in the restroom. I also like that if the, the entire base is only dudes, that somehow they'd all just not use the woman's restroom still. Which is kind of the case sometimes. All right. All right. Okay, I get all right. So, oh. Here's the problem, though. Uh, sort of. Oop. Oh, okay, that's that screen. I don't know where a woman's restroom right. is. Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. All right. Let's go back and meet Harold. Thank you, Bobcat. All right. Hey, Tyler. But that, that child... That child is the only character I've ever seen mention a bathroom. Imagine having to get in an elevator and take it down 30 floors to use the restroom. Steph has some amazing stories about being a woman in game dev and how like dudes would just take over the women's rooms in various buildings. So she'd have to like go down flights of stairs and walk to another building to use the restroom. Game developers are cool. That's fricked up. It sure is. Oh, I guess there's a ration in there. Didn't that happen at Funhouse 2? Uh, we, no, we had two restrooms. They did swap the larger restroom to the men's room, though. But it was like, it was just one extra toilet, but there were a lot of dudes. The bigger problem was there just wasn't a urinal. If we had one, one sweet, sweet baby urinal, we could have had our boys pissing and getting on with their day. But yeah. There's probably not a bathroom in the basement. Oh yeah, hidden figures, jeez. Yeah, kind of similar. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to be playing Helldivers with Bruce in about an hour. So we're going to be enjoying... Uh, we're going to be enjoying Metal Gear around that. Didn't you have a hairdryer comb or something you wanted to plug in? Yeah, yeah. I had like this like... I had this like electric comb. It was like a comb and a hairdryer combined. It was kind of a goofy thing, but... Yeah, I wanted to use it in the restroom, but there were no outlets. One-eyed man. I don't know if I explored this floor with card four. Okay, it makes noise. Ah! Nah, I don't care. I don't care about the nerfs. Because they buffed my sweet, sweet baby barrages. I don't need guns now that I have my sweet barrages. So yeah, I don't know. I always felt bad because I had to like do it at my desk. And I don't know. There was already an atmosphere of people being annoyed at my presence there. So I was just like, ugh, I don't want to draw more attention to myself. But this is like, it's all I could do. Oh yeah, there's this like... I don't think I can get another one. Eh. There's this drop-off. I'm gonna guess this is a parachute situation. 
I mean, what have I got to lose, though, if I, if I die here? I just got off the elevator. And there's nothing else on this floor, so going back to the elevator is going to save me time anyway. Time to jump off. Oh, you can't. All right. That's an in uh, the nicest thing you can do for someone else in the restroom is to use a hand dryer to make extra noise. Oh, to like to cover up dookie sounds in case there's a shy shitter. Oh. What? All right. Guys. I have to I have to put this out there because some people don't think about this. But I promise you, you need to stop it. Stop. Everyone right now, let's all agree, don't do the thing where you reach up your foot and flick down the toilet seat lid and let it bang like a gunshot on the toilet. All right? You know that sound is coming because you're the one doing it. No one else in that restroom is ready for a ear-splitting bang to cut through the pleasant silence of trying to squeeze out a turd. So, like, at least develop the, the muscle coordination to, like, lower it gently. Or maybe, like, cough really loud first or, uh, uh, right before you, like, flick it down. Just do something, man. Because it, it's heart attack inducing. You're just sitting there, doing your deep breathing, centering yourself, processing emotions, yeah, yell timber helps. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Warning, all bathroom goers, I am lowering the seat. That helps. Oh, there's a there's a down door there. No wait, they saw me on the screen. I'm sunk. Stand up, snake! Oh, it's this door. <laughs> There's that one elevator. I don't think I ever crawled through this thing. Let me see what's in here. Oh, another ration. Okay, they put the B2 rations here because, yeah, this is the building you need need them in. How much of a technical or mechanic sleep is this compared to the first Metal Gear? Um, it's a pretty significant one, actually. Uh, nearly everything is... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, cool. Oh, huh. Um, the ability to, to like, not only track enemies on other screens, but to have the mini-map that shows you where they are is, like, a really cool evolution of, of how stealth worked in Metal Gear 1. Metal Gear 1 was pretty mechanical, but, um, and pretty, pretty, like, simple, actually, to just get through. It was cute and, and very, very unique for its time, for sure. This is a more kind of fundamental evolution of, of those ideas. A lot of the bot, like the bosses, all have unique mechanics and even unique personalities, which is is pretty cool. And a lot of them use the fact that the game can track enemies three, like a, a screen around you. You have to go down. Ooh, so it's in the first building. Yeah, I should go back to the first. I was just gonna look around a little bit more, but. Yeah, the, the game is, is very purposeful with its any of its NPC chatter. If there's an NPC talking about bathrooms, that's probably where it matters. It's not like they can dick around with a lot of BS. Although there's some amount of BS. It's nice. A Kojima's worth. I can't remember which ration this is. Ah. Yeah, peak. Both both this and Metal Gear 1 were on the MSX. Although there were ports on the NES of a more a more traditional port of Metal Gear 1 and then a, a entirely different game 
Metal Gear 2 on NES. Although, Metal Gear 1, like, Metal Gear is not in Metal Gear, right? Where does it change? Because at some point it just cuts off and it's like a... It's like a big computer, somebody was saying? What the heck is an MSX? A Japanese-only gaming console. More like a... It's one of those, like, Amiga-type deals where it's kind of more of a PC than a, than a strict gaming console. Or at least that that's how they were kind of pitched. Will you play MG2? What MG2 are you referring to? Because the game I'm playing at this very moment is is an is one of MG2. All right, I gotta take the elevator. I guess I'll go back to the fourth floor. I I f I feel like the game or Metal Gears so far haven't really had a circumstance where merely knowing something or having a particular codec call. Oh, it's MSX2. Okay, my bad. I actually didn't know there were multiple MSX consoles. I thought there was just one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It, they just changed the sprite because the NES couldn't render a sprite that big or something? I don't think there's any other doors down here. I wonder why Kojima didn't implement most of these mechanics to the first one? I mean, work iterates. Metal Gear was the first stealth game ever. It's it's pretty easy to look back in retrospect and, and identify all the things that people made later in their life and say, oh, why didn't you do that sooner? Well, it takes time. It takes time and expertise and skill. You ever a fan of Dark Age of Camelot or EverQuest back in the day? I played a lot of Dark Age of Camelot, yeah. Um, not EverQuest so much because I didn't have a credit card. And you, like, that was the only way to pay for a subscription back then. I was, I was like a... I had a job, but my parent, my dad would... My dad wouldn't let me get a credit card. And that was back before you could, like, use a debit card as a credit card. I don't know. So, I played a lot, I played a shitload of Ultima Online because you could do a 30-day free trial in that without a credit card. And then there were, like, after a while there were free servers you could play on, so... I don't know if I've... I'm gonna make a sweep of this floor. The only reason I'm not going back up to the fourth floor right away is, again, I feel like this game's logic doesn't often... Like, it's, it doesn't feel like there's ever been a flag set by learning something. It's all cards. It's all very, like, hard progression. You get the ability to unlock new doors, or you get the ability to shoot somebody you couldn't shoot before. The same engine? That's awesome. Yeah, I I was lucky enough to go to a GDC talk where Kojima did a keynote talking about the design process of the original Metal Gear. And the the design thinking was entirely around sprite limits. Uh he wanted to make an action game, but consoles at the time couldn't couldn't draw as many sprites on the same layer. So he was like, "Well, I can't have a ton of enemies and bullets all the time. So I need to make a game where shooting is minimized. Like, the goal is to not shoot all the time, because it's going to slow the game down. I've never personally met Kojima, no. I'm sure I probably, if I'd, like, really angled on it at certain points, or really pushed for it, I probably could have made something happen, but... Whatever. It's like a vanity thing, you know? I don't, I don't need to do that. Alright, 
I think the second floor is pretty much... It looks like the second floor is pretty much all cleared out, actually. I don't think there's any doors I haven't... ...haven't gone through. Yeah, you are villain. The game design in an age of severe technical restraint is actually a pretty, a pretty marvelous thing to see. Okay, this this feels like a bathroomy floor. Yeah, I don't know that I've been back here since getting card four. Here we go. This is new. Wait, is it new? The mouse again? All right, I don't think it's new. Yeah, hardware limitations laid to cool ideas and workarounds. The age of AAA is kind of different. Then it's like, okay, you have infinite money. Ah! It's, it's more like, can you, can you keep the game's scope under control and actually launch the thing? Or will di dividing the work across seven studios and 30 different teams make it so it becomes an uh, uncontrollable nightmare? It almost seems like it's more a question of logistics management than it is negotiating constraints. Which makes me think like, think a lot more to some of Kojima's themes in Death Stranding. That the ultimate human challenge is logistics. It's not like, we have enough resources and we have enough wealth. It's can you get the right things in the right place at the right time. I... What? So I think I think that's his, like... He manages to work a lot of personal themes about the evolution of game design into, into his games. I think that was his message there. Okay, wait. I thought this was in the basement, this area. I don't think I've ever used the RC missile yet. I hate people who use gun. Ah. I think you're giving him more credit than he deserves when you say that specifically about Death Stranding. I mean, maybe. I think he, I, I think he commented pretty, oh, I can go up here. To me, at least, he commented pretty directly on the evolution of, of game design in Metal Gear Solid 2. Mouse, picked up mouse. A dummy robot used to disable noise mode. Disable noise mode. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's it's easy to give Kojima too much credit. A lot of people accuse accuse people of doing that all the time. But yeah, I I may I may be. Have you watched the anime High School Girl or High Score Girl on Netflix? You know, I started it, and I I maybe I'm making the mistake of judging a show too early, but it was definitely clearly made to like I don't know. Eh. The first okay, so the first episode was the main character like nerding out about particular arcade cabinets and then like finding some girl who was just mysteriously great at arcade games that some somehow was cool with hanging out with him so it was just it was just like that that was it that's all i got from episode one aren't these arcade machines super cool and also a girl is here and i was like ah uh, uh i get i get that that set up it's probably going to appeal to, like, maybe hyper arcade fans. 
I don't know. I was. I guess I was expecting more nostalgia about arcade culture, not not arcade cabinets like the hardware itself. But again, maybe I'm judging it way too early. For all I know, that's the that's the mandatory fan service. Oh, maybe that other maybe that other door opens now. Did it ever open? I think it opened. This fucking thing. I can never get through here without setting the alarm off. Oh yeah, I uh, I watched a little bit of Patriot. I really liked it. Oh. It had a uh, it had that like depressed badass energy of Barry a little bit before Barry. Super super clever too. Ah, uh, yeah. I did that. Uh, is there, I think there was one more door down here maybe that never opened. But maybe it did. It gets into the culture of different gaming environments and early tournament culture. It gets deep into Japan-only console niche shit. It's corny as fuck, though. Yeah, I don't necessarily mind that, you know? I wouldn't be offended by some... Something inoffensive and corny. Oh, right. The scene of my first battle. Okay, so there's this other room on the, the right here. I think I... I think I went through, but the card four didn't unlock the last door. I-I-R-C. So I guess I'll be going back to the fourth floor shortly, <laughs> but I'll try again. Is this noise mode? What, gas? Maybe the... I don't know what noise mode is. Oh, it did open. Oh. I'm about to get Kojima'd, I can feel it. Look at how tempting, though. Oh! Functioning light switches. What the fuck? Okay, well, I can use this to get through the other completely dim dark room. Night vision goggles. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. I knew there were pitfalls around here somewhere. I like how the pitfalls are a l way less evil. They're not as big. Don't suck you in as much. Okay, well, hey. This trip uh, was valuable. I thought that was. Here we go. Huh. Oh, there's a ration B1 under there. That's nice. Do, do, do. All right. Well, that's progress, baby. Was that a line to the bathroom? I don't think so. But maybe? All right. Ah. Bruce is on- oh, okay, yeah. Bruce usually takes like- hold on a minute. Uh-oh. I can't tab out. 
Reese usually uh, goes live and, and chats with his his audience for a bit. Yeah, we haven't found a, a shitting Johnny Sasaki guard yet. Thoughts on the new DN releases. What's a DN? Digital networks? I love them. These nuts! Yes! Yes, got me! Nice! Gaming. Yeah! Beautiful, beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, I got roasted. Roasted and lightly salted. Just like Doe's nuts. Okay, so yeah, I gotta go around. How did I get up there? How did I get over there? Oh yeah, you go up. Yeah, you gotta go up and around. Kojima! Hello, child. There's a bunch of soldier mannequins in there. Okay. Oh! Save yourself, child! Ha! <laughs> Kojima, what have you done? What have you done? Reminds me of that part in the beginning of Solid 2. Oh, fuck you! Of course. Of course, one of them was real. Kojima! He got me! Hold on. Oh, come on. Oh, they're on the radar. Got him. Still. Alright, this seems like something closer to a restroom. Snake's putting on his night vision goggles to infiltrate the ladies' room. I fucked it up! I fucked it up! I was gonna duck under the table, but now I can't. No! Alright. Surely I can crawl down through the whole table, yeah. Like, being able to transition screens while crawling is cool. You can't go, like, left or right while crawling. Oh, that actually eliminated all of the guards. I wonder if there's an item under any of these. Yeah. No, Kojima has alerts set up on his phone. Every time somebody gets got in one of his games, it goes bloop, and then he's like, ho oh. ho ho. Whenever he's smiling in one of his Instagram posts, it's because at that exact second, his phone blooped. But somebody got dunked in one of his old games. Oh. Just a little, a sensible chuckle to himself. Oh. What? Oh, they're frozen. Oh, all my rations got freezy in here. Okay, I guess, are they going to do the MO disc? Like the, the thing you have to freeze? Uh. Uh. 
Also typical Kojima. Have you go into the ladies room? Again, there's always that like boyish prankishness about him. Not only in his game design, but even in things like you gotta go wait in the ladies room. It's rem it's remembering the silliness of youth and how that was the most forbidden forbidden thing for every young young dude a no man's land. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just a bucket? Picked up bucket. You've acquired bucket. Pfft. How is Snake getting in that bucket? Look at him. God damn it. It's the first box? Huh. <laughs> it's the first evolution of the box, actually. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I get over there? What do I do? Maybe somebody will see me and take me into the ladies' room if I'm just a, a nice little bucket. Holly knows. She knows the, the... She knows the secrets. The Zanzibar building has two underground floors and four above-ground floors. First floor houses the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't help at all. Time to talk to a real master of women, Master Miller. Whatever happens, don't give up. Do whatever it takes to survive. Over and out. Campbell? Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander or the game designer in charge of guarding that area. You might see possibilities you couldn't see before. Over and out. All right, if I'm Kojima, how do I sneak into the women's room? I have to blow my nose. I'll be right back. Maybe you do have to, like, stalk their walking animations. Like an MGS. Kassler. Nothing. Jacobson. The wild... The wild creature known as Wuman. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Are those... ducts? No? TVs, I guess? Do, 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 do. That looks like a pretty manly walk to me. Yeah, I wonder if an NPC goes in the bathroom and you have to tail them without setting off an alarm. But I might need to leave the area to respawn all the NPCs. Does that mean it's unlocked? It is. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Look at this. Gustava. 
Yes, that's me. I am Gustava Hefner of the STB. And you must be Solid Snake. We're after the same thing. Why don't we work together to save Dr. Marv? Have we met somewhere before? Hmm, typical Western man. Always ready with a pickup line. Oh. That's what that was. Now I remember. You're Gustava Hefner, the Ice Princess. <laughs> you took the gold at the Calgary Olympics. You must be mistaken. Uh, I don't think so. I know I've... Enough of this. What about Dr. Marv? I made contact with him over the radio, but he doesn't speak English. Then he's safe. Good. I'm glad he had that surgery to implant the microtransmitter. Snake, lend me your radio. The frequency is 140.51. Okay. Marv. Marv, Marv. Pane doctore, Jacques se... I am slaughtering this, but whatever. Sitim se dobue, Gustava. Fai padate velmi dobue. What is the U with the circle over it? Dobue. Dobue. Who knows? K D E. Gde jeste? Pana doctore? Na severu. Vazakarje. Rosalina? Zinimaji Concentrak Tamjin. Ooh. Rusite vas Sakran Sakraname Actually hold on a minute. I I'm starting the, the Kojima hairs are starting to Let's let's pull up some Google Translate. We will definitely save you. Aw, oh, it's not about anime. I am thankful. Thank you. Alright. Snake, Dr. Marv is safe, for now. He says there's a large crevice to the north of the tower building. The prison is on the other side. Dr. Marv also expressed concern about Dr. Madnar. Don't worry, Madnar is safe. Right now we've got to get Marv out of there, got it? I know a shortcut to the crevice. There's an old sewer running under here. We can take that elevator down. Let's go. Whoa, there's an elevator there? What do you know? In the woman's room? <laughs> and it goes directly to the sewer. I like how Snake called that out. Kind of. McDonald Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I don't want to punch her. Okay. I'll get enough friendly fire done in Helldivers, which is about time to switch over to. Ooh, it's a character following me. Cool. Don't think. Shoot! B3? What? What the fuck is? Oh! These big ass sewer tank scrubber guys. Ooh! Yeah, Metal Gear Roomba. Who needs Metal Gear, man? Just let these things loose. Unstoppable. Impenetrable armor. Ah! 
<laughs> I don't know if there's enough time to duck into that little alcove up there. Maybe? Nope. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Luckily, we know what to do. We know the way to progress. We know how to continue to solidify our snake. Uh, I'm going to step away for a minute. Go through the uh, the multi-menu process of shutting this game down. And then get Helldivers up and going. And uh, going to dive. Going to do some dives with Bruce. There's a new update. My, my precision strikes will have never been more precise. So I'm excited to see. Luckily, I've invested some resources into making my bombardments premium. Because I knew. You back the underdog, you're going to get buffed eventually. Uh, so I'm excited to check it out. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. Just by the way, I'm going to be back to Metal Gear 2. Probably after, yeah, after, uh, after Helldivers with Bruce. So, a meteor shower? <gasps> Alright, I'll see you soon. What the? Oh no. It's launching on the wrong monitor. It did this before though. When I quit the game, it went to that one. So maybe now when I run Metal Gear 2, it'll jump back down here. Let's uh, let's give it a sh let's give it a shot. Jay Griswold, thanks for gifting three subs. Appreciate your generosity. Oh, eight lively sins got one. Or excuse me, seven lively sins. Dry Wolf and Belanchi Boy. How's everybody doing? I'm back. It's time to play Metal Gear. It's on the wrong monitor. I don't know what to do about that. Snake. I can't move it. Uh, well, I can make, oh, almost made it windowed. All right, what do we do? What do we do? Try it again. Nope, <laughs> wrong monitor again. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe I can make the launcher windowed and move it. Let's try that. Okay, Zoop. all right. And joop. Okay. Yes. It's going to be a big issue when our fridges have monitors. Yeah, you try to run Metal Gear 2 and it goes to your fridge instead of your computer monitor. Talking about the Samsung smart fridge. A Samsung smart fridge in every home. Smart fridge in every driveway. Or a, a doom running lawnmower in every driveway and a smart fridge in every kitchen. Snake! Snake! All right, we, we've teamed up with Moldova. Serenava? I, wonder, I, can't, I don't think I can call her. Maybe I can talk to Marv now that I've got her in my party. No, I can't. What does Miller have to say about women? Give me, a, give me an anecdote, Miller. When replenishing your fluids, you shouldn't drink any more than 100 cc's at a time. When it absorbs fluids, your body burns an amount of energy equal to the temperature difference between your body and the fluid. That's because it has to raise the fluid's temperature to match your body temperature. It also makes your blood thinner, slowing your brain functions. So don't drink too much soda while you're playing. Over and out. Man. The tips to the player director. Treasured. This isn't a good time to talk. Call me later, okay? All right. I was just, I just wanted to chat. Yeah, Thornius, the font, the font is a bit of a mystery to me too. I feel like that's gotta, that can't be the original text in the game. But I don't know, some games had some weird stuff going on like that. Fancy fonts. Oh, I can't crawl when uh, I have a follower. Oh, Teeny Tuna, you gotta go to work? Well, thank you for dropping in. 
Hopefully you have an easy work shift. Okay. Yeah, apparently, so if you drink ice water, you'll burn more calories. You'll get thin overnight sipping ice water. Manny Suave, or Manny Suave 99. Hello, and thank you for the kind message. Oh, I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get bonked. I'm about to get big time bonked. Oh, maybe not. Just wanna let you know the longest piss recorded was 8 minutes and 46 seconds long. That's an extremely long piss. Man, how can anyone piss that much? That's incredible. People really are amazing. They must have burned a ton of calories. Don Dieg, 4 6. Thanks for the sub. Thought I saw MGS2 on the heading and thought, what the fuck happened to Metal Gear Solid 1? But now it makes sense. Good. I'm glad that all confusions have been have been rectified. Rectal fight, if you will. Yes, an eight minute and 46 second piss is extremely impressive. My hat's off. Oh! We'll say I got Kojima'd. We'll say that's a Kojima. The farthest piss record, 2016, 19 feet and six inches. That is an incredibly long piss. I am, I am likewise impressed with the length of that piss. Fantastic. Human race, you've done it again. Here's the question though. Both, what, what's the gender? What's the pissing apparatus of both of these records? What instrument, on, on what instrument did these symphonies play? Oh, okay, he's, so there's an elevator that goes to one room. Oh, Gustava, snake. Doctor, you're all right, I think. You lost some weight, Madnar. Oh, this is, okay, this is Dr. Madnar. And you haven't changed a bit, snake. Snake, we must hurry. Dr. Marv is waiting. You mean Marv is still alive? I thought I could escape through the pass- I don't know why I keep saying it like that. Escape. It's more like that. Escape through the passageway, but the elevator won't open from the inside. Gustava, you and the doctor get behind me. We're moving out. No, wait, snake. I have something to give you. I swiped it from a god. It's card five. I don't know what five is in German. Lead the way, snake. I'll follow you. Wow, I got a whole train. Dr. Madnar has joined the party. He's keeping a respectful distance, though. Can I go up more? Five and... yeah. That's it. That's all this elevator does. You want to go by technicality, Apollo 10 astronauts pissed for 30 seconds with a distance of 330 kilometers while orbiting the moon. Foonf, that's it. How, uh, how did they pull their wing wing out in space? That's what I want to know. Because I was thinking when I was in Finland, I want to pee to see what it's like. But also, I'm afraid I'll get Wing Wang Freeze. I don't want Wing Wang Freeze.
It's coordinating about inside games today. What's going? Yeah, what is going on in chat? Oh, snake vet! I can't go on. I'm not stressed a little. Snake. All right, we'll take a short break. Please excuse me. I have some business to take care. He's sneaking off. This is not good. Oh, it's a cutscene, basically. Okay. How odd. Oh, we got a little tender moment here where they're going to talk about the horrors of war and all the combat they've been in. God, I hope. Could we be so lucky? Give the guy a break. He's an old man. He can't hold it like he used to. No, I mean us. A world-renowned scientist, a former Olympic athlete, and an ex-special agent trudging together through a sewer. Fate can be funny sometimes. Fate? Yes. Perhaps you're right. You know, when I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me stories about Poland during World War II, about the Warsaw Uprising. My mother spent days in the sewers under the city fleeing from the Nazis. Her skin and clothes were caked black with mud. You could not even see her face. My mother and I are much alike. We are both haunted by war. Gustava. <laughs> Why'd you quit skating and join STB? You'd think an Olympic medalist would get the royal treatment, even in the East. Not exactly. There was something about the ice. It felt cold. The ice. Snake, are you married? No. I don't have a family. You? I'm all alone. And it's not because I like being single either. Perhaps I simply never had the chance. What about a boyfriend? Once, only once, I thought about getting married. It was back when I was still skating. I was deeply, madly in love. It still hurts to think about. He was a Western man. His name was Frank Hunter. He was handsome, well-mannered, intelligent, but always afraid. I would have thrown it all away for him. My family, my skating, everything. I would have followed him anywhere. You would have defected? Yes, but it was not to be. The West rejected my bid for asylum at the last minute. Some sort of political reasons. I still don't understand. They probably just never... Ugh. They probably just never... Ugh. Okay, my brain shut down for a second. Ugh. They probably just didn't have room for you. It happens all the time. Ever since, my family... <laughs> Very caring, Snake. Ah, full up. Ever since, my family and I have lived a nightmare. We lost our right to compete. Oh, whatever. Go into STB. I accidentally hit a thing. But I have no regrets. When I was on the ice, I knew only the ice. Now I know so much more. I've even killed a man. What about him? Did you ever... I never saw him again. Our Berlin Wall was too high for either of us to climb. Hello again! Sorry to keep you waiting. Wow. Bravo. I cry. That was some bathroom break. Let's go, Snake. Kojima did it, though! Like, first proper, melodramatic, out-of-nowhere, war-as-hell interlude. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Straight out of that Doom novel. Kinda? Yeah. Except it didn't end with, like, Snake leering at her boobs or smelling her hair. <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator just came out on Steam. Ooh, that's cool. Wow. Man, that's a neat idea. Now I can create my Vin well ahead of time. 
Mm. I'm out of cinematic vins, though, I think. I don't think I've done Xander Cage, really. A lot of trucks, huh? Whoa! Tricked! I can't crawl, though, when I have the dudes with me. Maybe you can blow up the mines? Okay, that's kind of what I was waiting for. A ration. That's why I was kind of willing to... Oh, right. It doesn't restock. Oh, that's true. I never did last Witch Hunter Vin. Good point. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for keeping an eye out. Yeah. Not surprising. I think... Th I think there's a version of Last Witch Hunter Vin where he has hair. And that'll be really exciting. A bridge. We can only cross it one at a time. Of course. Let me go first. Oh, well, shit. Thanks. That was an auto text advance, weirdly. Why did he stop? It's all right. You can come across. Okay, I'll go next. See you on the other side. The heartbeat. It's safe, Snake! Hurry and cross over! What? It's one at a time! No! Oh! That's why it's one at a time! Gustava! G Gustava! Snake! I knew I couldn't do it. Couldn't find my footing off the ice. It's so cold! My world is ice! This music is so sad! Always skating around. I never learned to plant my two feet on the ground and walk. The ice is starting to thaw between the east and west. Gustava, it's time to start planting your feet on the ground. Take control of your life and start living. Gustava, don't give up now. It's too late for me. I've seen enough people die and I, I've seen enough people die already to know that I'm beyond saving. There it is. Just my luck. Just when I'd met someone wonderful again. Ah. I would have liked to see you skate again. <laughs> Thank you. Take this. It's card six. And this is it's my brooch. To use it, you... How? How do I use it? I can't... Hold on! Frank...
Snake! Snake! Uh-oh, they got him. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's Metal Gear. Metal Gear! Snake! It's me, Gray Fox! Oh, shit. Gray Fox! This bridge is closed. I'm taking Madnar with me. I tell you what, Snake. For old time's sake, I'll do you a favor and let you live if you get your sorry carcass out of here. You hear me? Go home now! Think it over, Snake. <laughs> Fox! <laughs> you won't get rid of me that easily. Damn. I gotta call, I gotta call my, my boys. They gotta soothe me in these troubled times. Your mission is to avoid contact with the enemy. Yeah, sure. Why did he laugh? So good. Miller? What has Miller got to say? Adversity only makes the human will stronger. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing from Holly. Jacobson hasn't said anything. Yeah, that's hella tasteless, Miller. Oh, hold on. Snake, you remember the veranda in the tower building they use for parachute jump training? If you have a hang glider, you can jump from there straight over to the crevice. There should be a hang glider on the east side of the first floor of the Zanzibar building. I saw it once at Thanksgiving. See ya! Sure. Sure, alright. East side Zanzibar, okay. Yeah, that, that one room, I guess that, that opens with card seven. Or six, excuse me. I remember that room. That. Oh, okay. This is where I am. Okay. So I have to go back to the first building and then back to this building and then take the elevator that goes up to like the middle area. Yeah. Oh, that was interesting. Huh. It like didn't happen right away. some Miller quotes for the subs. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hopefully I can find like a wiki out there that just has all the Miller Miller advice from Metal Gear 2 and load it up. Now I don't know if I've ever, I don't remember if I've gone in these doors. Embossed with the seal of Zanzibar land. Its use is unknown. It smells like Gustava. Well, maybe I was more on the nose of that smelling comment than I thought. Do, do, do. Okay, that goes to the crevice. Okay, that's kind of neat though, because that, that kind of means the whole game ends up being on like a line, south to north. And as you unlock new areas, it makes sense where the new areas are in relation to the old ones. Pop. Pop. 
Oh yeah, the squeaky sand. It, it's weird too, because there's like some gimmicks that are only on one screen, so far at least. I would expect there to be like, if they're gonna put it in the game, you'd think they'd use it in more than just one area? Sand is, what is that squeaky sound? Was oh, a YouTube video? Are those all from Solid? I unfortunately can't tab out. This game is very volatile. So all YouTube links go unclicked for now. Oh, that's from MG2? Okay. Oh, okay. Just collected them all? Well, I can transcribe them then. That's not that bad. Actually, I'm going to be changing my alerts soon, so I might store that idea. East side, yeah, Zanzibar building, first floor. Yeah, there's that one. There's that one, like, double door. I always remember seeing the dot in the upper left. Yeah. Doing the mannequin thing again. Kojima, you card! Alright. up a hang glider so I can soar over the crevice because the bridge was bombed by Gray Fox who is now piloting Metal Gear and he blew up Esmeralda or whatever her name was Gustava <laughs> I cared about her deeply whoever she was Oh shit! Happy 420 East Coast! Gaming. I'll be right back. Uh. I don't know what- whatever. What did I say? West Coast. Who cares? You guys understand. No need to be willfully obtuse. Weast queast. Yeah, more like Weed Coast. There, are you happy? Weed Coast. Lol. Lol. Yeah. Suddenly there's a bunch of fucking map experts in chat all of a sudden. Man, Cyber Ronin, that emote is so cool. Metal Gear 2 Pixel Art Snake is is awesome. No, I envy. I'm 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 goofing. I'm I'm just being I'm being a silly goose. It's all that 420 California weed getting to me. Now, uh, which stupid elevator is it? I think it's this one. 
Just weed goofing. Is it this one? I feel like it's this one. What's that noise? Yeah, I can't be a silly goose. Twitch is gonna ban my ass. Well, that reminds me. I still have a fucking warning on my YouTube channel. I thought it would disappear after 90 days, but it hasn't. They say, like, oh, if you take training or whatever, it'll go away after 90 days, and I thought I did the training, but... It's still there! So... Uh-oh. Snake! Snake! It's me, Gray Fox. Fox! You should have listened to my warning, Snake. Now I'm afraid our friendship is at an end. That elevator is going to be your tomb. What? Do you hear that sound? That's the assassination team. They specialize in confined spaces. I'm sure you'll put up a good fight. The ceiling! It was nice talking to you one last time, Snake. Over and out. Combat time. Oh! We are the... F <laughs> we are the Four Horsemen, a top secret assassination squad. The best assassination squad to introduce themselves. We get our orders directly from the president. This is the coolest thing! Yeah, I wonder what other Metal Gear game this literal the exact thing happened in. But it happened in 3D. I mean, one of the greatest things you could do in the, the early 3D generation was adapt a 2D experience and extend it into the third dimension. All right. Consider this an honor. We only fry the big fish. I only, I just got to chat on the radio first. Campbell doesn't have shit to say. Oh wait, oh, radio, radar won't work. When faced with a difficult task, just tell yourself, I can do it, and do it. Imagine how happy you'll be when you succeed. Don't picture the game over screen, even if you make a mistake. Keep your spirits high and use the power of positive thinking. Over and out. Halo do debt. Thank you for the 103 months and the absolutely cute little Pepe with a with a little suitcase of money. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, terrible advice, Miller. The Four Horsemen, an assassination squad assembled from former SAS, GSG-9, and UDT, specializing in enclosed spaces. They're all seasoned veterans who will kill a man without blinking an eye. You'd be crazy to take them on all on at once. Best to pick them off one by one instead, over and out. Thanks, Castler. Probably it. Does my number one fan have something to say? No. So cute! Whoop. Oh, the battle! Oh, the high stakes battles! Whoop. So sick. Oh! 
That's interesting. That's such a Konami thing, but I always associated it with their beat em ups. Vomiting cards at me. Oh shit! Baboom! What the heck? Huh. Didn't expect that to happen. That was pretty cool though. Oh, I don't remember there being another elevator on that floor. What does Miller have to say about this? King Whale, thanks for the sub. You should wait 30 minutes after eating. Yeah, yeah. Epic boss fight, though. Those dudes were hopping like crazy. Hopping all over the place. I didn't even, I didn't even know what he said. Uh, okay. Yeah, I broke the elevator. Well, I have a new card. I mean... Yeah, I guess I got new cards. Um... I haven't used- I only use six for the mannequin- to get into the mannequin room. But maybe we're at the phase of the game where... They're just giving you cards for individual doors and it doesn't really spider off that much. Which means there really wasn't that much card juggling in this game. Ugh. It's just more like they, there's a spread of doors that you have access to and... You don't know which one you've unlocked. But like Kojima said, excuse me, like Miller said, you just imagine yourself as the game designer. Then it's easy, it's it's easier to tell where you need to go. I don't remember I don't remember where this goes. Yes, must think like Kojima. As if such a thing were possible. I think I've explored this floor. This is the one I needed the... Oh. What? Oh, okay, it goes up to the roof, that's right. Can I hang glide off the roof? I'm glad you think- I'm glad you feel that way, Rami Runs. This game super rules, and I'm having a great time with it. Oh, bird's still around. <laughs> Miller? It's not fear itself that makes the difference between a hero and a coward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. There's no, like, yeah, there's no break in the railing up here or anything. Well, Holly was the one telling me about it, right? 
Zanzibar land is full of children, right? That means there must be lots of small places for them to crawl and hide. See ya! Good tip. Find the child-sized spaces, Snake. Crawl into the children holes. Okay, yeah, that's all that's up here. No? Alright, alright. That's it then. Finito. There's nothing else up there, and then the other elevator is broken, so I don't have to walk through this spiral anymore. Maybe that first elevator goes up to a higher floor now? Oh, shit. Current UFC lightweight, light heavyweight champion just posted a 40-minute video on YouTube training with Steven Seagal. Oh, man. I'm surprised Steven Seagal is willing to let his... 1,000% lethal techniques be broadcast like that for free. Now, people are going to develop counter techniques to his absolutely lethal strikes. His Aikido mastery will be available to be studied. But I guess that's the, uh, that's the confidence of a true master, isn't it? They'll even teach their opponents because they just seek a, a greater conflict. An evolution of the form. Yeah, most of them are illegal, so it's actually quite brave of Steven Seagal. Bravest man in martial arts, I believe most people say. What most people say about him. if there was a door that didn't open. No, it's just the trucks, right? Yeah. to disable noise mode. Still don't know what that is. Maybe maybe that's just the alarm? It's actually impossible to know. Watching Dune tonight? Very nice. Yeah, I should make plans to go see that. Maybe I can see that this weekend. Maybe, actually. This weekend's kind of snapped up already. Dune and Dune and Dune it again. Okay. Maybe there's something on the 10th floor? I... Oh, yeah? Well, there, there is the other elevator shaft, so... Maybe I have to go down to the basement or something. Or this is it. This is not Snake's Revenge. That's actually, yeah, a completely different game. Oh, hey, here it is. The stair run. I don't have the FAMAS. I should have gone to the basement first. I bet there's gear down there because I got card six and seven. Is 
There's no way that's gonna have the thing where you like rappel down the side while getting attacked by a helicopter, right? There's no way. Kojima can't do it. Oh, dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Somebody's putting up police tape. Man, you really gotta go through 40 screens of stairs, huh? Okay. Oh, I should talk to people on the- I should call people about this. Watch out for floors that make noise when you walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Miller, I need that motivation, buddy. Oh, yeah, loneliness. All right. Uh, well. You know what, Ghost Spartan? You say precursor to, to the ladder. There was a giant ladder in Metal Gear 1. It was pretty trolly, too, so... The Metal Gear Solid 3 ladder is actually in really good company. Yeah, Mike Tyson is gonna fight Jake Paul. That is the perfect gimmick match. Like, it just doesn't get stupider than that. Is this what you wanted, Don King? Is this what you wanted? How old is Tyson? He's like in his 60s? Gonna be left to a decision? Yeah. 54? Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's like... I don't want to discount Paul as an athlete. I, I don't know anything. I don't watch whatever. Oh, he's 57. Shit. But yeah, he probably doesn't ha He probably can't knock Tyson out, right? The best boxers in the world couldn't do that. Even at 57, I don't know. I can believe he could be a decent boxer. Oh, I'm here, okay. Yeah, it's more like... The only, the only reason anyone would watch is because they want to see Tyson just just punch punch Paul back into the 90s. But he's probably not going to do that. Who knows? It's such a weird, like, I don't know how that's going to go down. I have to admit though, if it it's like a Netflix thing, right? Oh, it's ammo. Lame. There's probably a no knockout clause in the contract. Is that is that a real thing, Sneaky Lumpia? I didn't think that was like Can you do that and not tell people? Oh wait, hold on. That was a call. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Werewolf. You either you either beat an almost sixty year old man, even though he's a even though he's a he's a legend, he's still old. I feel like getting your ass beat is the only outcome that makes sense and is also crowd pleasing. It's me, your number one fan. You can only jump from there when the wind's blowing north. It usually blows south, but sometimes it changes, just for an instant. That's your chance. Don't miss it. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Deep Throat. Oh, the last Tyson fight was scheduled as a sparring match, so no knockouts. Huh, okay, alright. I didn't know that was a thing. At least it's like... 
I was thinking that would be a new level of bullshit if, if like, it's just a known thing that that happens, but they don't ever announce it as such. Okay. So we gotta wait for the wind to shift. I don't know what that is or what it sounds like. Maybe there's a whoosh. Okay, well, nothing's happening. Um, also, uh, I think it's it might be time to post inside games today. The edit might be in. Um, I wonder what happens if you just jump off when the wind's not right. Oh, it doesn't let you? Maybe if I just hold forward, I'll hop off at the right time. Oh yeah, Ram. It's you can't argue that it's a great it's a great bill for for reaching people. A great card. Oh. Does this mean you can take back inside gaming again somehow? No. No, I think the odds of that are very 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 low. that Warner, the corporation Warner would reach out to ex-employees and offer them a brand out of nowhere. Yeah, I feel like odds are low. That's okay. We built our own thing. Did a button maybe? I appreciate that MCMK. I don't want help just yet. Plus, I, like I said, I have to step away, so. Uh, all right. Data save. I think I already did this, but I'm doing it again. I have to take a quick break and, uh, yeah, download the episode, upload it, take a finishing pass on a thumbnail, metadata, links to things, all that good stuff, uh, and uh, post it on the Discord, upload it to our, our podcast feed. So 10, 15 minutes is usually about how long it takes. I might tweak the thumbnail a smidge, but I'll be back. Uh, see you in just a moment. Thank you for watching again. I keep saying it, but man, man, do I love streaming games. And uh, that wouldn't be anything without you guys. So appreciate it. All right, I'll be right back. All right, appreciate everyone's patience there. The media has been published. It lives on the internet. Doing my duty as a games journalist. Although in this specific situation, it has really nothing to do with games journalism. More about the create. Uh, well, I guess it does. Never mind. It's weird, man, because I remember the morning before. I, I, I had a dream involving rooster teeth, which, believe it or not, is actually quite rare. But the morning before the day that it all got announced, I had a dream that I was in a meeting where somebody was telling me that we're calling this channel, we're, we're going to call it the no. Like some, like one of the channels I was working on was getting rebranded to the no. And I was like, it was a... I remember it made me feel the way that I used to feel at Rooster Teeth a lot, which is just being stunned a little bit. Being like, what? Uh, so, you know, sometimes that happens. And like, just trying to suppress the fact that like, it was just, it was just like a completely ego-driven decision. That happened a lot. Just being like, just, just kind of like my executables hanging up a little bit. Mm -mm. So yeah, I woke up being like, man, that was weird. And then that was the day everything got announced. Oh, come on. Gotta go to my cool 4x3 scene. Yeah, gosh. 
the no has acquired my stream. Ah. Got a nice fresh cup of Java. Have you seen a Metal Gear? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. I did see a Metal Gear. It shot... I don't want to say at me. It shot around me. Yeah, there was a Metal Gear dog. Oh, shit. That screen is so weird. <laughs> Who saw me? Yeah, we saw its feet. Which is actually a pretty cool reveal. That veranda was made for parachute jumps. But if you had a hang glider, I bet you could jump even farther. Fine. You're gonna tell me about the wind? It usually blows south, but sometimes it blows north. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what they're going getting at with the uh God damn it. Okay, that's fair though. What happened? I don't know why I expected it to go any other way. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I don't know what to do about this wind situation. I'll experiment a little bit. I would think that if I had the hang glider equipped... Hmm. Let's see. Does anyone have any wind info for me? Wind info. Miller. My main man, Miller. Drop that game info on me, buddy. It's not fear itself that makes the difference between a hero and a coward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smear rations all over your body, then you can tell which direction the wind's coming from. So I was thinking cigarettes. Like, if, if I'm blowing smoke, maybe the smoke will, like, change direction. Drinking Arizona hard tea with this music? Yes. This game has incredible style. The soundtrack has been great. This is a good game to bev up to. Nobody has anything to say. All right. Nope, no smoke. It's not a windsock or anything. I can't jump. When I walk to the edge, nothing happens. Maybe it's that platform? Why else would that dumb thing be there? Yeah, Leonardo, I could see it being a rough day today. I've... oh, is it here? Yeah, it's okay to, to be sad. It's okay to take some time to process things, you know. I'm trying to play the game. I'm trying. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm wondering, the only other thing I can think of is that the NPC has to be alive for some reason. And something about the NPC being alive will cause a series of events that makes the wind change direction. Huh. Nobody owns Google Trends? Oh, no, no, no. Warner owns Google Trends. They're not going to let just anyone put their hands on that hot property. If anything, it means there's no trend master. The the throne is is vacant yet again. Damn, I wonder if I hope my uh my troll vinyl matrix coat is still around. It'd be cool to have that. Uh Oh, my initial thought of the cigarette is correct. Okay, I didn't see any smoke, but maybe I just didn't wait long enough. I'm surprised there's a mechanic that requires you to smoke, even in 1990. No one owns Bing Trends. Co-pilot Trends. <laughs> Dick! Ugh. Will reality be okay without a trend master? Well, nobody will have any idea what trends are trending. You know what? I just realized I didn't have it equipped long enough for a ding. Cha. It's blowing north. Wow. Wow. That's rad. got a Kassim raid or a Roti raid? Is that it? Hello, folks. We are engaging in some deep gaming today. The deep classics. Metal Gear 2. Not Metal Gear Solid 2. Just 2. Oof. Yogi Bear. I want so badly to tell Automod to approve Butt Boys. Thank you, Kala. I'm glad you're here. Quick, quick on the trigger, too. You're saving me. This game is so awesome that I can't tab out of it, or it'll crash. So my hands are somewhat tied when it comes to uh, technical wizardry, like telling Automod to be okay with butt boys. Which, frankly, is not something I think Automod needs to be told. Here we are. Anyway, welcome everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fi file in. Plenty of room for everybody. Let us know if we have to turn the air conditioning down more. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Have a good night, my butt brother. I am I'm having a pretty good night. Got some got some gaming journalism on the internet. And now I'm I'm hanging with my main man, Hideo Kojima. I'm experiencing him through his works. Hey, a lot of axolotl. Thanks for gifting a sub to, sub to Kasim. That means a lot to him right now. Oh, here we go, another boss, yes! I've been waiting for you, Snake. I am Jungle Evil, the undisputed master of the jungle ambush. Let's see whether you're a real snake or not. Jungle Evil's here, everybody. What I love about this is you can you can see the tone and the exact framework of Metal Gear Solid before it exists. It's like demaked, kind of, you know? There's been a lot of pretty good bosses. My favorite so far still is Running Man. You'll never guess what Running Man does. What his power is. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, he, he, he was like... He said something. I was gaming too hard. Oh, this is great. I don't know where I am. Oh! Uh, 
be anywhere. Jungle ambush. Up. 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 Oh, he can hit me if I'm crawling. Oh, that's BS. Okay, I thought I thought maybe the bullets would go over me. Maybe I just go full aggro on him. Doesn't seem that hard, actually. I mean, it was, it was cool to try to sneak around each other, but I'll just shoot him in the face, maybe. God. This is what you get. This is this is genius at work right here. Oh. Uh. Oh, is he mixing up the tactics on me? Oh, I forgot to call everyone on the radio. There's got to be some hot tips. I'm changing my frequency. I'm sending the new frequency by tap code. You'll have to decipher it. Campbell! This shit in the middle of a boss fight? Wow. Wow, dude. Wow, bro. Stop it. Stop. Hopefully he said he does that again. All right, hold on. Did I miscount? Maybe I can't call the new one yet? Uh, okay, I'll listen to it one more time. One, four, oh. The first three were one, four, oh. Four, and then this is gonna be O. Oh. Okay. Two. Yeah, it's two, four. It, he's just not answering at that frequency yet. That's dumb. All right. Sorry about that. All the beeping. Let's see what Castler has to say. Jungle Evil, a former hunter from Rex Command. He's an expert in jungle guerrilla combat. In the jungle, he's more beast than man. They say he wiped out two entire companies on his own in Vietnam and Yemen. Over and out. Oh, man. This guy's a real hard ass. Ollie? Miller? You should wait 30 minutes after eating before playing games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Now I gotta find him. Oh! It's kind of like the end, I guess.
it's gonna explode into a card again. Oh. Card eight, yeah. The last couple of cards have like opened one door. I guess six, I found a couple of other ones. And I do need to go back to the basement in the first building. I may be beyond that point though? If, I mean, if this game is structured like solid and it's just kind of like extending out, then I'm probably not gonna turn around and go back to building one anymore. Well, I guess, yeah, I did the hang glider thing. That might be actually be point of no return. The jungle is free now! Alright. Everyone else sees the egg, right? <laughs> Picked up egg. Egg. An egg taken from the biolab. Doesn't look edible, its use is unknown. Sure. That's what Metal Gear Solid 4 was about, huh? It was all just a reference. Great. A second egg. Reese Clark, thanks for the sub. 20 months is a hefty amount of time. Egg. Two egg. I have two egg now. Fear my egg. What is better than one egg? Two egg. Ass. Oh, gas, actually. So I came out here, I murdered a man, and I picked up egg. I guess I got the card. Oh, okay, 2-4. Let's see if I can call him now. There we go. Your mission is to avoid cont- uh. Same shit, man. I don't know why he switches on you. Unless they make it a blocking thing later. Faced with a difficult task, just tell yourself, I can do it, and do it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't be sad. I don't- I don't- I don't think you have to have it equipped, do you think? But I guess you're right. Oh, here we go. From what you're telling me, I can tell it's some kind of egg. Either a reptile egg or a bird egg. Which reminds me, when you're boiling an egg, you've got to time it just right so that it doesn't burst on you. Over and out. Great. Great, some egg tips. I knew it. Is Oilix this game or Metal Gear 1? That's this game. This is about Oilix. A microbe. And eggs, apparently. Great, so I have random eggs. That's cool. Oh, it's already cracked. I have a snake crawling around me now. What are you doing, man?
There's a snake crawling around in my pants. Look at this. Oh, he's eating my rations! Fuck you! Ah, Man. Damn it, there's another one! Get out of here! Get... Shit! Get out! Get out! Get him! Get rid of him! Shit! Shit! Damn it! Ah! It's the same one! He's just gonna keep eating my shit! Maybe once I run out of rations, he'll leave. Hold on. Yeah, I'm getting... Ah! Kojima's getting me again. Wait, hold on. Ah. Oh. Damn, I really wish I could hear that conversation again. I hope he says it again. That's probably a type of boa. It's nocturnal and has a gentle disposition. But it's a snake, and snakes love to eat. It'll eat just about anything. I bet it'd love to eat your rations. Better get rid of it quick. Use the A button to let it go. When the snake reaches the egg shell, let it go. Over and out. Damn it. Damn it, Kojima. Damn you! Uh, it's gonna eat all my rations again. I'm gonna have one ration left. Get out! Great. Now I get to just wait for this thing. Maybe if I get it fast enough... I can throw it out before it eats everything. That's nice. Maybe there was no- there was no lizard in that one? Oh, there's an owl! I have an owl now. The fuck? Egg? There's an owl sitting on my hand. What? That's a Zanzibar wood owl. As I'm sure you know, owls are nocturnal hunters. There are about 120 species found throughout the world. The Zanzibar wood owl is about 20 centimeters long and is found primarily in Central Asia. It lays white eggs every two to seven days. Incubation is carried out exclusively by the female. With genetic modifications, the eggs can hatch in a few days. Because that owl is nocturnal and because it always hoots right after sunset, people in Zanzibar land use it to tell the time. In fact, they rely on the owl so much that if one of them hoots during the day, people will think it's nighttime. Over and out. That is a fascinating fact. Wonder if he has anything more to say. No? Okay. More facts about Zanzibar Wood Owl. Okay. I have an owl. If I'm a... can you... Oh, okay, they're going the other way. I like having this owl. I like having this Zanzibar wood owl. Blech! It's just after sunset. I wonder if that alerts guards to your presence. Whoa, laser grid?
No way. It's raining again. How? Okay, hold on. What is going on in LA, bro? Absurd! Rain? In California? Keep the animals in a room northwest of here. Alright. I hear owls at night. It's so scary I can't sleep. You know what? At night they turn off the power, so all the laser fences get turned off, too. Then we get to play inside as long as the grown-ups don't catch us. Aha! You use the hooting of the owl to make a guard think that it's nighttime so that they turn the grid off. Hoot. The owl. Yeah, there's like a there's a panel right there. I might have to move more screens away so that the guard respawns. Hoot hoot. My man's isn't hooting, though. I don't know if I did anything to make him hoot. Oh. What's that noise? It does alert the guards, but not like I wanted. Maybe over here? Oh, I don't know about sang uh, Sacto Hawk. That's an interesting idea. I don't know about playing any, any of the Stalker games, but I do want to play Metro. I never finished uh, Exodus. So, I know they're not explicitly connected, but they're kind of connected. <laughs> connected in spirit. Yeah, must have been a Zanzibar Wood Owl. Uh, uh, uh. Didn't the Metro devs come from working on Stalker? Yeah, I thought so. Different studio? Yeah, I thought I thought people from the Stalker studio left and then made Metro. But then Stalker kind of... The Stalker studio kept going as well. Am I wrong about that? I don't remember for sure. So it could just be my jumbled memory. Hello, child. There's lots of rats in the jail. They steal all kinds of things and take them back to their nests. The grown-ups put out sulfuric acid and try to get rid of them. Alright. Ah, uh, okay. Metro 2033 was the debut title for 4A Games, whose founders had experience working on Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl at GSC Game World. Okay, that is what I thought, yeah. Although they've gone on to, like, I mean, just, like, publish way more games. They've, they've really, like, Made and shipped a lot of titles, which is really cool. Ah, shit! Man, really? Card four? Oh. They're really keeping me awash in this one specific ration. Has to ask everyone to wait as he swipes key card after key card. Oh 
we got a basement, folks. Hold on. Do we have higher floors? Wait, we can't. It's not a tower. I guess they could connect everything through the sewers still. I don't know if there was a north-facing door that I d didn't open. Oh, what is this? It's me, your number one fan. Snake, watch yourself. You've got company, Night Fright, the last surviving member of the Whispers. You know, the legendary gorilla unit. Night Fright. Night Fright, nice. He's wearing a state-of-the-art camouflage suit that makes him practically invisible. Not only that, he'll attack you with a gun that's completely silent. No one has ever seen his face. You know what you have to do, right? Lucky me, I've got a fan club. Use your ears, Snake, over and out. Thanks. Oh, he's, he's twinkling around me, I hear him twinkling. Kessler. Night Fright? Snake, did you just say Night Fright? You have no idea how much trouble you're in. He's the last surviving member of the Whispers, a legendary guerrilla unit. In, the, in a jungle fight, he even puts the Green Berets to shame. He's got the latest in camo technology. You can't see him at all. In fact, nobody's ever seen him. And that includes me. That's why they call him the Phantom Assassin. Snake, I think your luck might have just run out. Over and out. Oh. No, this this is all this is all part of Metal Gear. This is all for real. This is a canon Metal Gear. This is a Hideo Kojima Metal Gear. When faced with a difficult task, just tell yourself, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, dang it! Sorry. It's, a, it's weirdly easy to skip the text. Not even I can tell you anything about the prison. Sorry, see ya. All right. Oh. Sick. He's invisible, Snake. You can't, you can't fight him, Snake. Let's see if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like ration, ration feed him, but we'll see. Legend. Cable? No. Uh -huh. Why the fuck did he explode? Because Kojima said so. Yeah, epic. Ah, Snakecroft, thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. How's everybody doing? We're gaming over here. I don't know if you know that. Took out Night Fright. And that. Oh, that's fun. The different floors sound different. I wonder if there's a pitfall you can snake him into? Maybe not. What an epic fight! Kojima, you've done it again. 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 Oh. Whoops! So I guess that's acid? Is, oh yeah, they put out acid to kill the rats. <sighs> and I guess a grown man sunk into it like a pit. Ugh. I got another raid from Snakecroft. How did you do that? 
cool. Denim chicken. Thanks for the sub. Man. Kojima's done it again. Again. Do I have to fight him again? I do! Great! Fantastic. That's fantastic. That's good. Get him in the corner here. Which release is this? This is the the Master or the Metal Gear collection that they put out on PC recently. But this is also like it's got the this version of Metal Gear 2 is got a launcher that has the same logo as the HD collection that they launched or they released on console a long time ago. Uh-oh. Oh, he's block talking. Oh, the battle continues. There we go. Metal Gear 2 in America and Japan are two completely different games. That is correct. Sort of. Um, yeah, Metal Gear 2 colon Solid Snake came out for the MSX, which never launched in America. Um, in the United States, there was a game called Snake's Revenge for the NES that was not developed by Hideo Kojima. Um, it was a different dev studio entirely, and it's a different game. Uh, it is... It is a sequel to Metal Gear, but made not made by the original developer. But this was. This was the actual sequel. Okay. So let's see if anyone has anything to tell me about Acid. Yeah. Well, there were two for MSX. So, Metal Gear 1 came out on MSX and was ported to the NES. So NES Metal Gear is a port of the original Metal Gear. So it's mostly the same thing. Uh, Metal Gear 2, however, completely different. Yeah. How to deal with sulf sulfuric acid? Huh, let's see. You could neutralize it if you had something with caustic soda in it. I got it. You got any chocolate on you? That ought to do the trick. Sulfuric acid reacts with the sugar in chocolate to produce carbon and a rubbery substance, C12H22O11. Table sugar. See if you can find some chocolate over and out. Sure. Wait. Wait a minute. Chocolate! Okay. So if I have... Aha! Oh god, that's oh he uses one ration to nullify each puddle. God. Damn it. Like the snake and this are both designed to drain you of your healing, which is really interesting. Cheeky. You bitch! Kojima? Did you Kojima me again? You did. The boss didn't drop a uh key though, which is odd. The boss... Oof. I feel like the boss should have dropped a key. Walk, 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 walk. Shot his ass over here. I guess I gotta backtrack? You should be able to get card 9 from Jungle Evil. Don't you mean card eight? He only had card eight. No, he was in charge of cards eight and nine. He must have dropped it somewhere. So it's funny, the, the high grass, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if there was an item hidden somewhere in here? I was thinking it, I didn't say it. But of course, Kojima. Kojima got me again. He, there he goes. That's just what he does. Kojima's phone just buzzed. He was in the middle of eating a burger and he looked down and saw his phone buzz and he was like, <laughs> 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 
laugh and chew in his burger. Yep, he got us again. He keeps getting away with it. Have we hell dived yet? Yes, we did some hell diving. Fun game, man. That game rocks. The uh, the changes didn't really offend me, but then again, I don't think I'm playing at a level where it makes a super huge difference. I'm just glad that they're already adding stuff like the meteor showers and volcano stuff. Super, super cool. Yeah, that game's got the juice. It's got the goods. It's got the zazz and the chutzpah. It's got the cheddar. It's got the nacho cheese. It's got the gouda. Oh, let me go get that rash. I think it was on the outside, actually. The kapauza? You betcha. It's got the salt and pepper. It's got that roast garlic. got that cable knit sweater. Yeah, the Liberty. <laughs> What's this man yapping about? I don't know. I'm streaming. You got to say stuff when you stream. It's the rule. The more you talk, the more people give you money. It's weird. I don't have streamer dementia. Could a uh, could someone with s streamer brain beat Metal Gear 2? Huh? Secondary magnetic chargers are active and functioning normally. Great. Good to hear. Everything's working. Keep talking, entertainer. See? See what I mean? People need these words to charge up their crystals. Wait. Oh yeah, it's over. It's over to the left. That's right. Wait, what? All right. This is awesome. It reminds me of a time I got really upset. I was like a teenager. I got really upset because of a girl and I threw my car keys into like a field at night. And then I just stood there for a second and I was like, ah, shit. Then I spent the next, like, two hours with a shitty flashlight. Oh. More rations? Ammo, probably. Okay, well, I guess I just have to comb the fucking field, because Kojima's a genius. Oh. Thank you, Kojima. I guess that's all the keys then. And I don't I don't think there's any way to go back to the first building, which is a little sad, but whatever. Heck, you know what? Kojima's done it again. I doubted, but there it is. Proof's in the card nine. Good time for a gamer stretch, Koji Min. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Well, it was a good time. Now I've gone and ruined it. Did I go in here? I can't remember. Oh, I 
it. Yeah, let's let let's extend hammies, shall we? Lengthen your muscals. Yeah, that's basically Squidward's house. Steph got me a big old moa I had to... It's actually kind of... It's a fire pit, so you're supposed to, like, light a fire in the bottom and then the flames go up. And smoke comes out the top. But, uh, I light fires in the fireplace. Like a normal person. Oh yeah, we're kind of... I guess winter's kind of over, huh? We'll have to wait a while. We're exiting the fireplace era of the stream and entering the tank top era. I got a whole new batch of, like, random tank tops to wear this summer. What happened to Turtleneck Lawrence? Oh yeah, that's 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 gonna be wintertime Lawrence. Which should be now. Honestly, like, I, I wore a turtleneck once and I was like, ugh, this is hot. So the ambient temperature in here might actually slow down the advent of Turtleneck Lawrence. Pierce Allen, thank you for the 42 months of subs. I really appreciate that. That's a lot of support right there. Yeah, you gotta have a cold house, frosty house. Even in this, even in the winter, this house doesn't get that cold. Oh, oh, Doctor Madner. Ah, Snake, you're too late. He's already passed away. Snake Croft, thank you for raiding again. Somehow a third raid. That's a pretty impressive hat trick. His heart couldn't take it anymore. He's like smothered. Wait, what's that bruise on his neck? Not too very, Snake. Marv may be dead, but the plans for Oilix are safe. Death accelerated. Thanks for the 29 months. This doctor's death just got accelerated. Marv was a very careful man. He left behind a copy of the plans in case of emergency. He had a reputation as a video game enthusiast. He even used to have them shipped to him from the vest every month. A few days ago, he hit some microfilm in the circuit board of one of his game cartridges. It was an MSX cartridge made by a Japanese company called Konami. All right, all right. Dr. Madnar, all right. <laughs> MSX, that's the world's best-selling brand of computer, isn't it? Otter Otters has redeemed a real trading card. Thank you, Otter. We'll get to that after this heart-rending sequence. Then he hid the cartridge inside that locker. Where's the key? I don't know. I couldn't get it out of him. I, I mean, he never told me. That's not suspicious. I got a call. Hold on a minute, Dr. Madnar. Let me take this. Snake, you're in danger. Holly, what's wrong? Snake, it's Madnar. I thought there was something strange about him, so I had the agency check him out. After he was rescued from outer heaven, 
Apparently things didn't go well for him. His radical theories were rejected in the West. He was dismissed as a madman and shut off from the scientific community. As time went on, he was forgotten. Madnar wasn't exactly happy with the scientific community either. He must have been searching for some way to get back at them. That's when Zanzibarland talked him into becoming a double agent. He'd use his status as a scientist to feed technological secrets from the east and west to Zanzibarland. And Dr. Marv's disappearance? Right, the timing is too perfect. Madnar must have given them every detail of Marv's itinerary in the US. Madnar was after Oilex all along. That's why he wanted to go to America with Marv. <laughs> Marv. I'm afraid you've got me, Snake. I give up everything to be a part of your world, even the country I was born and raised in. But your world had nothing but contempt and abuse for me. I just wanted to finish Metal here. It is the culmination of all my life's work and robotology. But your politicians were only interested in nonsense like SGI, NEDW, and brain bulbs. I passed on the scientific secrets of the East and the West to Zanzibar land. And in return, they aided me in my efforts to improve Metal Gear. Matt, <laughs> Matt Nar, did you kill Dr. Marv? Yes! <laughs> yeah! He would not share the secret of Oilix with me! And it was I who caused, <laughs> caused Gustavus death on the bridge by contacting Fox from the sewer. Oh. When we were... When we were bonding, he was selling us out. And we worked so hard to save him. The bathroom break. Snake. I know Moth. No. Gustava. Gives you the key to this locker. Give it to me. I can't breathe. Oh, he's... He's fucking choking me out! Oh my god! Yeah. What the? <laughs> That's so fucking sick! This old man just latched onto me! <laughs> Alright, Castler, give me the down low on this, this guy. What do I do? Nothing! Hey, Harry. It's going pretty well. How you feeling? The intensity of it. Yeah. The more you sweat, the less you'll bleed. The more tears you shed, the fewest, fewer game overs you'll get. Over and out. Thanks. I guess I... Do I have to open it? Yeah, maybe I have to open it. Or, or he'll choke me out. I gotta like slam him into the wall, maybe? Oh shit, he's gonna get me. Bucket. <laughs> what the heck do they want me to do? Can I leave the room? No. Check your weapons. Is it time for the mouse? Alright, mouse. It's time. Help! Help me! Help! Help! No? Yeah, gas maybe? I'm trying to simulate, like, being downwind? Interesting. Okay. Oh, 
supposed to be landmines? Oh, okay. It was working. <laughs> it was working, kind of. I like how you can flick him onto the landmine like that. Oh, there he goes. Boom, boom. God. Oh, health. Yeah, actually, the, the remote control rocket. I could just turn it around and have it touch me. Okay. Now I guess I can get the MSX cartridge. Is this not the locker? Maybe not. Well, okay. Both the people I came here to save are now dead. Okay, hopefully there's another call. Gustava's brooch seems to be made out of a memory alloy. Try changing the temperature of the brooch. Over and out. Okay. Now I gotta go back to the freezer. I don't remember where that was specifically, but... Wait, that was... Uh, wasn't that back in the buildings? The dot's still there, by the way, so he's not dead. I don't know why Snake didn't step on his neck for a little bit. Just to finish the job, you know? Snake knows what he's doing. Was it eight? It was eight. Hey, Iceman. Well, there is a, uh, you know, memory alloy thing going on, so that's kind of like solid. Hey, Hyzeal. How's it going? I have mice. Oops, there we go. Sucks. Had a full blown argument with the missus. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Sometimes just sickness can take your endurance down and make things a little more sensitive than maybe they would be otherwise. Ugh. Gross. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Ooh, VIP or ban. I forgot. There's a card to draw. All right, sorry about that. Hold on. Let's let's draw Otter's card here. I'll leave this leave that going so we get the cool music. And then a VIP or band from ESPN64 who proudly proclaims they are the chosen one. I believe you. Yeah, I know you're you're not in a rush, but I just wanna wanna get the books up to date. You know, wanna update them books. All right, all right. Let's see. This is the card. Here is your card. What are we looking at? Ah. Another seventh inning stretch. They're all that for some reason. We got bugs. Bugs there with uh, some carrots. In front of a man with a binder? What is. I don't know. We're just getting goofy, letting our hair down. Question What was the title Sports Illustrated, Illustrated labeled Ken Giffrey Jr. after he appeared on their April 1990 cover? The Sultan of Slam. Everyone knows that. The Natural is the answer as a reference to a seemingly effortless excellence in every aspect of the game. Congrats, congrats. Mm. 
let me take that down. Let me take that down in my documents. Okay, documents updated. Congratulations. Now, will we be saying congratulations again? Let's find out. Stinky. Stinky time. You did everything right, ESPN64. You really did. It's not fair. It's not fair. But here we are. I don't want to be typing this out on my phone, but I'm doing it. It's taking me a little longer than usual, which is a which is a small relief, I think. And yet, here I have I have typed it out. So there it is, timed out for an hour. Ouch. Ouch, yowza. That sucks. Wimp womp. But thank you for watching the stream. Your participation in chat is always welcome and entertaining. Yes, a goated chapter. Uh, on CMK, yeah, thank you, thank you. I was a little bit worried about how it would go over. People, people seem to be reacting to it okay. But, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tragic. There's no other word for it. How do you get back? You should wait 30 minutes after eating. So there's got to be a freezer. It wasn't up here, was it? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, you're set to go. I guess this is how you get back. All right. We're here. Okay. Ah, uh, all right, all right. How's my goon journal going? I don't really write, I don't really write things down. I want to live in the moment. remember if I've been in any of these doors. Okay, that, that must be like a, a loading dock to go back north. Uh, I think it was this elevator, actually. Although, should I use this opportunity? Yeah, I'm gonna use this opportunity to go back to the first building basement. And uh, try to... Surely I can get all the items now. Open every door. Surely. Surely. Pew. Have you played Batman Arkham series on stream yet? Um... I played Arkham si Arkham Knight a little bit. One time. But no, I, I wouldn't say that I played through them exhaustively or anything like that. Those are good-ass games. Yeah, I fly- I flee the glider already. Hello, sticker fan. Sticker fan. I hardly know her fan. We have fun here. We have fun here on the stream. This is a fun stream. Only fun allowed. This run so many times now. Yeah. Fun or get the fuck out. This is a fucking positive channel, asshole. Did 
just realized there's a door up there. Wait, no, this just goes to the rockets, and I don't think there's a there's a ladder down on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I don't need to go in there. <clears throat> Joe, be careful. You start you start uttering the names of ghosts, and you'll you'll get haunted. You don't want to get haunted, do you? Maybe you do. Maybe you're some kind of freak who wants to be haunted. What do I know? What do I? Ah, uh, I keep forgetting. You can't go down this way and not, not get an alert. Boop. Do 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 do. I say evasion. Are you becoming Jokerized? You have to wait until the Suicide Squad Season 1 Battle Pass is made available. I can't wait for John Clair. Finally, a character that expresses me. I didn't think it was possible to make a character edgy enough. But they did it. Those bastards did it. Only Rocksteady, am I right? Everyone loves Rocksteady. What? Oh, oh, that's right. I think you need to go to the second floor elevator. There's a ration here. Hold on. I'm going a minute. Don't. Got to stock up on all my ration futures. Holy cow! All right. It's a clown car all of a sudden. Oxygen tank. Doubles the length and slows depletion of the O2 gauge underwater. Refills itself automatically when you surface. Underwater shit. I don't think I've seen any of that. What if it works in the swamp? What? Uh, I didn't think the camera was going to come down like that. Camouflage mat. Matches to any type of terrain. Press X button to set, walk over to pick up, crawl underneath to hide. That's cool. Oh, it doesn't match to this terrain, though. I guess it has to be outside. Huh. 
Touche, that's fine. What's that? All clear. They just shoot a little bit? That's great. He's not here. Just one inconspicuous box. I thought, and I thought the freezer was in this building. It was, no, no, it wasn't. Try to do a full sweep of the first building. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. Ah, uh, no, I've been in there. Uh. A, a door or two I couldn't open down here. But maybe I'm misremembering. I guess there was that stuff on the left to get the, uh, the oxygen tank, which is probably going to be useful. Oh, you can get Stinger missiles down here. Okay. I'm gonna swing by floor two again, pick up one more ration. And then, uh, I guess head to the second building? Uh, I kinda wanna see floor three and four again, real quick, just to refresh my memory about what's there. Do, do. I don't remember where the second elevator goes above two, though. No, I never played the Ghost Babble. I never played the Game Boy Color Metal Gear, although a lot of people agree that it's really good. And I'd certainly like to check it out. seen everything here. Yeah, the music is so good, right? It's... Ugh. Sometimes with all the clunkiness and maybe... Uh... And maybe chunky... Chunky oldness. Retro games can be tough, but man, if they have great music. 
is it ever a delight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I think I've explored this pretty fully. Yeah, there was the other path. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? I haven't played Katana Zero. I want to, though. It's kind of been in my soft backlog for a while. I, I have that paired with The Messenger. I guess they both came out at similar times. In my head. Both games that I wanted to play through. Uh, I think I did everything up here. Okay, let me just go to the... Let me just go to the second building. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ryan's streaming. Hold on, let me see if I can... Do a shout-out. That's... What, what is it? Twitching with Ryan. Yeah, hold on. Yes, join us in following Twitchin' with Ryan. Kojima Game Boy Advance game? You, you thinking about Boktai? That's come up a couple times. People associate that with Kojima, but I, he didn't, I think, he, did, did, he didn't direct it. It wasn't necessarily a strictly Kojima game. Ah, that was stupid. I stepped on the grate. The sun is in your hand. It's the most expensive Game Boy Advance game? Really? I wonder why. It was all over the marketing? Well, I remember... I remember bloggers rubbing his name around a lot because it was like the one name that anyone knew. A lot of... I remember online articles associating it really heavily. Maybe it was in the marketing a lot. I guess by then, Konami also knew they had a name. This Actually, I think this is the last time I'll have to do this run because... Uh, that that should get all the items in the first building. Unless there's just some random rooms that I missed, which is entirely possible. Streaming on Twitch too? I am, Evan, yeah. Simulcasting. The the way it kind of breaks down is that the the video quality is probably a lot better on YouTube. Although for this game, I doubt it makes a difference, you know. But uh you have like twit or chat is just a little more fully featured on Twitch. More more like chat gimmicks too. You can win cards. Who doesn't want to win random trading cards? Yeah, there's a pretty hefty pile of cards over there. I gotta, I gotta mail those out. I gotta take a, take a, a no stream day and do some infrastructure work. 
I think it might... I'm getting close to having all the assets in order to swapping the stream aesthetic over a little bit. I have some new transitions and stuff. To give the, give the stream a slick new look for the 2020s. And then also there's just a stack of media tech clips to edit. Always media tech clips. I've been finally adding some old videos that I shot on my phone. More home movie stuff. Damn it. I have a lot of video from like my trip to Italy and then uh, trip to Berlin that I want to add. Make people watch my vacation videos. Oh, hi Zeal, I really appreciate that. Uh, maybe I'll reach out. I don't know, I've already we're already kind of at the tail end of stuff, but I'll keep that in mind for sure. Always been a fan of your art. Is it this floor? I think it might be this floor. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, this goes up to this goes up to the second floor. Is this where I want to go? You want to edit stuff for Media Tech? Hmm. I appreciate that, and I've thought about that. I could certainly add way more clips way faster if I uh, if I did outsourced the editing, but I don't know. It's kind of a personal thing. For for me, it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. I just kind of like like the process of doing it. Okay, I guess I have to do this now. Got to run up the stairs again. Uh, yeah, but maybe someday in the future. There's just some tricky stuff with audio leveling sometimes that requires a more nuanced hand. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. What is your favorite country to visit? Oh man, uh, I don't, I don't, wouldn't say that I'm world traveled enough to even have developed that taste. But actually, the answer is Japan. I, that was the best trip I've ever, I think I've ever had. So beautiful, relaxing, good food, easy to get around. Finland was really fun. I have to admit, I had a good time in Berlin, but that city is weird. Everything's half broken in Berlin, or just full broken. Yeah, you can get... Also, I guess the yen is weak to the dollar. Steph was actually looking at a cruise that, like, circles Japan. Um, and it was like... 2500 bucks for like 12 days or something it was it was kind of unbelievably inexpensive maybe there was there were probably like fees and and all sorts of things get they get lumped in at the end but still oh you're gonna be in japan in less than a month uh it's such a beautiful country to visit and like tokyo is just an explorer's paradise god you could spend you could spend an entire day invest like just exploring one building, walking around to all the shops and just seeing what's going on. Did you visit Tokyo Station? I don't I don't I visited a lot of rail stations. Is there I don't know if there's one special one that I'd have to like look it up maybe? Probably. No, nah, I haven't seen Dune 2 yet, Jason. Not yet. I'm going to try to, well, hopefully there's time to squeeze it in this weekend. Oh, 
It was where the restrooms were. Which was on the fourth floor. Right? But, oh, I think I can take the elevator up from here? No? Ah. Oh, candles! Thank you for the raid. Hello, everyone. We're big gaming tonight. Trying to remember where the damn freezer was. Happy pre Friday? Yeah, happy pre Friday, everyone. Gosh, I worry that I, uh. I worry that I went up all those stairs for no reason. I'm starting to suspect that that is, in fact, the case. Ugh, that's not out here. Back up to the fourth floor. have to run all the way back down. I think I do. Uh, excited for Black Ops 2? I am. I am. Yeah, I'm probably going to play that tomorrow. Excited to see how they they decide to one-up Black Ops. I like how there's no alert going down. Because I don't think you're ever meant to do this. You're. I was surprised that it was... I mean, clearly you're not meant to do it more than once. Um, so... Here I am doing it three times. E. Compton, hey, thank you for the sub. Good to see you again. How's it going? How's life? I guess that's a complicated question these days. Oh! Wow, I didn't know that was there. 57 months, by the way. That's a long time. Thank you very much. Lots of meetings today? Hey, that can be weirdly draining in its own way. I'm trying to keep tasks and itineraries. Listening. A lot of listening. Hearing people out. Am I in the Kojima zone? Is it? Am I getting Kojima'd right now? This is more me than Kojima, though. This is my inability to remember where the uh, where the stupid freezer was, or how to get back to it. Really, it's not in the second building, is it? No. It was definitely in the fourth floor of this place, or was it on the fortieth floor of the thirtieth floor of the other place? Uh. Why didn't the... I don't understand why the elevator didn't go up to the fourth floor. Maybe I didn't do it right. I just didn't punch the elevator button properly. I work with a tech company. It's mind-blowing how little leadership knows and expects employees to do with zero insight on how things work. Yeah. Yeah. When you... I guess when you do that for long enough and you get insulated at your layer, you just have to trust that your gut instinct, your managerial... keen managerial insight is correct. Wait, 10? I am in the second building. Hmm, 
okay. Should run it in borderless window. I try to. That that's usually the like safer option when it comes to V-Sync, yeah. Borderless window tends to enforce V-Sync pretty strictly. What? Did I not go to the fourth floor? In the first building? What am I thinking? Where's my brain at? Yeah, I can relate for sure. Can I ever? Nearly every executive in, in like the new media space was that way. They had no clue. It was just bravado. Harry, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that you're enjoying the streams. Just hanging out in chat is uh, is good enough. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm doing okay. I am hungry though. Wait for Steph to get home so I can cook dinner and eat that dinner. Ugh. I can't believe I keep. I don't know, I just keep running back and forth. CEO of my company has zero idea how long development time is and wonders why there's 25% turnover every three to four months. But like, won't ask anyone or listen to the answer. So far up a zone, too far up a zone ass to give a shit. Classic boss. I guess I should probably get that ration. Yeah, it was like the door to the left, and then you had to go through a dark room. That's where uh, found the lady doctor. Is this man I even got here and turned around uh, I can think of the moment exactly and I was like I've seen that Ugh. what are you doing what are you doing law dog what are you doing snake I once worked with an uh, on a networking project that was supposed to take 10 months with three people our dumbass manager hired 10 people thinking it would get done in three months we burned through the entire budget in a month and it all got laid off. Nice. Nice. See, that's what's good about job creators. That's why we need the managers and businessmen out there creating work for people and being smart about things.
the answer, as always, is stonks. Damn it. Yeah. is a different one this time. Uh, almost there. like Gustavo. Okay. Done. Now I gotta go back to the truck in building two so that they can ship me back over the crevasse. Man, I gotta walk all the flipping way back. Yep. Ugh. Got some walking ahead of me. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Don't worry, the music video will be there later. It's not gone. You'll be able to watch the rest of it. Uh, but Steph got home. Steph got home in the meantime. But I'm I'm dreadfully excited to see what happens when I get this special MSX cartridge. So I want to work my way back to the, uh... The other thing. You know, the thing. are still frozen. Oh, I can carry four now. How exciting. All right. Tonight's menu, honey garlic beef and green beans. It's actually a really lean meal. I think it's going to end up being like 400 calories. So I think I, think I might have some like bread on the side or something. We'll see. We'll see. Can't go wrong with butter bread. I usually I I want to have some more vegetables. I guess I have I have some potatoes, but that's kind of a weird mix. It's kind of a weird mix. Also, okay, so I tried to cook potatoes in the air fryer, but they were creamer potatoes, and they didn't end up getting all that crispy. So I think that might just be a potato situation. I want to keep trying, but I'm gonna have to get better potatoes, like russet or something. Cream of potatoes are actually pretty good for just microwaving. You can just like toss them with some season seasoning and microwave it. But... Mm. 
Don't microwave it too long, though, because they'll pop and spray potato guts all over your microwave. Ah. can't eat them when they're frozen. That's great. Yeah, if you stab them with a fork, it helps them vent. They're less likely to pop pop on you. But if you have like a bowl of creamer potatoes, they're all really small. You're not going to want to go and fork every last tater. That's going to take forever. I'm just trying to keep the bottom line in check for you. But yeah, if you have like a big old potato, you want to do like a microwave baked potato situation, that's when a, a fork stabbing is in order. Alright, so... The, yeah, the loading dock was back this way. I usually boil those small melody potatoes, then I s smash them flat and season them, pop it in the air fryer. How much oil do you use? Is it just like a spray of cooking spray, or do you toss them in oil too? Because yeah, that's that's the real tech is to is to parboil or full boil and then smash and then cook. You can do pan fried potatoes really well that way, but I'm trying to learn the ins and outs of the air fryer. I'm trying to learn the 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 secret tricks. Yes, advanced Tato tactics. <laughs> Their fryer has a cake button? That's awesome. <laughs> That's the best button ever. I guess it's maybe similar to a microwave kit. Well, I mean, it's, it's heat. You can bake a cake with that. Yeah, summons cake. I think this is the right way. Yeah, because it's the elevator. Dude! God, these fucking doors. These fucking doors. I keep forgetting which ones are which. They... They had a card that combined other cards, and that's the only time they've used it, and now it's just entirely out of hand again. The amount of cards they're stacking up. Whatever. Oh, Min Spades, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, w I was worried about it. You know, there's a... It's a, obviously a sensitive situation. A lot of... A lot of feelings. But I'm glad it... I'm glad that it, you know... I'm glad you proved. We gotta be brave out there. I don't care. Yeah, they're basically convection ovens. But they have intense air swirls. This... is this it? 
Because it's it's in the room. Yeah, I think. God. Ugh. That guy got faked out. It's in the room where I killed Dr. Madnar. Because he's definitely dead. But I thought that was in, like, its own little hut. Whoa, Akira Toriyama passed away? Damn. No, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I guess he was getting way up there. He gave a lot to the world, though. Alright. We're gonna find out Dr. Madnar's just been faking it. He's gonna jump on me the second I do this. Oh, what is going on up there? Rats! Why did it have to be rats? I see that- I see that cartridge though. It won't let me stand up. An owl will freak them out, and I'll use my own mice. What?! Austin, thanks for the sub. That's... Ugh. Yeah, I got ratted. Kojima got me? Straight rat style? I guess I can ask the, uh... Can ask the animal man what to do. Maybe if I... I have to not have any rations or something? Let's see here, Jacobson. Well, that sounds like the highly poisonous Zanzibar hamster. There are 1,183 different space species of mice in the world. Hamsters are rodents belonging to the mouse family. They grow to be about 25 to 28 centimeters long and are found across northern Eurasia and in Iraq. That variety was probably bred to be a house pet. House mice are very cautious creatures. They won't come out of their nests with humans around. Their favorite food is cheese. That's it! Cheese! You can use cheese as bait. Do you have any on you? Too bad you're not here. I just ordered a pizza myself, over and out. But I... Cheese. But I don't want them to eat me. How do I do that? Cheese, huh? You probably already know this, but the B3 ration has cheese in it. Just the thing to attract rats, don't you think? By the way, I know a restaurant that serves a killer cheese fondue. I'll have to take you there sometime. Over and out. I don't want them to eat me, though. This seems to be lost on people. Maybe if I have it equipped, they'll eat the ration instead of me. Ah! What are you thinking, Kojima? What are we doing here? Oh, don't know if Toriyama actually died. News seems pretty sparse. Huh. Weird situation. No, you can't really drop or throw items. Unless there's some kind of like special ability for it here. Official DB account? Oh, Dragon Ball account posted it? Yeah, rest in peace. 
Very sad, yeah. Okay, they're gonna follow me in there. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Fuck! God! Ugh. I was like, it's still a problem. It's still, it's still not good. <sighs> uh. Welcome back ESPN 64. Yeah, turns out the system can't keep you down. Were you just killed by a mouse? Yes. Yes, I was. I was one shot by a mouse. Can I shoot them? If they're here, I can shoot them. Fuck you. Yeah, how does it feel, mice? To reap the whirlwind! Got him. All right, no problem. It's like a Konami logo. Picked up cartridge. The game cartridge left behind by Dr. Marv. The Oilix microfilm is hidden inside. I did it. Mission accomplished. I guess I have to destroy Metal Gear, though. S -s Snake! Snake! He'll never let you get away. He'll use it. He'll use Metal Gear! I have one last gift for my daughter, Ellen. I'll tell you eh, how to destroy it. Oh, he did that the first time. How to destroy the new Metal Gear? Try as I might, I could not reconcile East and West in heart. Yeah. But Ellen, it's different, Snake. You must do this for Ellen, the daughter I leave behind. How do I destroy Metal Gear? The armor is thinnest on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way. Oh! Pranked, though. Why was there a pitfall in that room? Huh? The final delusion of a senile old man. There's no way to destroy this Metal Gear, Snake. Did it just teleport me to the end of the game? Fox, where are you? Come and find out, Snake. Go through the front door. What if I don't though? Wait, 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 wait,
Ah. This one has inventory sorting, does it? I haven't been able to do that. Okay, let me try this door one more time, but I don't think it opened with anything. All right, grenades on the legs. Armor on, grenades equipped. Let's do it. First, I gotta find what fucking card opens this stupid door. Okay, it's four. Oh, it's animated? Stomping its way on in. You know it's serious when there can't be a background. Oh, look at that. Snake. I'm not the same as I used to be, and neither is Metal Gear. I'll show you what fear really is. Prepare to taste defeat. Huh. Oh shit. We got flashies. Oh. eating everything, but I'm sure it seems like it'll be fine. The armor really doesn't... Oh, shit. There we go. Metal Gear D. Oh, shit. Fireface! The cartridge is mine, Snake! Burn in hell! The fuck? Oh, that's me. What the? Everything's on fire. Snake, your items are on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment quickly. Use the A button. My smokes. What? Oh, it's everything. Okay. I thought it was just things that had flames on it. Huh. Oh, nice. You gotta strip down to your bare essentials for the essence of CQC combat. Fist to fist. Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. Sick. It's been a while, Snake. Here we are, back in the minefield. What say we go at it hand to hand? A check and fight. The two greatest rivals in Foxhound. Okay, so officially, the movie with uh, Mickey Rourke, where there was a shirtless fist fight in a minefield, officially happened after Metal Gear 2. So Kojima came up with that. Nice job, Kojima. The true greatest rivals in Foxhound. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Fox. I'll be some sense back into you. Snake. It's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Uh. Gray Fox. Real name Frank Yeager. Former member of Foxhound. He was the last man to hold the title of Fox in the Big Boss era. Decorated five times. 
Yeah, I know all about how good he is. Better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's a cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respected him, looked up to him. That may be, Snake, but do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, we in the mercenary trade knew him as Hunter. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. He tried to get her to come over the fence, but it fell through. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's when Frank started to hate the politicos. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater. Name was Gustava Hefner. Real fine woman, movie star type. Gu Gustava Hefner? Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that Solid Snake is the greatest mercenary in the world. Over and out. Now we know the real stakes here. Oh, oh, I'm on the, oh wait, hold on, I'm on the wrong thing. Yeah, I just heard Toriyama died. Huge bummer. Your mission is to avoid contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gonna say the same stuff? Or nothing. Alright. That's interesting. I assumed by now that it would reveal that Gray Fox was the number one fan. Because they do the exact same shit in Solid. Alright, whatever. It's time for fisticuffs. Hurt me more, Snake! It's not a minefield, though. Oh, I guess the mines are, are in the cor like, edges. This is it. This is what he was always talking about in Metal Gear Solid. I always wondered what that looked like, you know? Or if it was a thing that even happened in the games. Snake. Looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Uh, Dog Fifi, thank you for the sub. I'm on Yakuza Kiwami 2 and loving the playthrough of the games. I plan on playing them all over time. What do you think is the Western version of those games with wacky side quests and serious storyline? It's tough to find that in the West, to be honest. The wack wackiness is not is kind of at a premium. Assassin's Creed can get a little goofy. Um, GTA? Yeah, I guess it's Grand Theft Auto. Fox. Why? Saints Row. Saints Row doesn't have a serious main story, though, you know? Uh, I was curious what stopped you guys from creating your own company like kind of funny at the time. Uh, there were people in the group that were very, very, very motivated to join Rooster Teeth. Uh, I think on top of typical risk, being typically risk averse, I think some people basically had the promise that they would be the golden child at Rooster Teeth, and that turned out to be true. So, yeah. I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss might have just been another CO to you, but he saved my life. Twice. This was way before I joined the unit. The first time, I was a half-white living in Vietnam. Wow, okay. It was after the war, and half-whites were being sent into forced labor. Camps. He saved me from that living hell. Just like he saved all the children here. Big Boss saved the children. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a Renamo soldier and he saved me again. They'd cut off my ears and my nose. Well, he's, I could see a nose. Min Spades, thanks for the sub. Oh, there's an ad right now, okay. I gotta, let's, let's, let's take a little break. 
We don't want anyone missing this great drama. <laughs> I do! <laughs> Wait, you have you have a nose? What? Big Boss said they cut off my nose! Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, regarding the independence question, I'm sure we all missed out on a lot of money, but all things considered, uh, and the people in that group, I think it, I think it was for the best. There would have been some, there would have been some very, it would have gotten bad, I think. If if there were some co if there were co ownership going on amongst that group, it would have gotten bad. But that's okay. Everything turned out pretty well. Now I own my own shit, so that's great. I don't think Bruce is about to turn on me, but we'll see. I got my eye on him. And this is your idea of paying him back? No, you've got it wrong. I hate war, just like all the kids here. But I need it. War is, all, or war is all we know. We can't make it in the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Big Boss gives us a place to fight. Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield. And I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. Making people happy. Making a woman happy. Is something I could never do. You mean? Guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me. I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake! Don't let your fans down. Is he speaking on behalf of us? My fans. Oh, okay, all right, there we go. It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. You won't be alone, Frank. Gustava's waiting for you. Gustava. Thank you, Snake. Ugh. Whoa, there he goes. Drop the you drop the MSX cartridge. Over here, Snake. Over here, Snake. What? Oh, is this Big Boss? Big Boss. You're alive! Snake, welcome to Zanzibar land. I don't know how- I don't know what Big Boss sounds like. I knew you come- I guess he sounds like Snake. I knew you'd come back to me. Oh, there's our guy! I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. The nightmares? They never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, tasted the exhilaration, the tension, it all becomes part of you. Oh, well, that's why Solidus looks like that. Once you've awakened the warrior within, it never sleeps again. You crave even bigger tensions, ever bigger thrills. As a mercenary, I think you'd have realized that by now. You care nothing for power, or money, or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your cravings is war. All I've done is give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, big boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Everyone a victim of war somewhere in the world, and they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. Holy shit. Okay. So the, the like, the re-education shit in 5 was very directly laid out in this game. That's amazing. Yeah. Attach balloons to them, fly them into the sky, and re-educate them. 
It's a perfectly logical system. In this world of ours, conflict never ends. And neither does purpose. All rise on Detra. So there's plenty of job opportunities. Is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities. But back home, we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tabloid. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. I've only got one fight left. To free myself from your grip. To rid myself of these nightmares. Big boss, I will defeat you. It doesn't matter who wins here. Our fight will continue. The loser will be liberated from the battlefield and the winner will remain. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. Oh man, they're having some deep conversations. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life. Very well, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering. As your former commander, I'll do you one last favor and put you out of your misery. I don't need any more favors from you. Really? And just how do you expect to beat me in your condition with no weapon? Never give up. Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed, even when the odds are against you. Those are your words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. <laughs> Snake! This will be our final battle. Sure. Yeah. Let's end this once and for all. Ooh. It's combat time. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you don't even hurt him. Oh, come on. You gotta, like, speed run the game? Nope. Uh. You gotta, like, re-equip yourself ultra fast? I like that. Damn, that hurts. Ah. Uh, was a lighter? It is pretty shitty of them to like make a bunch of card swapping. Ugh be critical to the final boss fight. I guess card swapping is like... It's just a part of the game. the lighters for i guess you can like you make a molotov with whatever this bottle is spray ah nice this and this and give him a little bit of the spray whoa that's sick Shit. Shit. Yeah, the Technicolor Flamethrower. Let's see if I can... I'm just curious if there's more healing. This is probably a door that opens when you... When you win. Okay, that's it. Wow, there's two rations and you can only... 
You can only use one of them. Oh, well, I have another one. Never mind. Oh shit, I should use it. Okay. Look at him, he's a tactical genius. There we go. Oh, he caught on fire, holy shit. Snake! It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh, that's it's not over. Snake. <laughs> okay, now it's over. He survived that, by the way. Or was he cloned? I can't remember what the deal is in four. Whatever. We don't need to worry about that yet. Freeze! It's okay. It's me, Snake. Holly. Did I scare you? Whew. That was a close one. So what's going on? What are you doing here? You said it yourself. Stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So I did. Ugh, that uniform was too tight in the chest. Ah, I feel much better now. My giant jiggling boobs are free. Here, I stole this gun from the enemy. You can have it. Yeah, I can see I'd be hard for a woman to use. Thanks. So it's all over now, right Snake? No, I still have one more job to do. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no, you can't. <laughs> you want me to call you a cab? Oh my God, that wasn't funny, Snake. All right. This is Snake. Come in, Charlie. This is Charlie. Go ahead, Snake. I've got the cartridge. I'm ready to return to base, making my way back to the rendezvous point now. Roger that. I'll meet you there. Any passengers? Just one. Blonde with a cute face. Sounds like a dream. Over and out. Holly, we got to run as fast as we can to the rendezvous point. Think you can keep up? Is that a proposition, Snake? I'll take that as a yes. Cool guy. Is this just like a you get to shoot a bunch of dudes? Yeah, it seems like it. I'm moving faster than usual, too. This is this game's version of the, like, car chase. She shows up just so he can save her? Yeah, pretty much. Just so he's not alone at the end of the game. What the hell is taking you so long? We're gonna be here till Christmas! This is Charlie. I'm 10 kilometers from the rendezvous point. Hold tight a little bit longer, over and out. Hurry! Ooh. 
Ruhe! Damn it, I'm out of ammo! Sneak! Oh no. Our brave heroes! Oh, right at the very last second. Yeah, what a trap door, right? What a trolley door. Imagine falling in that right at the end of the game. God, it's a chopper. We're saved. Charlie, you're late. Sorry, man. I didn't want to disturb you two lovebirds. Think we'll be home in time for Christmas? We'll be home in time for dinner, Snake. Let's go then. I'm looking forward to Christmas dinner. I'm sick of these rations. Boy, he is ready for Christmas all of a sudden. Okay. Another giant explosion. Oh, sick. Tactical helicopter extraction. I'm excited to see the end sequence here. There's gonna be a really moody track over the credits, you know it. Yeah. This looks like the credits for a Game Boy or something. There's the there's our guy. That's our main man right there. Look at all these composers. A lot of people worked on the audio for this game. Huh. I kind of, you can kind of tell. What an adventure. Uh, a huge mechanical step up from Metal Gear 1. And the even though there's some cheekiness in Metal Gear 1, like it's there right from the get-go. Well, not from the beginning of the game, but the big boss goofiness and some of the some of the snide mentions over the codec are really fun. But boy, do they really just like this this game hits it right away. It's almost like seeing Dr. No and realizing how quickly that movie kind of nailed all the Bond elements right off the bat. I guess, I guess, I guess if, uh, all right, if Metal Gear 1 is Dr. No, this is Goldfinger, because it really does hit all the, the campiness, the bosses, the, the melodrama, the having a conversation on the radio right as a boss fight starts, and then the, uh, the Metroidvania aspects are, are pretty, are really tight. That's the thing about Metal Gear Solid, is that it feels like a Metroidvania, but after like the first half of the game, it's just not anymore. They, I wonder if they had plans to make the second part of the game as open as the first. Open may not be the right word, but just like being able to explore places where you don't have all the keys yet. I guess that happens a little bit in the second building, but... Which one is Casino Royale? Oof. That would have been five if the story was finished or made sense, I guess. 
Yeah, Ground Zeroes maybe? I could see Ground Zeroes being that. Maybe maybe 5 would have been Skyfall if it was a complete... Good work, Snake. Have you thought about coming back to the unit? The nightmares have stopped. I'm a free man now. I see, that's too bad. By the way, about that cartridge, is it really the one Dr. Marv hid his plans in? Why don't we open it and find out? Yeah, why didn't they do that? No need for that. The cartridge I brought back is Dr. Marv's, no question about it. Just put it in the MS Hex. All right, here goes. Oh, is it gonna boot up Metal Gear? Oh, uh, huh? Nothing's happening. What on earth? Of course, Snake was right. There's no doubt about it. This is Dr. Marv's cartridge. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Here, look closer. Dr. Marv left his signature on it. Right here, it says, Keo Marv. I see it now. It's written backwards. This is going to do the world a lot of good. Dr. Marv's last performance. He really loved games, didn't he? From the bottom of his heart. Dr. Marv was an entangled and a pointless political game, and it cost him his life. But the game he left behind will save us all, right, Snake? Snake? Where'd he go? Colonel Snake's gone. Snake? Where's he off to now? Snake! Snake! He promised to take me out to dinner. How low can you get? Snake. We got more credits, though. Snake will return. In, like, what, six years? Is there going to be another after credits thing? I guess Dr. Kiyo Marv was the first Ludo Sapien. Or a first Ludin. Yeah. Gonna go fuck off to Alaska and mush dogs for a living. I do love that Master Miller returns and does largely the same thing in Metal Gear Solid. Giving you a bunch of useless tips. Metal Gear Solid 3 so far to me is king of, of codec conversations. Gray Fox. Oh, eight years for the next game. Was it 98? I thought it was 96. Homo Ludens, that was it. Thank you. It's so weird because I remember playing Metal... Like, I remember playing Snake's Revenge on NES. And then I remember seeing reviews from Metal Gear Solid pop up. And thinking like, Metal Gear, wasn't it the same name as that other thing? But it can't be the... <laughs> Hein D. It can't be the same game. Yeah, I loved Paramedic's movie chat. I remember conversations about Godzilla. Sigint, yeah, was really fun. Solid Snake. Yeah, Hein D really turned into performance of a lifetime in this game. Oh, I'm a zebra. That's shocking. I thought I would get something much less intimidating. I got what? Like dog? No. Horse? Deer. For the first one. Ha. Ah, sick, man. Oh, it says easy, though. I was on easy? I thought I picked original. Wait, result easy, difficulty original. Sure. That makes sense. Does it have the same... I wonder if it has the same title screens. Nice. Sick. All right, I, I don't need to do that. That's a long fight. That's cool. Man, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, fantastic. The theatrics are already already in full effect. The hammy melodramatic writing, the goofy bosses that introduce themselves. So good, so good. What a game, what a game. Kojima's onto some shit, and it's all like, all really like intentional. None of it's accidental, he knows what, well, I, again, don't want to put it all on Kojima. Every game is a work of a team, but there's certain spiritual elements that have certainly persisted, and you can, you know, you can track it to another creative element that's been consistent as well. Sick. All right. Next Metal Gear game, I guess, is Snake's Revenge, which uh, 
is has a people like bad mouthing that game, but I don't remember it being too far out of bounds compared to Metal Gear One. It's probably not going to be as fun, nor as clever as two, but that's fine, right? What's wrong with Zelda, tactical Zelda, which is kind of what I expect it to be? Maybe the level design will just be bullshit, or the the item combinations will be even more ridiculous. Who's to say? Uh, I guess I will when I play it. However, tomorrow is yet again another Freedom Friday. Let's see where we're at in that. I finally upgraded the graphic. Updated, upgraded. There we go. Yeah, Black Ops 2. We're up to Black Ops 2. Uh, and then it's just kind of, it's going to kind of take off from there. A lot of fine games coming up. More ridiculous production values. I've never played Black Ops 2. So that's, that's on the, that's on the menu for tomorrow. Uh, and then also it'll be, uh, tomorrow's a show, Riley. You got it. Tomorrow's also Media Tech. Mark, 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 Mark. We're not up to Riley's COD yet. We're almost there though. We're almost going to meet Riley for real. I'm excited to meet Riley. See you, Riley. Mark, see you, Riley. Uh, and then yeah, Media Tech tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put up the incentive to extend. Why not? Um, yeah, because I'll... I do have something going on on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming this weekend. I can't... Oh, okay, I have my McDonald's appointment, so I might stream a little bit after that. But uh, Sunday, I'm not going to be streaming. I have plans that day. But uh, other than that, yeah. We got COD. I might pick up Secret of Evermore again. I was enjoying that game. And then at the backdrop of all of this, the Yakuza series looms. Uh, I need to play... Actually, the next game on my academic responsibilities list is Disco Elysium. So that's also approaching a playthrough pretty quickly here. That's kind of what's what's in the next handful, like the next week or so. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Happy pre-Friday, Friday Eve. That's exciting. Uh, really enjoyed the stream today. I did finish Chain Echoes, yeah. Uh, right now I'm kind of picking away at, I mean, Rebirth has, has taken all my JRPG time. And then yeah, Immortal of Av Immortals of Avium. I suddenly play Star Wars Jedi Survivor too. But it's all in there, it's all in there. It'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. All right. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. I had a really fun time streaming today. Hope you had a good time too. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye y'all. <laughs>